Hey guys, Fear back again with another VOD from Twitch. Uh, this is for the 6th of February 2022, the first of 18 consecutive days of streaming. Heartbreakers. <sighs> Look, it'll be fine. It will be totally fine. <laughs> uh, we did some transmog farming through ATT and we were quite successful actually. Uh, I ran uh, a lot of a lot of Mount Hygel. I ran a lot of Mount Hygel. I hope you enjoy all the little chats and stuff that we get up to. Uh, you can catch me live on Twitch uh, from 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, or you can catch my schedule. You can have a look at my schedule uh, on twitch.tv forward slash fiama forward slash schedule uh, to see what time I go live in your time zone, along with any bonus streams that I, I'm having, like all of the stuff for the Heartbreaker runs. Look, it'll be fine. I uh, hope you enjoy the VOD, and I will see you in chat next time. Hello. Unmute me, it did. Good. Did I forget to turn the captures on? Of course I did. When did I say navigation? That's fine. Whatever. Uh, here's a button. Let's click it. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. To day one of 18 consecutive days of streaming. At least the house is clean. <clears throat> At least the house is clean. Ooh, actually, no. Can I? It says place rogue, but. Oh, I can still place my high level rogue and get. Never mind. And get scrolls for the low level rogue. That's fine. Probably be better for me to place the high level one. Anyway. Dun, da, da, dun. Don't have any completed quests. Okay, that's fine. It's a boss fight right off the bat, so please, for the love of all that is anything, please place your units because we need them. <laughs> we need them if we're going to win this first battle of the day. Um, so, yep, yeah, jump on in, click the link in chat, follow, uh, follow the link, log in with your Twitch account, drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Hello. Hello. Well done, Yori on last as the first message in chat. <laughs> Hello. Well done, Seeker on first. Shiba with seconds. Seeker with the resub. Little twit. Hang on. Hang on a second. You don't get away with this. Thank you very much. Thank you for the resub, Seeker. Nine months. Little Twitch baby. A little Twitch baby. Wonderful. Amazing. It's for the awesome content. Aw, thank you for being here and thank you so much for your support, Seeker. I can't believe it's only been eight months, the start of your ninth. That, it feels like simultaneously so much, like it feels like you've been here for so much longer than that. But it also feels like, like it's been a short time. Do you know, it's weird. It's weird. Time has flown, but I can't believe it's only been nine months. It feels like you've been a member of the family for like forever, you know? So thank you so much for your ongoing support in all the ways that you do so. Uh, well done on third dupe and oh no, Jackie. <laughs> oh no, oh no, but that's okay. Welcome on anyway. Jack says, is Fear going to be tired in a couple of weeks? I say, is Fear is tired now? I literally woke up when my stream alarm went off because I was now I fell asleep on the couch. Switch in hand. I was playing Pokemon. Lying on the couch and I fell the fuck asleep. I am destroyed. I just realized how gray the sky is. It was raining earlier, but maybe we're in for a storm. Um also I would like to reveal a fat a fun fact that I learned today, now that I've seen Jack, because it is it is Jack appropriate. Um uh, Jas was playing CK3 and it was up on the TV because he was playing music through the TV while we did cleaning and stuff. And um, it has, like, in CK3, a big chunk of England is usually called Alba, which I know. Um, like, I, I knew that from, from previous stuff anyway. But I'm like, what does Alba actually mean? Like, where did they get the name from? Because most places, like most place names, even countries, have a name from somewhere it means something or it was like what one of the locals said and they misunderstood so they wrote it down phonetically or so, do you know what i mean like it's there there is usually a name and so i'm like what what does it actually mean turns out alba means white <laughs> which no shit um but yeah so england is land of the white however 
while I was doing this, I also di discovered why Scotland is called Scotland. Uh, or at least according to, to the, the website that I wound up on. Um, there were Gaelic, it's the Gaels, the, the Gaelic uh, people to begin with, and they were pirates. There was a chunk of them called, that they were pirates. And the Romans called them Skirti. The Romans called them Skirti. And it was an insult. It was a derogatory term. I guess kind of like numpty. And so they're like, oh, what will we call it? Fucking Scotland! Because, <laughs> so they took the insult and turned it into their country name. Um, which I think is fucking hilarious because it's the equivalent of me calling my home Numpty Land. Um, so <laughs> and I thought that was great. So I don't know if that's actually true or not, um, but that's what I found on the internet and I thought it was fantastic. So there you go. Have, have that. Have that. Um, hello Mince, we're not both. Oh, it will definitely be both. I'm tired now, I will be tired later, and I will be tired all the way in between. Why are you not a paladin? There is a story behind this vlog, welcome on in, BT dubs. Um, I took one of those Buzzfeed quiz things that was like, which World of Warcraft class are you? And I'm obviously a mage. I've been playing a mage since day dot, like since I started playing 15 years ago, I have always mained a mage. Always. In fact, the same mage the whole fucking time, um, basically. And uh, I took this quiz and it said I was a paladin. And I vehemently disagree. So I am not a paladin. And the reason this is pertinent information for everyone to keep in mind today is because what we are starting with is all four of my paladins running through Mount Hyjal. So while we do this for the majority of stream, you need to remember that I am not a paladin, but I happen to have paladin alts. <laughs> I am a mage with fire and you will all do well to remember that. The free for all. Hello, Shiva. Hello, Jackie. Uh, can I guess that the Mount Makeup is Heartbreaker? You can, and you would be wrong. <laughs> Sorry, that was just really fun to say. I'm so happy I don't like, have to do the wildling event in Corthia. I saw it. I, I reacted with a Fiamma hype in the Discord. Congratulations, Shiva. Well done. Dupe won the free-for-all. Well done. And yes, if you need some comfy underwear, do not forget that I've teamed up with step one. And I am, I'm actually, can I, let's, yeah. Hey, yes. Many comforts. Do the thing. Do the thing. Um, thanks 45 Heartbreaker. If you need the full name, that's okay. Um, thank you. I'm very proud. Wonderful. Good. Makeup is brilliant. Thank you very much. Arcus is ridiculously fun. I can't stop playing it. I am having a lot of fun with it. I'm having a lot, a lot, a lot of fun with it. Um, and it's also kind of actually serving as a motivation to get all my work done. Because if I get it all done, I can curl up for an hour or two before stream and play. If I don't get all my work done, I have to go straight from working into streaming. So yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's fun. <laughs> That's a good Alba. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's weird because the whole Alba thing is a convergence. It is. It means white in so many different languages. I was like, what? How? How? You don't call your home Numpty Land? No, I call it Fionati HQ. That actually my, my actual, um, uh, what's it? My Wi-Fi. My, my Wi-Fi for the house is Fionati HQ. Yep. <laughs> I am definitely not self-absorbed. Definitely not. Um, have I missed what your makeup is? No, no one has guessed it yet. Well, we've had one attempt to guess, but it was a wrong guess, so that's fine. Feel free to to guess away. I have a, um, it's like a sort of gray, browny gray, purpley sort of shade up top here. There is some dark brown on the outside, but as per usual, the outside corner has sort of faded away a little bit. And then if you can't tell, is red. Yeah, that's uh, those are those are the colors you got to work with. Have fun. Button. <clears throat> Fialadin. No, Aldella actually. Um. Let's <laughs> work, Shiba. Fear is Paladin confirmed. No, I always knew Australia was actually Numpty Land. <laughs> Kidding, there's more the US these days at times. I think every single country on the fucking planet has has earned the right to be called Numpty Land at one point or another, right, Thor? Like, nobody's per what is it? Per body's nerfect. Yeah. Obviously, there are some places that are genuinely actually fucked up to the point that you don't want to joke about them. However, 
like nowhere nowhere is perfect um Miss Fear, where are the tweets? Any see close-ups of makeup? I sent- it should have tweeted. Did it not tweet? Uh, I sent the tweet. Did it not- Oh, fuck off. Introducing NFT profile pictures. No. I don't want to use that in any way, shape, or form. Piss off. Huh, why did it not go through? That's... Um... That's not good. Did it? Oh my god, hang on. I think I fucked up. <laughs> I absolutely did. One moment, please. Oh my. <laughs> so I met up with a friend yesterday and um and and they they they're building a social presence for a thing that they're working on and I was explaining to them how I use my my different stuff um and I was showing them my like buffer and plan and all this kind of stuff and Turns out when I closed the app out, it didn't reset to my default homepage, which is Twitter. So I posted my go live tweet to Facebook. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at this. There you go. That's, that's where the tweet is. It's on Facebook. It should now also be on Twitter though. So um, enjoy. That's fucking awesome. I'm very good at this. Super professional. Mega Builds by thank you. Much appreciated. Collecting Shinies is what got me into Mount Collecting and wow, I started back in silver. Uh, my first Pokemon game was red. I was eight. No, maybe ten. Somewhere between eight and ten. Um, yep. I had red, my brother had blue. I had silver, my brother had gold. Um, we both had crystal. And then etc etc along the way my brother also had yellow from the original three i didn't end up with yellow but he had it um yeah i i have played there have actually been i have to say there have been a couple of generations recently that i've missed simply because i haven't had the time to play um but i do have i don't have my old game boy pocket anymore it was a black and white one um game boy pocket and then i had a game boy uh game boy color uh, and then my brother had a GBA, um, but I now have a three uh, a DS Lite and a 3DS, and then obviously the Switch. So, yeah, look, it's, um, when you go back and count, like, how many of the, it certainly makes you feel hella fucking old. <laughs> um, I mean, it doesn't help that I'm turning 32 on Friday either, but that's fine. That's fine. We go on Twitter, are we missing? We've, we've gone through the, uh, the shenanigans. Uh, it's because the white land referred to the cliffs of Dover viewed from France leading to Albion and also Alba was slowly restricted to referring to Scotland only as the Romans pushed in and took over everything south of Manchester. Ah, there you go. Interesting. I will remember none of this, but I find it really interesting as I'm learning about it. 
Amber Ardenmoth. No. Battle Gargan. Celeste's Battle Gargan. No. Um, it's actually still called Alba and Gaelic. Oh, no way. There you go. That's really cool. Uh, Midnight. No. Obsidian Gravewing. No. Sinful Gravewing. No. NFT Twitch emotes. No. NFT Twitter profile pictures that will be shown instead of as a circle, they're shown as a hexagon if it's an NFT. And I say piss the fuck off. That shit is so terrible for the environment and you don't own shit, you idiots. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, you own a token that says you own a picture that you don't actually own. It's great. Uh, but whatever. Um, I'm going to kick this off while we're going through these guesses. We are doing... Um, oh my god, if I can type. There we go. We're doing four runs on the Paladins uh, as, uh, for Hydral. Um, also, no one guessed, no one even tried to guess the Mount Makeup on Friday. I think everyone was just enamored with little baby Grogu. Um, so no one even guessed. No one even tried to guess, which I found very entertaining. Sitting there for six hours wondering if anyone was going to click that there was free shit on the line, but that's okay. Ah, uh, Master Graving, Red Courage, Battle Tank, no. Swift Red Wind Rider, cousin of the obligatory Tawny Wind Rider, no. Uh, Predatory Bloodgazer, no. Clutch of no. Crimson Shale Hide, no. Well done, Ultra Professional. I'm so fucking professional, you don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> Oh, influencer backwards. It took me entirely too long to understand what that said. I am embarrassed. If it was on Twitter, a fweet. A fweet, aka a Facebook tweet. That sounds like a really cute, adorable fart. Like, <laughs> Hello, Crime Recovery. At least I didn't go to your live journal in 2004. I never had a live journal. What I did have was a, was a MySpace. And it was all black and red and very emo. Um... And look, it was a whole time. It was a whole time, but it did not go, it did not post to my MySpace page. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> Welcome on in, Crime. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, do you remember Ariel's from SOS? I do. I'm assuming that's you, considering that you share the same name. Welcome on in. How are you? I hope you're having a lovely day. Crimson Shard Hide, no. Flame Talon of Illust Resort, no. Really great red, by the way. Is it Mellow? It is unfortunately not. This is Colourpop. Um, Mellow do Mellow have some. Can I just say I wore uh, my treasure chest palette yesterday um, to go out for lunch, and holy fucking Jesus, it's just so easy to use. All the pigments are beautiful and blend out so lovely, and the um, the like the metallic shades. They just like I've got some some shadows where the metallic is beautiful, and if you like rub it with your finger and swatch it on your hand, it's like holy fuck, it's it's gorgeous. But then when you try to put it on your face with a brush, it doesn't work, and you've got to wet it and to make it stick properly and all this kind of shit. But the mellow metallics just don't do that. Like they are fucking gorgeous, absolutely fucking gorgeous. I used smoked topaz from the treasure chest palette, and it is this gorgeous pale gold. My lord, it just, I was really, really happy with it. I felt, I felt good, you know? You know when you put it on and you feel good? But most of their shades are very neutral. They do have a bright blue, like a cobalt blue in their Sinopia palette, but I don't have, I don't have the Sinopia palette. I don't need to do this, do I? Why am I, I don't need to do this. And then first portal on the left. So this is into Hydro Summit. Okay, good. Um... But yeah, so it, it is unfortunately not mellow, but um, Colourpop do fantastic, bright, colourful shades. Um, there are a lot of there are a lot of brands out there that they're really kind of hit and miss with the super bright ones. Some of them are beautiful and then some of them are just not very pigmented at all. I have had nothing but great experiences with Colourpop's super, super bright shades. Um, I did reach out to them at one point and ask um, what their kind of requirements were for, for influencer status and they never got back to me. So I guess I don't reach their minimum requirements. That's okay. I need a bigger Instagram following. Uh, <laughs> we know this. We know this. Uh, Okie day. So we have, oopsie, we have the vendors. Um, but we need, uh, so there, yeah, look, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. 
Um, and where's the zone drops? I don't want the zone drops. Um, happy early birthday. Thank you, Elray. McDonald hamburger. What is... Is this a troll? It is absolutely a troll. The last time you were in here, you just spammed that over and over and over again. I hope you're having a good day, little gangster. I hope that whatever is going on with you that's making you spam McDonald hamburger every time you come here to see us. I hope that's, like, I hope you get that sorted soon. Uh, Mailbuncher, no, there's a browser add-on that changes the hexagon NFT pick to a poop! Yes, and then you just don't interact with anyone with a poop emoji for their fucking, yep, oh, good, I love it. That's fantastic. Of course there is, that's wonderful. Shh, I'm trying to think here. Oh, okay, we started, good. All right, let's go. Um... NFTs contribute to art theft, yes, so many stolen pieces of art on open seas. Yeah, and it they don't even own the art, they think they own it. No, owning something like that, owning especially art, gets you things like royalties when it's used elsewhere and all this kind of stuff, and have, owning a token that says you own something gets you shit all, except 500 grand out of pocket. Like, people are idiots, but that's fine. If they want to destroy their wealth, buying... You know, notepad documents that say that they own something. That's fine. They can they can have a lovely day. <laughs> All the way over there. Tildia NFT is the latest game. They are. They are. They're just. It's it's ridiculous. But the on top of that, because of like the whole blockchain and everything, um, like mining that shit is so bad for the environment. So unbelievably bad for the environment. Uh, and it just, it hurts my heart so much. Do you own it? Does it fly? Yes and no. Admittedly, was not present Friday. I went to see my mum though. Jared was here. Jared was here. And was, we were very confused for, for, a, for a minute. But Jared was here. Yes, you were right. Grove Defiler. Good guess. No. Whose MySpace wasn't emo as fuck? That is a very good question, Zoft. That is a very good question. I did have a couple of friends who were like purples and pinks and flowers and shit. Uh, and that doesn't strike me as particularly emo, but maybe they were like the only ones. <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome to chat. Pandaren Kite. No, good afternoon, Chad. How's it going? Um, Yeah, very well. Very well. We're starting off with some, uh, some Mount Hydral farming because... Who doesn't want to spend the entirety of six hours with their head buried up? Fucking look, it's fine. It's fine. It just takes a while. It just takes a while. Ah, uh, Red Dragon Hulk. No, Red Protodrag. No. Well, did we do Garnet Razor Wing? Uh, it's not the Garnet Razor Wing. Uh, what do you think about cross faction dungeons? I think it's fantastic. I also love the fact that it's opt in rather than opt out. So that those who are, yay! So that those who are doing like um, RP and stuff like that don't get un but like just randomly dropped into this thing that shatters their immersion and stuff. Like I, I think it's really fantastic that they're doing it opt in rather than opt out. Um, and uh, I, I can't wait. I think it's going to be awesome. It means that I can play with even more of my viewers, uh, which is really important to me because that kind of engagement really just it helps you know it helps being able to get anyone in regardless of faction will be great obviously we're still gonna have a few eu friends who are still not able to join us but hey it's a it's a step right it's more people than we could play with before and that's fantastic i'm very excited uh so ariel's super on the way i'm not sure so pop in and say hello hello ariel's yeah i've been on the launcher for just over a year now which is just mind-blowingly awesome it's been one hell of a journey. One hell of a journey. Ah, uh, Bloodthirsty Dreadwing, no. Dreadsteed, no. Socials, yes, if you use Instagram. Consider following Fear, her content is, aw. Sika, thank you. Thank you very much. But yeah, that's um like 80% of brand deals are on Instagram. So if, I, if you want full-time Fear, if you want more content from Fear, she needs to be able to go full-time. Uh, and that means growing the socials reach, um, mostly at this point, Instagram. But look, I'm working on it too. I'm doing, I'm doing my part and I'm, I'm asking people and I'm, I'm plugging it and, you know, trying to, trying to grow those numbers. Um, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. 
Uh, Ruby Panther, no. Goblin Turbo Trike, no. Blanche, no. High Lord's Vengeful Charger, no. What's a mount that has that just has eluded you forever? Zulguru mount, I have both of those. Um, I am stubborn as fuck. Anything that I have pursued, I have gotten. Um, so nothing has eluded me like that. Um, the only, the only thing that I've made solid attempts to get and I haven't got uh, is the Shah Mount uh, and Undastra as well, but there was a reason that I shifted away from farming those and it was a, a content related reason. So, um, like I didn't, and I still do it every so often, it sits there, it, it kind of gets a, um, every so often we have like a community challenge goal and if we meet it, then I do like an extended stream where I farm Shah. Um, but yeah, uh, everything I've hunted I've hunted until I've gotten it, so nothing has eluded me to the point of, like, giving up or anything. I'm I'm just too stubborn for that. People call me patient, and I say, no, I'm not patient, I'm stubborn. It's different. <laughs> uh, Red Crochet Battle Saint, no! Crimson Tide Stallion, no! Master at Graving, no! Crimson Water Strider, yes! It's a Crimson Water Strider, Shiva's got it. Keep people cool rain for us for monkey picture. I know! Like, what the fuck?! People just, like, people are so, like, narrow-sighted. They do not see or care about anything that doesn't directly affect them. Who, you know, who gives a shit if the, if the world is going to be so hot it cooks my great-grandchildren alive? They don't care because it's not affecting them and they're not going to see it. And it just, it, yeah, it's not... It's not great. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... Did you get to see Lugu Grogu though, Yori? There is a photo in, there are two photos, in fact, in the Discord. I, I very much like them. Uh, hello, Tanky, just checking in, you completed the 50 alt at level 50 challenge. I did, Tanky, I did. We had a, a um, marathon stream on the 22nd of January and I got it done, smashed. So yeah, I've got um, all 50 of my tunes are at or above level 50. How incredible is that? So, uh, I am I am prepared in that way for Lovers in the Air to hit. Um, <laughs> uh, look, the, this is day one of 18 consecutive days of stream. And that part, I'm not sure that I'm ready for just yet, but we will, we will find out. I am going in the absolute wrong direction. I always forget this. I always forget this. Um, but it's fine. Is it this way? It is this way. And then, yeah, okay. There we go. Found it. Um, whoop, whoopsie. I really wish Sargera stabbed Hyjal, not the Silithus. Look. Hey, Cricket! How are you going, love? Happy Sunday. Yeah, all you people who say it's pity that I'm Alliance is screwed now. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure it's around somewhere. Maybe Discord or Twitter. So we'll hunt for it. Yes, it's on both. Um, the there are the photos that were posted, the the pictures, the screenshots that were posted in Discord that have spoiler tags. They're both just of of Logu Grogu. They're like, if anyone is cautious about why why we haven't like deleted them and moved them somewhere else, uh, it's so that people didn't get spoilers for the full completed set and if they wanted to watch the vod. Um, and so I, I respect that and I get that and it makes sense, but those, that's what the photos are. Uh, and then I've posted both of them on Twitter as well, I think. Okay. Um, it's still a bit we can't all be right. Swift love bird. Yeah, let's be Grogu immediately. He is adorable. Um, I'm not sure why I would change the video. I finally got the Armored Rosashi after after 274 attempts of the night. Congratulations, Koala! That's awesome! Well done! 55 for Shiba. Okay. Ah, uh, do you have the Ashes of Allah? I do, and it's my favorite mount. It is my favoritest of mounts, in fact. Oh, 
That was the first one that I actually went and farmed intentionally myself. Like I, yeah, was the first mount I ever kind of actually like bashed my head against the, the thing for. Ah, uh, that mount moves cool AF, what's it called? Oh, the last one I was on was the Sapphire Skyblazer. I think. Is it? This one, and it kind of bobs side to side. Is this guy Sapphire Skyblazer? Hmm, <laughs> so pretty. I know, it's gorgeous. It is my favoritist. It's so hard to get. Honestly, it's one of the easier ones. It takes four fucking ever to like get through the the RP, like the, the chatty chatty that, that Kael'thas does. Um, but it's a one in 100 drop, which is really similar to most raid mounts. Um, it just one attempt takes fucking forever is the problem. But you don't have to clear a massive raid all the way up to it. You just have to kill the one boss, which is kind of nice. You can actually skip Ashes, uh, I'm sorry, Alar. You can skip Alar as the first boss and then run straight into Kael'thas. Um, there are a lot of other mounts where you have to actually like kill every boss in the entire raid to be able to get access to the last boss, and that sucks. But um, yeah, it's not not too bad. So bound. Oh, stream raiders. Um. Donkey, since you're spending in dungeons and raids, however, ashes is allowed for fly zones. Okay, sounds like a good plan. Let me set little donkey as fave. Okay. Um. Okay. How did you get on the battle net page? See, every time I never bothered to check till now. Hello, Bill. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Shiba, for for dropping the launcher command. If you can't tell, we've been asked that question a fair bit. Uh, so we have we have a bot command to kind of explain what sort of happened but if you have any further questions please feel free to ask away uh it's um it was a lot of fun and uh, it's been one hell of a journey and it, yeah it's it's been it's been great so I'm, I'm more than happy to talk about it more than happy to let you know uh i got the death charges reigns old school first go it was like what are you talking about oh my god that's amazing that is awesome These flying ones are the literal worst. Uh, skip bosses, but transmog 80%. Yeah, this was before I gave any sorts of shits uh, about a about transmog. So <laughs> there are so many raids. I'm like, oh, I never have to go in there again, and now I have to go in there again because transmog. It's fine. It's fine. Na 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 na. Thank you, Qualitron, for raising. The partnership with Step 1, if you're looking for comfy underpants, highly recommend them. They are the most comfortable underwear I have ever worn in my life. Um, definitely worth checking out. Uh, give me just a second to finish that off. Then I'm going to jump over here and we're going to do it again. Alrighty, keep playing. Come on. There we go. Uh, every time I get another mount to drop from this, I'm like, well, at least I get to take a break for a little bit. Yeah, I know the feeling. I know the feeling so well. And then I'm like, oh, no, wait. Mount Farm Monday next week. <laughs> That's fine. I, I honestly really enjoy mount farming. So it's, um, it doesn't. Really? I mean, there are occasionally will pop up something that does feel like a chore, like, okay, I have to go and do this bit again. But often it's kind of like, I know there's a reward at the end of it all. So it it doesn't feel too, too bad. But of course, I respect that not everyone's going to feel that way. Everyone's different. Uh, so are they full boy legs? They are. They are. Um, they come down about, what's that? Two inches around about? Like two inches worth of leg on, on the inseam. Um, that might just be my leg stretching them though. I'm, I'm not 100% like obviously I'm wearing them. So it's uh, 
Uh, it will measure differently when you're not wearing them. But uh, yeah, no, and they're so, they're so comfy. They're bamboo, so they're super, super soft. And they have the little slippy bit in between the thighs. So like chub rub be gone. It's great. It's great. Uh, and the the men's wear because they have they have the men's range which is their original range and then they've just recently released a women's range. Obviously, regardless of your gender identity, you're able to purchase whichever suits your body best. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you are not restricted on which underwear you're allowed to wear. Um, but the uh, the ones that are designed for men have the extra roominess in the front as an example, and the women's wear don't have the, the gap in the front for um, extraction of body parts. Yep, let's go that. Uh, so <laughs> they are a little bit different, but the men's line, if that's more comfortable for you, the men's line do also have the, the anti-rub section in between the thighs as well. So like, if you, if you are someone like me who has thighs that could save lives, um, <laughs> but you prefer the extra space and stuff, like you prefer that fit more, then you're absolutely, like that feature is, is available on both lines. So there's no like pressure to pick, which is great. Um, uh, they're on her IG page at the moment. Yes. Yes, they are. Three alts until my second 12 set are all about 50. Oh, well done, Jack, well done. I can Google and look into them. I mean, you can, or you can use that link. Um, but yeah, no, I'm totally happy to talk about them. More than happy to provide information. What are you farming this Monday? Uh, well, I'm currently going through a bunch of different mounts that like, um, it, it's like a grind to get to them eventually, like reputation grinds and things. So I'm like working on earning that reputation. Uh, there are a few, a few, uh, alliance reputations that I'm trying to get up. Um, there are a couple that are drop mounts. Um, but you only get like one attempt sort of thing. So I have to kind of go and try and then, oh, well, moving on. Uh, so there's a list of, I think, somewhere close to 10 mounts that I'm working on actively at the moment. None of them are like raid mount. I'm pretty sure I've got most of the, I've got all the raid and dungeon mounts prior to Legion, I think. So it's kind of, I'm running out of stuff. Uh, but I have, what is it? 200 mounts left to farm. 200. That's it. No, that's a lie. I got another mount the other day, guys. I forgot to tell you. Or did I? No, because it was only yesterday, I think. I did my Ember Court. I did my Ember Court and I got, I think it was the, the, um, the, the one that drops from the Countess. Which one was it? No. Maybe it doesn't come up under the Ember Court. Yeah. No. Yes. Maybe. Wait. Is that the one I... I think that's the one I got. Desire's Battle Gargan. So I think I've got 199 to get now. Is this updated? No, it hasn't. Let's update and see what it says. Because it still says... It says 200 at the moment. But I think I'm on a 199 now. wanted to pop in and say that you're totally a paladin. No, I am not lucky. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? I'll have him out farming, running through the instances on repeat. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Dr like bashing your head against them for weeks on end. It is really nice when you start a new farm, like you're on a brand new dungeon and you haven't been here in a while. And it just, yeah, it's a great feeling. Agreed wholeheartedly. Um, uh, about it's on the Twitter. Oh, uh, it's on both, isn't it? It's on Twitter and Instagram now, both of them. Ah, oh, the same ones are cute with the little candy hearts. Yas. Yeah, the women's range are fairly plain at the moment. They don't have any patterns or anything like that just yet. Um, but I think they were dropping like some basic colors just to kind of gauge interests and stuff as well. And then uh, they're going to expand the range both in terms of colors and in terms of sizes later. Cough, PvP mounts, cough, look. I know. I know. Yep, 199 to go. I have 640 mounts. 640 mounts. I'm pretty proud of that. 199 now. Yes! 199 mounts to knock down. 199 mounts. Take one out. Ride it around! 198 mounts to knock down. I love that, Seeker. That's amazing. Holy shit. 
Oh, yeah, but you know that when 9-2 hits, they're gonna add like another fucking 50 something, 60 something mounts. Brilliant. So, one more from Kazrigal. So, this was like 11 out of 46, and I've gotten a new piece from each boss so far. So, we're doing pretty okay. We're doing pretty okay. Lotar, friend. What is it? Uh, I did finish getting all the stuff from Lunar Festival. Yay! At least I don't have that to worry about. When Lita starts, yeah. Yeah, I, I cleaned up mine as well. Lunar Festival's done. Finished. So after after stream that day, I went and grabbed... Um, the, I finished off the um, the quest, getting the Moonwells, and uh, turned that in, then bought all my stuff, and then I went and I went the next day, went around the world collecting all the flowers. Oh god, to get the permanent ones. So I've done that now too. The only thing I can possibly get from Lunar Festival Queens is um, the heirloom upgrade stuff now. But I turned that off in ATT so that my brain doesn't explode. <laughs> Yay! So a few things to get, which I'm kind of doing tonight. Fantastic. Hope you smash them out, Yuri. It's a really good feeling having that like so like crossed off. Like if I if I if I if I if I go in here, like look at this. There's there's no Lunar Fe Lunar Festival doesn't exist on the list, and that's a pretty awesome feeling. I've crossed off an entire fucking category. Then we have lovers in the air. So look, that'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be Something. fine. <sighs> Love tokens. They're gonna be tricky. I don't know how I'm gonna work those. Alien <clears throat> upgrades are uh, just the base ones, right? Yes. Yeah, Lunar Festival only has the base one available. Um and they're 40 coins each. I mean, I will absolutely get them at some point, but it's also only 500 gold apiece, and I kind of think, like, the effort of going and grabbing 40 coins versus the effort of earning 500 gold, not worth. Absolutely not worth. <laughs> so, yeah, nah, I'm good. But I also don't have a bunch of those heirlooms, so they're gonna sit there forever until I get those heirlooms. Um, I think there's one from uh, there. A bunch of them are from the um, the war token duvers from BFA, which I don't have enough to buy the 750 token mount. So I'm definitely not going to be spending 75 on goddamn heirlooms. I want the mount first, right? That'll be another one to farm eventually. Um, but yeah, so it's a it's a it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, two toys, three of the perma crowns. I want a baby hunter and someone is doing islands in middle level her. So she's gone from 33 to almost 38 and maybe two hours. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Farming Ross Feather and Rackwood Harvester right now. They're probably going to hop over to a baby tune to work on more Master. Yes. Yeah. Um, Rust Feather and Arachnoida are high up on my list at the moment for, Mount for AFK camping as well. Like that's where I've been parking my tunes while I do other shit. Um, when, uh, when Harley and stuff isn't up, those ones are up, uh, those ones are higher up on the list because I know they're only there, like, half the time, or less than, um, so that's kind of where I go first. But if they're not up, then I go to Mechagon. So if I'm then just, we got, exactly, right? Exactly. So you do another full lunar holiday clear by the Alliance pet and a second one to sell, for sure. I'm sure all my current heirlooms are maxed until I get more. There's no need for upgrades. Yeah, none of mine go to level 60 yet. They're all just sitting, uh, they're all, uh, all the ones that I use are up to level 50 because of course I used them to level 50, um, but not to, not to 60 yet. 
I'll probably go through and um, upgrade like maybe one set at a time. Like upgrade the plate ones, upgrade the leather ones, etc, etc. Um, but I'm also not planning on leveling stuff to 60 for a little while. I've got I've got collections to, to fuck with, you know. I've got completion score on DFA to to get to climb to improve. That fucking joker. Three of them already. Good lord. Can I have the other, like the patterns maybe? Although the patterns I don't really give too many shits about. Oh, huh. is this from where that is? Um what transmog are you going for? Hey, Dagger. Uh, I'm going for literally anything I don't have yet. Uh, I am a user of ATT, which stands for all the things. Uh, so I'm currently on a paladin. I've got four paladins. So I'm currently on paladin number one. And I'm going through and trying to get as much as I can that I don't already have from the bosses. And then I'll go on pal paladin number two, then three, and then four, and hope that I can... I mean, I'm probably not going to finish the raid. Like, I don't think I'm going to get everything from the raid in four runs. I think that'd be extraordinarily lucky of me. Uh, but I can give it a go. I can definitely give it a go. I hope that you're doing really well today, by the way, Dagger. Welcome on in. Uh, I just like not having to worry about my gear as my transfer farming tunes. And stay classy tunes go beyond 50. Yep. Yeah. It is kind of like going back and doing the old raids is really nice because I can run through all my tunes. Like all fucking 50 of them if I needed to. Uh, then once it gets to like Legion, things get a bit sticky. But that's okay. I'll get there eventually. I just I've done so much leveling in the last like six, seven months that I'm I'm ready to take a break from leveling and work on some completionist shit for a bit. Guessing you like Pally? No. <laughs> no, I'm a I'm a mage main. Um it's just that my lowest but I've got a if you type in actually, let me give you the here. AT dot, if I spell it correctly. There we go. So that's a spreadsheet I put together. Um to show what I have across all 12 classes from every dungeon and raid up to and including Legion. And this is the lowest percentage out of all of them. So out of every single class and every single dungeon and every single raid, my lowest percentage completion is Paladin in Mount Hygel. It kind of feels like you guys remember uh, Clu Cluedo, whatever the fuck it was called. What was me done? So Colonel Mustard in the conservatory with the lead pipe. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is my lowest one. So what I tend to do is whatever's the lowest, I work on it until I can't work on it anymore, and then I jump to the next one, um, whichever is the next lowest, uh, just to bring luck, because the, the lowest, the lower the completion percentage is. I got two! Nice! The lower the completion percentage, the, um... Oh, and I got the gloves! <gasps> Shit! Okay, hang on. Let me lower the completion percentage. Technically, like logically, the mo the higher a chance I have of getting something that will tick something off the list. Um, so we're going to equip that because that's a new transmog. As is this one. Um, but I have gloves, so create a class set item appropriate for your loot specialization retribution. So there's Lightbringer Gauntlets, Lightbringer Handguards, and Lightbringer Gloves. I'm assuming that that's the three different specs. Um, Ret, Prot, and Holy. Yep, okay, so if I grab, if I just use that, that should tick Lightbringer Gauntlets off the list. No, it goes all three because they look the fucking same. Good. Uh, and then this one... So that's Merciless Gladiator. But I can purchase it from a vendor. So that means I can take, if I got another set of those gloves, I can take it to Isle of Keldenas and buy the rest of those, because I'm assuming that they share. They do. And just buy, okay. Brilliant. Well, that's, that's, um, that's awesome source. 
What do we start on? We started on 11 out of 49, 46. We're now on 19 out of 46. So that's... Look, we're doing, we're doing well. We're getting there. Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? Uh, and now I follow it through, go to Archimond, and then we go to the next tune. Ah, uh, Rook is finally high enough for to start transport running at least with vanilla first couple aspects. Yay, Meaty! Oh, that's great news! Uh, it's my last class to start. That is so good, though, Meaty. Well done. Well fucking done. Not much of a range player. I'm a dumbass Fury Warrior main, and I've always played melee. Mage looks fun, even more so for next season. Though I'm like level 20, it feels so boring to play, hoping it picks up. Um, mage is slow when it's young. Like, sorry, young, when it's low level. I My brain equates level to age. It just, it's a thing. So mages, yeah, mages play real slow and they have to play super safe when they're, they're when they're low level as well because they're hella squishy. Um, they don't have the mana issues that they baby used to anymore, to da, da, but da, 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 baby to na, 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 na. they're really squishy. So they have to pull like one or two things max at a time. And they also have to like casting, casting, cast. Fire mage at max level is is the fastest um the fastest played range class I'm pretty, except for maybe hunter fastest caster how's that fastest playing caster like when uh jas my my housemate uh my best mate he was he'd never seen fire mage played he he's been playing with me for years but he'd never seen it played like from this side of the like with the keyboard and shit um so i got him to sit back here and I, I found a target dummy and I showed him my combust rotation. Like I showed him my opening and then showed him how the procs and stuff work after that. And he was just like, holy shit. Holy shit, that plays so quickly. Uh, and like, it's just, it's rapid fire, literally. And um, uh, the, like, cause my, my mains, no, my main is, my main is fire mage, but my uh, main ults, like the, my, the ults that I play the most, are a Windwalker Monk, a uh, Combat Rogue, and Combat? Outlaw. Outlaw Rogue, and um, a Feral Druid. They're all fucking melee. <laughs> and he's like, why do you play melee? Like, why don't you play casters as ults if you love mage? I'm like, I don't know. It just, they feel faster. And then when he saw me actually play a Fire Mage, he's like, oh, no fucking wonder you play melee. Fire Mage is essentially a ranged melee. So, like, look, if if you've got the patience to get there or if you have the money for a boost, either or, you know, no no judgment either side. Uh, I level all my tunes. I've never used a boost. Um, but, uh, you know, no judgment. Um, if you can make it to max level, Fire Mage is a fuckload of fun. It's a fuckload of fun. Uh, start with arcane. Yeah, leveling is arcane. I've I've heard as much better. I usually just play as fire anyway, but um, I used. Let's go arcane to dungeon spam arcane blast. Do triple the DPS is next one. Definitely works, Jane. Hello, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. I got two new ones from Archimonde as well. Fucking a. All right, so. Um, 21 out of 46. We got 10 new pieces of trans- 10 new transmogs. So I'm getting a lot of notifications from what I think is my family. Let me just- yeah. <laughs> no wonder I'm getting so many messages. My cousin just got engaged. First one of the family. Oh dear. All right. Jumping to the next one. Uh, where? This one. Here we go. Ah, uh, does Shadow Priest still have ludicrously high APM after its rework? Is Frost much more free flow play in Mythic Plus keys? Don't know. I do not play Frost. I don't enjoy the playstyle personally. Um, but if it's something that you do enjoy, give it a try. The only, like, usually the only way you're going to find out is by playing it yourself um, and just seeing how you feel with it. Because, uh, I mean, and the, like, the other thing that I always say is that it, it doesn't matter, like, no matter what is the best in, like, the meta or what is is known to be the, the, the you know, you, most useful or whatever, if you don't enjoy playing it, you're going to play it like shit. And you're not going to be a contributing team member if you're playing like shit because you hate the spec. So... Over like uh, someone who enjoys playing fire, like for me, I'm gonna do so much more damage as fire than frost, and, and be far more useful and provide more utility and all that kind of stuff. Just because I fucking hate playing frost, it doesn't click with me. We don't. I don't gel with the spec. It just doesn't. It doesn't work for me. 
Um, so I'm even if frost is, is the meta, I'm still probably going to do better as a fire mage than as a frost mage because it doesn't work for me personally. Um, but yeah, give it a, like once you get there, give it a play and see what you think. If you like it, then fan fucking tastic. Keep going. If you don't, try a different spec. All right, this is Alliance Paladin number two. So what are all... Ah, oh, so these ones I can also just use the item to get them nowadays. They changed them, didn't they? Yeah, so I can literally just ignore this whole list because there's no gloves on there. Yep, cool. Ignore vendors. Fantastic. <clears throat> I improved Frost quite a bit in 915. It's still not quite as rapid fire. Um, not even Arcane Blast. Arcane Explosion does more single target than any other DPS. Yeah, but it also chews through your mana. I <sighs> meant explosion. Gats, thank ya. Thank ya. Frost is now faster than fire outside of fire's combusted dungeons. That makes sense. Um, leveled one of each for mages. Kind of like them all equally, and that is totally valid as well, Yuri. Probably like them for different reasons, I'd guess. Uh, stupid question. Is time warp baseline to mage, or is it spec specific? And there are no stupid questions. Everyone had to learn everything at some point. It just so happens that you are learning this now. Yes, it's baseline. Like, no, no stupid questions whatsoever. Do not, do not even stress about that here. I know, I know there are some other places that people might get judged for asking questions that may seem basic or, or simple or whatever, but that's not how we roll here. So do not stress in the slightest. Um, baseline for all mage specs, level 49. Hello, cheese. Welcome on in. Cheese penguins. They sound like simultaneously delicious and adorable. Just saying. <laughs> I like your username. Sorry. I know I'm being weird. Uh, this is where I got stuck with Frost, though. I level fire. I just died constantly. Mages are very squishy. Mages are very, very squishy. Um, it did, like, getting more gear helps. Like, gearing up and going and actually doing raids and shit definitely helps. Um, as does knowing your kit really well. Like, knowing your kit inside out and knowing exactly when to use all the different bits and pieces. Like, it, it helps. Um, but mages are still very squishy. Ah, uh, the same mentality, play BM Hunter because I like it. It's not very meta right now, but I do more DPS than most people I know. And that's that's what matters, right? As long as you're carrying your own weight scrub, as long as people aren't having to like lug you along and you're holding them back and stuff, as long as you're pulling your own weight, I see no issue with playing what you want to play. Welcome on in. The grand time leveling as a fire mage, good. I think heroism is just too good for mages, like same with hunters. It's just too good to not take the class regardless if the player is shit. Yes and no. Um, the thing, okay, so if it's, if you're talking about pure DPS, if you take a player whose DPS is, is below where it needs to be, then you need to make sure that the rest of your team gains enough of a bonus to make, not just to make up for them, but to exceed it. Because if you're taking, if you're taking someone whose DPS is quite low or they're massively undergeared just to get the lust, how much benefit are you actually gaining? And is that benefit outweighing the amount, the amount of DPS you're lacking from the the not quite there player. The other side of it is that they need to know how to like if it's if it's a mechanically good or bad player, right? If they're not super, if they're not have they don't have the experience to do the mechanics correctly, they're gonna die anyway, and you're not gonna get the bonus the benefit from the last like as, unless you're popping it on pull every single boss fight, which is not ideal, not for everything. Obviously, some fights you do pop it on on uh, on pull, but like yeah, it's a uh, Raid lead, it's a it's a decision that's gonna be have like that has to be considered for every raid leader. There are reasons for and reasons against. Uh, it just depends on your individual team and whether or not you've got what it takes. Um, it does provide a fairly substantial bonus, but it again it's only for like this tiny bit of the fight as well. Like it's not necessarily as big a bonus as some might think. You need to make sure all your players can take adequate advantage of it and stuff like that. Like, you know, you can you can give a group of players best in slot gear from Mythic Sanctum of Domination. Doesn't mean they can go back and reclear Mythic. You know? <laughs> like 
everyone needs to kind of be on top of their game. Uh, I think I changed between Arcane and Frost quite a lot while leveling. Totally fair. They both definitely serve a purpose, especially while leveling. Use my mage as my auction tune, though, so I have absolutely not explored it enough. I legitimately forgot about Frost Nova until two hours ago. <laughs> Frost Nova's baseline now. I use it as a fire mage and it's exceptionally useful. Another one off the list. Another one bites the dust. Ah, uh, BM's really good. Single target damage. Does anyone know which hunter spec is the preferred for 9-2? Sorry, I don't. Uh, someone might though. Popping wings and getting heroism. Chef's kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Marksman, Alter Time is also basically a free lay on hands. The one spec I don't play, actually Jass, it's looking like survival, even if it's nerfed. Interesting. Interesting. It's new survival, you say? Last time survival was the meta for reading, it was still a range spec. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Hey, O4, how are you going? Welcome back. Survival tier set is giga good, even without... But Without it, ah, okay. So you're it's a it's a borrowed power thing. Okay, that's all right though. Hey, hold them back as long as possible. There's always a chance that some of those benefits get baked into the specs. We've seen it happen before. I will. I do not doubt that it'll happen again. Uh, the dumbest place keep going. Forget about it too. Yeah, and but I mean that's the thing. If you're not using it regularly, you're gonna forget about it. Like, I have 50 characters across across 12 classes. Do you think I remember all their utility apps? So fucking lootly not. Uh-uh. No. And anything I do remember is because of my raiding days, and a lot of it will be old knowledge that's all wrong by now. Oh, it's a shed appearance. Not a real one. As usual, and you. Oh, I'm. I'm absolutely the same. I. I had an. I had a nap yesterday. I had a nap today. I'm just. I'm not doing well. I don't know what's going on with me. I have a feeling it's my diet, but um. We will see. Uh, I bought. I have. I have. Um. Uh, meal prep containers that I used to use and I've been using them for Jas lately because it works better for him being able to grab it and take the whole thing to work rather than like having separate containers for breakfast and lunch and all this kind of shit. Um, so he's been using them but I'm like nah fuck this I need some for me so that I actually eat properly. Uh, so I bought more. Uh, I bought a 10 pack of um, containers that has like a big section and then two smaller sections. Um, and they arrived this week and I do food prep on Sundays. So this week, hopefully, I'll actually eat properly and, uh, fingers crossed that'll mean I get an increase in energy. I fucking hope so. I'm gonna bloody need it. Day one of 18, we're fine. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. <clears throat> Uh, I'd be playing Beastmaster regardless of what's preferred. Waiting for an avatar as warrior baseline spell. Might be worth prepping the hunter for raid then. Don't mind playing survival. What about new toss and anti-boosting? Yep. We had to talk about that on Wednesday, I think it was. I rotate between 12 tunes. I think I'm only barely adequate on two. I'm only barely adequate on one, and that's fair. Uh, the rest of them are just, nope. The rest of them I use GSE. Um... Is that a really big thing? The the whole anti-boosting? No, not really. I mean, like, they the, like boosting is still fine. It's just the middlemen that aren't. It's it's the big. It's the the Gallywixes and stuff like that. Obviously, Gallywix got taken down for RMT, but like, when you've when you've got a massive cross-server group that's constantly spamming different channels, like text channels and stuff like that, that's what they're trying to prevent. Um, so this is the way that they're choosing to go about it. I don't think it's that big a deal. You can still get boosts. You can still buy a, a mythic run for gold if you want to. Um, it's uh, There's just not going to be these big conglomerates, these companies. Literally, that's what they were. They were companies running inside somebody else's IP. And they're shutting that down. I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, I just want them to make Soul Reaper baseline for Holy again. Makes no sense to base a set bonus around a talent. That is a little bit silly. Meaty, Thor, Koala, and Fairy, congratulations on 
your bonus shit. Ah, oh, balloon busters. Right, I forgot about that. Whoops. Place your units. Follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Um, that was what I was seeing. They're expecting survival just above BM. Very much above MM raids. So MM BM Mythic Glass. Interesting. Okay. Love leveling survival hunters. Want to play in new content with one? Yas. So excited for daily fear streams. Well, that makes one of us. No, I'm kidding. I am actually very excited. Um, given what my what my like dashboard, like what my Twitch dashboard dashboard usually does for like across the week when I'm streaming, I'm really interested to see what daily streams does to those graphs. Like, I'm I'm really curious to see how it affects my stats. Um, I would also really like a heartbreaker. That would be tasty. And very nice, but uh, we will we will see. We will see. Um, set bonuses were always around weird stuff though. Make some food. Have a great time. We'll do for. Thank you very much. Um, of course we're gonna be based around weird stuff. Is there attempts to shake up the meta? Just don't base it on a talent. What other weird stuff are they going to base it around, Jazz? That's the thing. Uh, keeping in mind that, like, if you're in Mythic Plus, you're not going to have a tier set. You're not going to have a set bonus because it's raid stuff. So, like, do you know what I mean? It's not like they're forcing everyone to take a talent if they're playing that specific spec. Uh, will also be interesting to see which days are better pull. Oh, yeah. Streaming way earlier in the day two for NA... HB streams at 12 p.m. PST. During the day. You don't usually do it. Yeah, so Tuesdays and Thursdays aren't they're starting two hours later than what I usually do. So yeah. Um, but then there are a couple of streams that I'm doing that start at the, the couple of streams that I'm doing that start at midday for me. But not many. <clears throat> uh, half the classes in Mop had tier sets around talents. Yeah. You can get tier pieces from Vault, even from the Mythic Plus pieces. That doesn't make any sense, though, Jean. Because at the moment, the only things you can get from the Vault are... Like, if you if you complete raid stuff, you get raid gear in those places. If you do PvP stuff, you get PvP stuff in the, in the, the PvP places. And then you get Mythic Plus gear that can drop from Mythic Plus in the Mythic Plus places. So unless tier sets are going to be dropping from dungeons, I don't see why that would- that doesn't make sense. Tier pieces come from any vault slot? Okay, that's weird. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. Not because it's like, oh, you shouldn't be able to- it's just like... The chances of getting a tier piece in those three slots of dungeons each week is like slim to nil. It, it's just- it's going to be a lot harder for a, like a dungeon player is going to feel like they need to do raids or PvP to expand the thing to be able to get the tier pieces. And I don't think I like that because the whole idea was that you should be able to do Mythic Plus just doing Mythic Plus and you should be able to progress in raid just by doing raid and you should be able to progress in PvP just by doing PvP. That, that like, I mean, that's, so we're taking a step backwards in that area. Or at least that's what everyone's been fighting for for ages, right? Oh well. Uh, I never liked DK till recently. Just had to get Frosty Go. It's super fun. Just wish it was buffed. It's fun. I know I do better on my Fury Warrior, of course. Well, it might also be because you've just started playing it as well and you haven't quite found your, your perfect flow to maximize your DPS. And so, of course, you'd be doing more on a Warrior until you get as good on a Frost DK as you are on a Warrior, you know? Take, it does take practice. You can get the traits on Mythic Plus gear. You can craft tier pieces with a new system as well as Mythic Plus too. Ah, uh, okay. Right. So I have been actively avoiding spoilers. Um, and that means that I've done exactly zero research on anything to do with ZM and, and 9.2. Because 
um, Wowhead doesn't seem to know what a fucking spoiler is and that it should not be put in a goddamn article title. So I've avoided literally everything. The only things I know about 9.2 are what I've read in the Blizzard thingamajigs. And that's the way I want to keep it before anyone starts trying to fill me in on everything. I don't want spoilers. Please do not give me spoilers. You will be timed out if you give spoilers. Um, but yeah, so that's that's why I wasn't aware of the, the trait things with the, the ZM stuff, just because I'm... <sighs> Fucking wowhead. Um, I read the schedule wrong. Each stream is twelve a.m. for me. Oh, you read it wrong. Okay, thank fuck. I thought I'd entered the data wrong, and I was gonna need to go through and correct all the times and stuff. So thank you for double checking, Shiba. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, because yeah, they have to start at six because I I finish work at five thirty. <laughs> I finish work at five thirty, so I'm giving myself half an hour to potentially have to run overtime with work and get myself set up and ready for stream, and then I go into stream. Um, it's what I used to do when I was working full time. <sighs> you know, go to work, come home, stream, sleep. Wake up, go to work, come home, stream, sleep. It's <laughs> I do not miss those days. They they very nearly killed me, but uh, look, it's fine. This is only for 18 days. Only for 18 days. <clears throat> mm, put this up on some mythic PP gear. Careful how much we chat about 9-2. Yeah, thanks, Jess. I appreciate it. Uh, sets are too important to be locked to raids only. Opens it up to everyone. Um, well, they might... That's the thing. They may not have done it. Like, it's like, you know, the domination sockets were definitely not important, but that was kind of their trying to make tier sets. Like, it was build your own tier set, essentially. That's what they were trying to do with dom sockets. And they were completely useless anywhere else, because it was only in the place. So they could have very well done that with, with tier sets. They could have said, in Xerath Mortis, blah, 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 you know? Um, but... Yeah, I, I don't think that tier sets are that important. I think that we make them important like that. Um, but they could very easily not be that important. Um, Plenty, but no, you're fine. Look, we all misread. We all misread. It's totally okay. Um, plus, where you get craft those eight weeks in or from the vault. Okay, gotcha. And perhaps it needs BLP on it. No, the BLP is the nine slots rather than just one. That's your BLP. You, we've already got that. We don't need more. Uh, maybe the air weeks is a bit too long wait, but we'll see. Maybe they still change it. That, or maybe you've got an actually, like, a relatively high chance for tier pieces to come through the vault. Like, they're a higher drop chance than the other shit. Or something. You know, like, that's there's always that possibility. Oh, that's what I'm trying to kill. Hello. <laughs> Frost is less than Fury. Fury scales far better than DK's spec. Gotcha. DK doesn't have a chance to get you RSI either. Look, here has more reliable cleave and Mythic Plus than Frost DK. Face twisted. I was like, I should double check because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not streaming earlier. I'm, I'm, I'm st streaming later. There are definitely a couple in there that start at midday my time. I don't know what time that is for you, but there's only a couple of them. There's the twelfth, the eighteenth, and that's it. <laughs> the twelfth and the eighteenth. That's literally it. Um, so those, those times will be a bit odd to look at, um, but the rest of them should be reasonably similar to each other. Let's just say ZM systems, retier sets make it so catch up and old friendly are so implemented from the, st from the start. They are learning to do that, excuse me, by the way. Um, they are definitely learning to do that, and I think that's, you know, it's definitely good. I like it. Four months down the line, you'll be able to get best tier from whatever content you're doing. Cool. Awesome. That's great. Not only that, but you've also got the BLP protection. Like, if it's craftable, it means that if you're doing the raid and it just won't fucking drop, or they've been giving it to your tanks and healers in your guild and you're too far, you feel like you're too far down on the priority list to get the TFPs, then you can just go fucking make it. Like, I, and is, that's your BLP. Right there. Hey! That's it. Oh no, I still need one more thing from Kazrigal. I lied. It's not it. We're doing well. 23 out of 46. And this is only the second tune. Uh, what is midday for you there? 12 p.m. Lotar, friend. What is, it? is it not called midday in the United States? 
Like it's, you know, 6 a.m., 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, midday, 1, 2, 3. And then midnight is the same thing. 12 p uh, 12 a.m., like right before 1 a.m. hits. And it's one word, M-I-D-D-A-Y, midday. Ooh, I didn't have that one. Cool. Uh, afternoon is 12 p.m. The day is like 3 4. No. Wrong. That is the end of the workday. Why is that midday? That's stupid. <laughs> Wrong. That actually makes no sense. Maybe, f like, and no, it's, it's like the end of the school day as well. Why is that midday? It's mid afternoon. <laughs> that makes no logical sense. It's high noon. <laughs> uh, I need to go live in England nearly half seven. I've yet to sleep. Oh no, rest well. We'll see you next time, Dagger. Thanks so much for hanging out. News 12 p.m. Afternoon is after 12 p.m. Exactly. I mean, yeah, I get that bit, but like midday being 3 or 4 p.m. makes zero sense. It's literally the end of most people's days. This is afternoon, Jack. Got him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hello, Binary. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Fairly new to WoW, what would be your biggest tip to a new player? Take it at your own pace. Find someone who, when you ask them questions, because you'll have questions, it's a 17 year old game. Like there are gonna be questions, that's okay. But find somebody who, when you have a question to ask, will give you an answer to just that and not 17 years of backstory as to why it's like that. Um, information overload is real. And if you, if there's, if you feel like there's just too much in the game, and it's overwhelming because there's just so many things that I should be doing and fuck, oh no, what am I, ah, then you will end up just dropping it. Even if you do, even if you are enjoying yourself, if you feel overwhelmed, you'll end up quitting. And that, I mean, it's okay. If you don't enjoy the game, obviously don't play it, but it's, it's, you're better off trying to avoid that information overload by finding someone who's able to just kind of give you just the information you need rather than the extraneous bullshit. That'd be my biggest piece of advice. Just play at your own pace. Ask questions about things as you discover them and find someone who will answer just the question you have asked. Uh, and if you're looking for someone who can do that, the community here is fantastic at that. Really, really good. I mean, obviously, like, when you ask a question about something, someone will answer you directly and then the rest of chat will devolve into a conversation about like everything tangibly related to what you've asked, but you can ignore that bit. It's just the actual question you asked, the answer that you can pay attention to and then you can tune the rest out. But yeah, go at your own pace and enjoy yourself. Do the parts that you love, explore and, and just have some fun. It is a video game after all. It is supposed to be your leisure time. It's not supposed to stress you out. Um, no, 7 a.m. here. It's pre-noon. Haha! <laughs> Have fun, take it slow, ask questions. Yeah, absolutely. There are no stupid questions. Everything that you're asking about that we might possibly know, there was a time that we didn't know that as well. We had to learn that at some point, and it just so happens that the time that you are learning it is now. And there's nothing wrong with that. No stupid questions. Uh, what happened with the community raids? Oh, like the, the Sunday raids that we do? Uh, it, we just, we got to the point where I think we had like three or four weeks consecutively where we couldn't put a group together. We didn't have enough people. Um, so we stopped because it was clearly something that most of the group, most of the community weren't interested in anymore. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna create content that no one wants. So, <laughs> if people didn't want to partake, then I was doing it for them. And if they didn't want it, then we won't do it. Easy peasy. Uh, biggest tip is take it slow, don't rush and panic to get to high level. Yeah, absolutely. That is a good one as well. Just take your time. Enjoy the leveling. Amazing advice. Thank you. It's the same advice I've been giving to people for six years. <laughs> I've been streaming for six years and I've had that question a lot. But yeah, it's um, over time I've kind of refined my answer. 
But yeah, it's um, it really doesn't like everything else that you could possibly tell a new player. It it all comes down to just enjoy yourself and take it easy. Uh, everyone was real. Yeah, there's so much. The game is huge. Uh, I ended up just playing random classes as free to play instead of dedicating myself to one straight away. Found the one I liked first. I love that. That's a great way to do it, binary. Good job. Which what did you end up settling on? If you've settled so far. Uh, learning how to search where I had determined what information can be completely ignored as a skill to develop. Oh, hell yeah, it is. Hell yeah. Oh my god, Jess, where I had has been amazing for my fashion plans. Yes. Yes. Damn it. As my main tip, install GTFO as the only add-on you really need as a new player. Yeah, so GTFO, if you're if you're looking for add-ons, GTFO is a really good one. It basically starts blaring like the Avast uh, virus found noise if you're standing in something that's killing you. So it tells you to move, basically, which is really handy. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, what, what add-ons do I need as a new player? None. The answer is none. Um, if, you, if you're watching streams and you're like, hey, that thing that does that thing on your screen, like, that's really cool. I'd like my, I'd like my game to do that. Um, then obviously that's a great one to go and get. But beyond that, if you're not having any issues with the way your game is operating and like there's nothing, it's like, yo, oh, I, I love this, but I really wish this would do that. There is an add-on that will make this do that, I guarantee you. Um, but until you find those moments, you don't actually need any add-ons. Um, once, if you, if you end up raiding or doing Mythic Plus at a higher level, then, you know, your groups that you run with will tell you what they expect you to run and that's fine. But, um, as a brand new player, you're good. You can, you can... Scoot along with a vanilla UI and you will work perfectly well. Hydrate. I blame Jas, probably his fault. <laughs> Definitely not Jas's fault. He rocked up every single time and sat here with me for an hour and a half waiting for people to join us before I called it. So uh, he did. He did good. He did good. I died typing that message. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Absolutely. First comment on an item is always, almost always the best info, but it's good to confirm by changing to showing comments from the retreat's patch. Yeah, absolutely. And having like one person who is like so absolutely certain that this is the way that it works, it is always useful to find a couple more comments that like agree with that or checking the comments on that comment and stuff just to make sure that other people have had the same experience. Yeah, it's a uh, wowhead is incredible for information, but there's a lot of it on there. Again, 17 years. Um, I did get that. It was so loud and alarming I had to turn it off. Fair. Fair. I'm sure there's probably a way to turn it down in-game. But yeah, when uh, when you've got so many things going on that the GTFO alarm has to kind of go across a t on top all of them to so that you actually hear it, it makes sense. But uh, as a new player, you won't, have, you won't have gotten into quite that experience just yet. GT for Oceans of Volume Slider. Hey, amazing idea going through different classes to find one you like most. How long have you played so far? Yeah, good question. Oh, hydrates. Hey, Chaos. Doing well. Tired, but well. I hope you're doing well as well. Come on, Asgalore. Give me gloves. No gloves. Alright, to Archimond. I've tried playing a few times, all my friends would be endgame and I'd be new, so I'd pretty much be playing alone and would give up after a bit. Friends are friends now are also just starting, so this time it's been different. Oh good! That's awesome. See, it's funny because I when I level new characters, I always do it single player. Like I play it as a single player game, and then my end game is where it's multiplayer. But yeah, it can definitely be more fun when you're experiencing something new with with a group. Demon Hunter be going for a samurai vibe character of the anime dashes and the AoE dash for a havoc spec. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh shit, I have to talk to Thrall, don't I? Shit. Whoopsie. Bit tired, but I'm good. Oh, good to hear. Wonderful news. All right, where's my dashboard? Because I need to... I have some hydrates, apparently. Lotar, friend. What is it you think? <sighs> ah. <clears throat> I'm fine. Definitely not drowning. Uh, 
just a few hi- oh, just a couple. Look, yeah, um, chat has a habit of trying to drown me. <laughs> so if one day I'm not here on here on time for stream, then it's because X has drowned me. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, Demon Hunter and Paladin are probably the best play- less classes for new players. There you go. Yeah, Demon Hunters are pretty well put together, and I think it's probably because it's the most recent class, you know? Like, they had all these lessons that they learned and they stuck them all together in one class. Trying to get my Druid Knight favorite now to 80. I'm three off! Ah, nice! Well done! Well done. Switch to Vengeance and get just enough of a handle on it or get Hikili out on lol. Uh, you can just face your way through, face roll your way through levels. Having a little bit of knowledge on how to play Vengeance is kind of handy. Just if you come up across a rare mob and it's like just too powerful and you can't quite beat it as Havoc, you can switch to Vengeance. It'll take longer, but you'll survive. And then you can switch back to Ven uh, switch back to Havoc and keep going. It is quite handy having that like tank spec in the back pocket in case you need it. it is um, but definitely not necessary. necessary. Just useful. Panic! Yep. I blood decay to that. Ah, oh, I did try Paladin the second most. There you go. Um, found Demon Hunters as confusing as fuck. There you go. It, it, isn't it crazy how our brains all work so differently? Uh, Blood DK isn't good for new players. It relies on a lot cla on class knowledge to actually survive. Push Death Strike easy mode. Absolutely, Blood Prot and Vengeance so fun if you're patient. Been you watching videos of both specs. Think you got a decent handle on them both. Oh, wicked! That's really good to hear. Love the makeup. Thank you, Chaos. It was based on the Crimson Water Strider. HD. Do you think technically Prop Pally has the highest APM of any spec? Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Alright, Archimon, do you have shit to give me? Please give me the shit. Cataclysm's Edge, and Tonidas's Ages of Wrapped Concentration, and a Helm Token, a Conk one, preferably. I still have two more Paladins to run through, but it'd be really nice if I could, like, finish off the dungeon. If I could finish the raid in four runs, I would just laugh my ass off. Oh shit, that reminds me of Qualitron, with the, uh... The throne wish list. I need to like actually do some shopping because it's my birthday on Friday. I need to build myself a wish list of pretties that I would like so that I can I can maybe spoil myself, treat myself for my birthday. Hello, Krazy. Please give me the shits. Yes. I got nothing that I- fuck you. Why- why is this offhand? No. Go away. Uh, alright. Out we go. On to paladin number three. At least I know once I finish this, it's not going to be the lowest on the list anymore. However, this might have actually pushed my lowest to 24%. Because we've been sitting in the 23s for a couple weeks now. I think we're at 24 Maybe. What am I at? 23 out of 46. Fifty <clears throat> percent. <laughs> Holy shit. Oof, okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're at exactly 24% now. That's good. We've gotten up a percent. Why, what the fuck, channel? You might have won a raid, like you went AFK and you won the raid or something. If you're like, what the fuck, at how many coins you've got. It's like two weeks after yours. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 11th of Feb. On Friday. Do not answer if you know. But, like, how old do you think I'm turning on Friday? 
It's alright, I won't be offended. Let's let's have fun. Let's have fun. His cameras do wonky ass shit to faces. It's really difficult to be able to tell an age through a camera, so. Especially like webcams rather than like DSLRs or something. 476? Okay, look. I'm not actually a vampire yet. <clears throat> Except I know, I know. I know. Just thought I'd take the opportunity for the joke. Only 76 more to go. <laughs> um. Uh, wouldn't it feel good to completely finish Hydral though? Even on just one race, like run race, one class would be so fucking awesome. So fucking awesome. To know it can be done. Oh, look at that channel. Look at the win. 340k. 21, obviously. Except I know when kids at school ask how old I am, I always answer 172. Did you choose Vampire or Ghost Vampire? Absolutely Vampire. Like 24, you said you've been playing for six years. Oh, I've been streaming for six years. I've been playing WoW for 15. I think when you become an adult at 18, have some freedom in your life. Sorry, the misinterpretation there. I, I've been streaming for six years. I started playing 15 years ago. So that'll alter your guess, I imagine. So I'll, I'll give you another round. I'll give you another guess. You sure I already know the answer? Oh, you probably do, Seeker. I've been talking about it enough over the last couple of weeks. I think you misheard the six years. Um, no, I definitely said six, but it was um, my stream anniversary is on February 24th, and it's going to be six years of streaming. The person I play games with always says 91. I've been playing WoW since I was seven. I'm turning 24 in July. Ah, cute. I don't know, I know the answer from Vampire. Oh, gotcha. Right, yep. Of course. <laughs> yep. I do know your age. You do, yeah. You do. You do. Crunch. I do like that you think I'm 24, though. That makes me happy. Only 20, 30 since no 29 anymore. <laughs> so for those of you who don't understand that joke, before I made partner, I was Fiamma29, was my username. And then once I made partner, they allowed me to drop the 29 and then claim the name Fiamma because it was in an active account. Uh, so hard for me to guess ages. I feel like a kid, I'm a 24. Everyone else looks like an adult to me, so I have no clue. Totally okay. I'm really bad at guessing ages as well, and I blame that on my parents. Both of my parents, um, like, I've got really oily skin, and because I inherited it from them, and so neither of them look even close to their age because their skin just hasn't sh started to, like, it hasn't shown those signs of aging. And so they always looked so much younger than what they were. And so my my inter interpretation of age is just so heckin' skewed. It's, like, ridiculously skewed. Um, but I'm turning 32 on, on Friday. I'm turning 32. Uh, small school the other day. How old are you, mummy? 34, I turned 35 soon. Oh my god, are you gonna die soon? You're so- <laughs> Oh, fuck, children. Oh, good lord. No way. That's just, like, oh. I know, I know that they don't realise how deep their words cut, but still. Absolutely not. Get fucked. <laughs> fear fought the other fear of the death and arm wrestling match and came out victorious. Turned 43 three days ago. You did. Oh my god, you definitely don't look it. Makeup, camera, oily skin. <laughs> that's just what I'm is what I'm claiming I'm trying to think. um when I'm like IRL when I've got no makeup on and I'm like up close in a mirror like doing my skincare and stuff I can I'm start I'm really starting to see stuff that I don't like uh, but that's okay it is what it is you know it's something we all go through um but yeah so I'm going to quell my misery by buying myself pretty things <laughs> and putting them on my throne wish list um ugh. it's great it's fine. It's great. Be 36 in two months. I still get guessed at 21 all the time. I don't get carded anymore and it makes me sad. <laughs> Look at day over 21. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, trust me when I say that when you guys see me face to face, like if we go to packs and stuff, 
you're gonna be uh look you're gonna you're gonna have some different why can't i oh outland tailoring fuck um you're gonna feel a little differently about that maybe uh aging is so interesting i saw a stream yesterday who was 51 looked similar age to my grandparents meanwhile i coached woman yesterday 65 was still past my early 50s in most circles yeah it's uh and health has a lot to do with it uh the fact that i have an autoimmune condition has probably hastened my decline uh because my body is just unhealthy as fuck uh, but I'm hoping that with my the meal meal prep containers that I've I've ordered now that I'm actually going to be using them for me instead of just for Jazz, um, hopefully getting back on top of my diet will uh, maybe help me feel a little bit healthier and stuff. Fingers crossed. Um. Oh, that really makes sense now. You said it with WoW being, WoW being one of the first MMOs and how reasonable you are with game advice. Big sense of experience. All the MMO traumas and come out stronger. <laughs> oh, fuck, ain't that the truth. Ah, oh, good lord. Um, yeah, I haven't played many of the other MMOs, to be honest. Um, I've only ever really played WoW. Um, I, I mean, I dabbled in a bit of RuneScape and I've played some of the others, like, for a stream or two here or there when people have been like, oh, I really want to see you play Final Fantasy. And so I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll do that for a stream. See how we go. Uh, but not like, not to the level that I play WoW. Um, excuse me. So I've only ever really played WoW, but um, I've also gone through a lot of shit in my life. <laughs> like it's it's not just like the MMO trauma. Um, I've, I mean, I haven't, obviously I've not, not trying to say that I've had more more life trauma than than it's ex people or whatever. That's not at all the case. Um, but I have had quite a few interesting experiences in my life, and I feel like having those experiences is sort of and and then obviously like I, I have therapy regularly and stuff like that as well, which helps uh, kind of make sense of what I'm experiencing. Um, so those, that kind of advice that I get there and that I come to oh, I myself to being led by a therapist and all that kind of stuff, it just, yeah, it all sort of, it all connects together, which is nice. But yeah, I, I try to give good advice because there's not a whole lot of it out there. Uh, Puma, Meaty, Fairy, Seeker, and Cade, congratulations on your bonus shit. Uh, there's a whole lot out there of you need to do this and this is the correct way to do this and blah, 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 all that kind of shit. And I'm just not here for that. Um, it's a video game. Have some goddamn fun with it. Uh, but, yeah. Like, there are some people who genuinely, they are, they have the most fun when they're playing meta. And what they, what, like, their definition of fun is keeping up with the meta and learning the new meta every time it comes around and all that kind of, and that's, that's their type of fun and that's totally okay. 100% reasonable. That doesn't mean that they're allowed to force that on other people because other people have a different type of fun that they're trying to achieve. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we've built a pretty good community here. Everyone's pretty great with like advice and acceptance and, um, yeah. Hold them back as long as possible. Other oh, times the ultimate champion. I don't like him because of it. But I fear it's okay. Oh, now you know why you're under 72 better than wounding words from children. Absolutely. Absolutely. Make sure the squids don't join us and destroy all our delicate souls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I need chat to pick whether I play Minecraft EU4 or actually work on my ship. I don't know what work on my ship means. Uh, I also don't get caught anymore. I turn 26 in August. It's okay. Ship. Yeah, if you're Stardew Valley stream, when? Um, I finished Stardew Valley. Um, so it'll be a replay. There was there was a period, like a few years back, a couple, maybe four years ago now, where I literally played nothing but Stardew Valley for kind of like months. Um, so where I've been there, done that. Like, been there, done that. Uh, my first was RuneScape. Yes, in high school, I picked up Sator and got addicted big time. I did play a bit of Swator, it was it was fun, but it was it didn't kinda it didn't grab me. I don't like WoW was my first MMO. I mean I played a bit of RuneScape, but um you know, it, like I always played it as a single player game. I, I just went and did skills, you know, just I was a skiller or whatever they call it. And um 
Like, Swator didn't really grab me. I guess I'm not, like, a, a fangirl of the, the source material uh, to that sort of level, so it didn't it didn't have that nostalgic kind of thing for me, and I've, I've never really wanted to be a Jedi. It's, you know what I mean? It's not really my... Yeah, so, I don't know. It didn't quite grab me in the way that WoW has. Uh, but that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. The reason there are so many different ones out there is because different people are looking for different things. That's great. Making D&D ship need to finish designing the two lower decks. I would say the D&D ship. But if you're burnt out and you need a break from working, then I would say the, um, what was that? Glimmering steel mantle. Ooh. Oh. Wait. Oh, that was the boss. Okay, good. I'm like, wait, why did that? That was the boss. Um, if you're feeling a bit burnt out and don't have the, the effort to, like, actually work today, Jack, I'd say EU4. Uh, could claim where I had a better test for tour. I played it after release and came back to where after hitting max because it was boring. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. I'm trying to think here. We have won valuable time. Uh, I'm big on PvP. I don't feel that wanting the meta except for me. Uh, I love playing what I find fun and finding ways for it to compete with the meta. Love that. That's awesome. It's really cool. Uh, in Sator, I was, I hope, one of the best PvP tanks on my server. Like, I'd get recognized, everyone knew each other, and it was heaps of fun, but I was also on an RP server, so when the server merge happened, I struggled to compete with the real PvPers. Fair. Fair. online was first to really get me into MMO then EverQuest. Ah, oh, Bone, that's awesome. I don't think I actually played either. I mean, I've played, so I played a bit of Swator, I played a bit of Guild Wars 2, uh, a bit of Final Fantasy, uh, obviously a fuckload of WoW, and uh, more than dabbled in RuneScape, but um, not for not for years now. Uh, I'm trying to think if there were any others that that we tested out on stream here or there, and I don't remember. I don't think so. But welcome on Inbone. I hope you're having a lovely day. First MMO was ever Quest Online Adventures on the PS2. Nice. Just got home from shopping. I want to know if people guessed about makeup. They did. They did. Crimson Water Strider. Shiba got it. I just remembered I don't think I actually sent you the key. I had it, like, there and copied, but I don't think I actually sent it to you. No, I did not. Brilliant. Here we go. Ta-da! Pathfinder Kingmaker Explorer Edition. Enjoy. Very good at this. Ah, uh, ba 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 <laughs> Thank you, Seeker. Much appreciate. Um, hi, what's your thoughts on WoW Classic? Hey, silly, welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I think WoW Classic's fantastic. The fact that it's there for people to play uh, and the fact that they're actually putting effort on it to make it not, like, you know, what once you've got all the content that's released, sitting there, like, once you've done all the things... It, like what what do you do next like you know what I mean so the fact that they've got these things like the season of mastery to let people kind of start from scratch and, and do the race again and do the race again and do the, like that kind of stuff it's I, I think it's really really great that they're putting effort into making it replayable in a way um rather than bringing out new content for it because obviously there's no new content because it's you know old stuff um yeah I really like that I personally don't play it uh, I have no interest uh but I'm glad that it's there for people who do. Very glad it's there for people who do. Maple story. Um, as a memo was EverQuest, the trains and corpse runs. Nice. Hutball was so good in Sator. It's my favorite BG out of all MMOs. There you go. Went back into RuneScape 3 sometime last year. Loved all the new gear, playing RuneScape dress ups for ages. Yeah, I only ever, like, whenever I played RuneScape, I just, all I did was level the skills. Like, and dungeoneering. That was, it was good fun. But that was, that was kind of it. And it was always single player. I never did anything in a group. Or party or whatever. Seriously, they're good. It's an Imperial Hutball team guild at one point. It sadly isn't a crowd favorite PvP mode. Aww. Aww Hutball was the most fun I've had in PvP in an MMO. Oh, such a pity that it's not like... 
A super popular one, then. That's really odd. You would have thought that, like, if it was that much fun, then it'd be super popular. Killer in it with our guildies was awesome in first balance, especially they nerfed Merc and ruined my fun. Oh no! Oh no. I feel like I need more players. I feel like I need more buttons playing Protodon. Well, you do have a whole keyboard worth. Someone who enjoys classic AV, I can understand how people don't all agree on favorite PvP events. Fair. Fair. Wait. There's one more. Is that? Ah. Fucking. Good lord. Six hours later, yeah. It was a time. God, it's too high for me to even hit. This is ridiculous. There we go, I had to jump to be able to hit it. First was Arsenal Merc. I definitely get the feeling of Merc and Jug from Demon Hunter, to be honest. Interesting. Okay. It, I always find it really cool how, like, classes carry across over different MMOs, but they're never, they're never just, like, carbon copies. They're always, like, a blend of two or three different classes because they can't be just a carbon copy because, you know, IP and shit like that. But, like, yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay. Have some hydrates. Mm. I have run out. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna do work at some point. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Five of eight. Round three. I got one more paladin to do after this. I could technically still get the whole place completely, like 100% cleared um, with how many runs I have left, but we'll see. We'll see. Six. Enjoy Shadow Step too much. Need to try Outlaw again. I play the little rogue. I have one at 60. Usually play Outlaw Assassination. Need to try sub then. Yeah, for sure. And three. You ready? Fight! Exactly. Exactly. We're getting there. We're getting there. Three out of four paladins. Two down. One part the way through. One more to go. Now we can do something different. Farm somewhere else. What is it you wish? <laughs> I 
are we fighting? Ah. There. <laughs> One invading enemy directly above. Hundred twelve buttons at your thumb. Indeed. He has one? No, I don't have one. I don't have the G600. I've got a, um, what's this one? 604. It's got fluff all over the bottom of it because my desk is dusty as hell. Got a G604. But I'm still learning how to actually use the, the six buttons on the side. It's not 12, it's just the 6. 600 was out of production for a long time. Uh, or click, yep. Yeah. Like Paladin is a class you need click for. But the Razor one, Shinny Naga, can't play an MMO without the side buttons, to be honest, totally fair. Uh, my muscle memory uh, uses the keyboard. That's what I first learned to use and that's what I've been using for 15 years and trying to break that habit and use buttons on a mouse instead. No. It's, it's really tricky to, to break that muscle memory. Uh, G13 refuses to stay connected, literally got used twice for going back in the box for moving missing there for three years. Oh no! Should have gotten a warranty replacement. Three years is obviously too late for that, but the warranty on them is like two years. <clears throat> Nagas, Trinity died in under a year. G600 is doing good, but I can't play Satoris V2 now. I need to put my consecration on a different button, and sometimes it's way higher than where it's currently placed. Otherwise, where the hell do you put all these blessings? Ah, oh, dear. Stab the ground. Do the thing. No, nothing from Kaz. I only need one item from Kaz, and he won't drop it. I don't know if he was capable of wearing credit or something. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, th after three years, who knows what else has happened? Who, what, who knows what else has changed inside it as well? Lokar, friend. What is it? Taurus. I have a 12 button Naga Trinity, Tetra SB2, barely use my actual keyboard when I play WoW. Fair. Fair. Uh, my water bottle is empty hydration. I'll have to go and grab myself another drink. So I've got a few hydrates in queue. Uh, the 12 thumb buttons for over 10 years now. Couldn't play without those. First use Naga for years, but then your models just didn't last. Have course a scimitar now. Is it working down? Yep, fantastic. Yeah, I, uh, it's, hey, it's, it's muscle memory, right? Like, once you've used, like, if you've been using those side buttons for 10 years, same thing as me using the keyboard for 15. Like, I just, I'm not going to be able to change it. The muscle memory is too strong. Excuse me, that is very rude of you. What the hell? This is why AoE looting is the bestest. Kill something near it and loot it that way. No, indeed, hydration, but it's okay. I will, I will go and refill after this next boss. I think. Take a brief chair stream. I don't have the desk space for it. The old weaver didn't make that anymore. I've gotten used to the tutorials now. Up, buff, sack, wog, flash of light, low. Clans are all on click for me. There you go. G six hundred fairly recently. That was a clicker, it's definitely helped me transition a lot more seamlessly. Oh, that's great news. It's great news. Yeah, it's because it's a slur, Jazz. It 
It's not really a slur in Australia. Well, I mean, I think it is, but it, like, hasn't been considered as such until fairly recently, but it's it's absolutely a slur. Uh, do you work for Lizard? No. No, I do not. I have had a couple of sponsored streams with them in the past. This stream is not sponsored. Um, but no, I do not work for Blizzard. I'm not employed by them. I imagine that you're asking because I'm on the launcher. Um, but there is a... an excellent here. Let me... Bam! There you go. Oh, I don't know that I got a 10 kilos. Keyboard to make the room. I could not. I could not with a TKL. I just, I couldn't. Like when I was talking to Logitech about a new keyboard, I was just like, please don't give me a TKL. I can't. I'm I my day job is in accounting. I need my numpad. <laughs> give me my numpad. But if you are short on desk space, the TKLs are a fantastic option. If you can operate without a numpad. And if you need more more desk space. Um, which is how I found the stream. Yay, Binary! Oh, that's so good to know. Who is a good person on Twitter to contact when customer service doesn't help? Uh, customer service doesn't operate. There is, um... Uh, th I think, isn't there, like, Blizzard customer service? There's a Twitter account or something like that for Blizzard customer service. But there is there is no person on Twitter that manages customer service for, for Blizzard. Um, because the company is just too big. Um, so they, they yeah, you've just got to go through the... Uh, you open a ticket, basically. Um, and they'll get back to you and they have like a response time and if if you're not okay, like if the first answer doesn't quite help, then you can reopen that same ticket and go back to them and ask for more information or whatever. But yeah, there's there's no, even through Twitter, they'll usually ask you to open a support ticket or ask you what your support ticket number is so they can get more background on the information. Uh, Rocket Fanboy, Rocket Nith is my go-to, bought an unpad to use, I'm not gaming as well. I love that mens, that's so good. So good, buy a bigger desk before losing my number. Yep, me too, me too, me too. The reason I ask is because they stopped, they stopped us being able to claim TBC Collector's Edition. I'm not happy with that. They had a, they had a claim by date since they released the product. Like, you must use the key before X date since they released the product. They always do. If you have a key that you purchased and you haven't had a chance to use it yet, reach out via customer service but like <laughs> there's there has been a use by date on those since they really like that's not their f like they've told you if you didn't if you didn't pay attention to that that's not on them you know they're not they're not gonna be able to help you with that like <laughs> it's unfortunate but it is what it is you always gotta read the fine print and that's why uh, it's a bit of a Razor fanboy. I had two keyboards, two mice over 12 to 13 years. Over the headsets break very quickly. I use the fairly new Logitech G733. That's this one. It's the one I've got on at the moment. It's beautiful and so useful. And just, ah, oh, it's great. Um, I am a Logitech fangirl, and I have been since I was like eight or nine years old. There's a whole spiel for it. Um, I was part of a competition. Uh, Clash of the Creator that was hosted by Blue and Logitech in Australia um, and the winner of the competition became a an affiliate with like a like, yeah an affiliate with Blue and Logitech for a year got a five grand PC all this kind of stuff um, I didn't win I uh, got awfully close we made top five which is what we had to do to be considered to be chosen as the winner um, but they went with the person who got the most votes which makes sense uh, however uh, a few months after that, I uh, asked anyway, <laughs> and so yeah, I'm a, I'm a Logitech affiliate, and um, never been happier. It's uh, it's been a goal of mine for a long ass time, and yeah, here I am working with Logitech, um, which is which is pretty freaking awesome. Not gonna lie. I've got the blue one. Ah, oh, the blue is such an awesome color as well. The blue one is so pretty. Most of the products are broken way too quick for me. Not gonna buy any more. Totally fair. You gotta, you gotta have faith in what you're spending your money on, especially when we're talking tech, because tech is so fucking expensive. 
when you're laying down that kind of dosh, especially if you're someone like me who doesn't have a lot of disposable income, you don't want to be buying something that you don't have faith in. So yeah, I can totally understand not wanting to get something after you've had bad experiences. Um, yeah, there you go. About to hit Hydra like you. Yeah, look, Meaty, it's okay. After this, it's not Hydra. After I finish these two last runs on these two last paladins, I'm not in Hydra anymore. Ah, oh, it's so cool though. Thank you. It's why every so often this, this little thing here, it'll say Logitech G. There, there you go. See? I've got my beautiful G733s. I've got a G435 in ugh, white and lilac because they're the match. Uh, I've got my G604, I've got my my G, what's this one, 502, but it's the wireless one, um, which is amazing and beautiful. You couldn't get them for, in Australia for a while. Um, and my G915, my my beautiful ugh, wireless baby, but not the G915 TKL, but you can get that. This one comes without the, the numpad, uh, with tactile switches as well. Um, yeah. Love my Logitech. Good morning, Mikey. Not to mention tech also lasts a different amount of time for different people, depending on how much and how long it's used. So I I spend about 16 hours a day using these two products because I work from home. Um, I My day job is an assistant accountant. Uh, I work two days a week, so 15.2 hours a week because two 7.6 hour days, that's a full day in Australia. Um, unpaid lunch break. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I work my 15.2 hours from home. I stream 24 hours a week from this computer. Uh, I also work, like, my day job is at this computer. My night job, night job is at the computer. I do all of my, like, my social media stuff, my editing, my VODs, and all that kind of shit. Everything that I do, plus my own personal gaming time, is at this PC. So I, I sit in this chair for anywhere from 12 to 16 hours a day. Uh, and I use this computer that much. Um, so my shit has to keep up with me. It has to keep up. Uh, and it does. It does. Even with that much use, I still only have to charge my mouse and keyboard every, like, oh, th like four or five days at this point, I think it is. Um, I've got, so the... Are the children they run on little dongles. Uh, this cable, there's a USB cable here. Uh, it runs down back back behind my PC and plugs into my computer. Uh, back down my behind my desk and plugs into there. So I've got the two of them. I've got the, that's for the 502. And that one is for the 915. Um, but the beautiful thing about these is, this is me, not you. That is the plug that plugs in there to charge the keyboard. So all I have to do is grab the dongle, gently pull on it, unplug the dongle, plug it in, and I'm and then once it's charged, pop it back where it belongs. So it's just it's so hecking convenient. So I can be here mid goddamn stream and notice that. So when when the battery's getting low on either of them, the keyboard like breathes red, like it fades to black and then red and black and red and black and red. Whereas at the moment it's rainbow, and the the mouse does the same thing. It goes from the the rainbow lights to to red, black, red, black. So once I notice it's doing that, even midstream, I can unplug that, plug it in, and just keep going. Uh, and then once it's charged, unplug it, put it back, keep going. Like, it's just, it's so beautiful. Oh, I love my setup. I really do. It's just, it's so useful. <clears throat> All my stuff is Logitech. Me too. Me, except the microphone. The microphone's blue. Uh, but I mean... They're a subsidiary of Logitech, so... I <laughs> uh, can't give up my Rocket Caps Lock button. It's too nice. Totally fair. Totally fair. You have a code for Logitech? Unfortunately not. However, they are working on one. Um, I reached out to my contact uh, talking about my six-year stream anniversary that's coming up at the end of this month in terms of if we could maybe get our hands on anything to run giveaways, there will be giveaways end of February, pop it in your calendars. Um, but 
and they are and I asked when I when I reached out about the the anniversary stream I also said hey how how are we going on that on those affiliate codes uh, and they said they're still working on it but they're absolutely they want to do it they they want to get this system up and running um but they just they haven't gotten like whatever they're trying to fix or whatever they're trying to figure out hasn't been figured out yet so it's in in the works but not a thing yet trust me when I have it you guys will be the first to know because I'll be in Discord. Guys! Go here! Use code! Get tech! Yeah, it'll be great. I'm very much looking forward to it. Pretty evenly split between Logitech and Sennheiser. Totally awesome. I uh, hope you got a good chair then. We have chair. Chair is the most supportive member of the stream. We love chair. We love chair. We have an emote for chair. So I got two, both items that were not tier pieces, I've got, I did get a helm, but it's a Vank helm, not a Conk helm. So that's okay. Um, so I can't, I can no longer finish this in one more run. I do have one more Paladin to go, but I can, I can get both those items from Rage. I can get that from Anatheron. I can get that from Kaz. I can get a set of gloves from Az who will give me those. But even if I get a helm from Archimond, I can't get two helms from Archimond. I'm only going to get one. And I can get this lot or that lot. So I'm not going to finish it off, I don't think. I'm, yeah, I don't think I can get two helms. But that's okay. I can, I can get one. I can cross everything else off the list. So let's give it a go, shall we? Ah, uh, chair stream. Indeed, I've got to do that. Oh, I'm going to go get a drink. I love that this is me, not you. Well, I know that the sound will happen and I know that the sound will carry through stream and everyone always goes, wait, what the f what did I unplug? Shit. So I let people know because it's the nice, it's the nice thing to do. So it's 26 out of 46. 56.52. Clever. Love the Logitech peripherals all work while charging. Agreed. Especially like the headsets and stuff as well. Um, because I usually plug, I usually just leave my headsets plugged in and then unplug them when I wear them and then plug them back in again. Um, but there have been a few times that I've forgotten to plug them in after stream and I go to put them on the next stream and I'm like, shit. So I kind of plug it in. I'm like, don't, don't, like, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Logitech X540 speakers from like 15 years ago, still going strong. Logitech makes good stuff. I've got a 2.1 speaker set and they're, what are they, LS21? They are decades, plural, old and they're still functioning. There's um, a little bit of crackling sometimes from the upstairs, like the, the two, not the point one, the sub's fine, but the two, sometimes they crackle a bit when I change the volume. Um, but they're also literally decades old. So I am, yeah. They build shit that just works. Uh, my dad, uh, he's the one who put me onto Logitech when I was a kid. Um, but my dad, he works out the field, um, but he also has to work like with tech stuff out in the field and his company kept issuing him uh like you know your stock standard when when you think company issued keyboard it's not a gaming brand is it no so um he, he kept getting these company issued keyboards and he was going through one every two weeks because the dust and the dirt and the grime and stuff from what he was doing out in in the world um was just it was clogging them up and it was just absolutely destroying them from the inside out and so he he ended up saying to them, look, if I go and buy my own keyboard, will you reimburse me? Because I'm just sick of this. And they said, no, because we can just provide you another one. And he's like, fuck this. I'm sick of having to put in a, re a request every two weeks for a new keyboard. Fuck this. So he went and bought a, he went and bought a Logitech one. And he's had that for a couple of years now. It's, ju it's just good shit. It's just good shit. Uh, Meaty, Thor, Death, and Fairy. Congratulations on your bonus shit. Mm -hmm. When I wear my glasses, red LEDs on my headset reflect on the sides of my lenses and I see it. Ah, uh -huh. We've got a low chair. I know. I know, right? It's, it's, it's chair. It's chair. Um, load of shit. I'm the most important one. Member of stream. Look, I think chair does a little bit more work to actually physically support me. Just saying. Is the thingy 100%? I don't think it's quite 100, but it's like getting damn close. It's it's like 
from now on, it, like everything's glued back together. His finger's totally functional and everything again. It's just that um, the scar, it, like it's got a heel to the point that it's just a scar instead of um, a lumpy, you know what I mean? I wish Logitech did more vertical mice for those with, with wrist hand issues. You should absolutely tweet at them, Bone. Um, they're they're super responsive to tweets. I mean, uh, particularly the ANZ account, like Logitech G A N Z. Uh, they're the Australia and New Zealand section of of um, Themajig. Um, they're incredibly responsive to tweets. And they have been doing a campaign recently about how gaming is for everyone. They have a lot of accessibility bits and pieces. Like they've got the the big giant buttons and stuff. So that in, in, if you can't play with the controller because of like hand arthritis and things like that, instead they have a set of buttons that you can set up on a desk so you can push the buttons when they need to be, do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. Um, and they've, they've definitely been talking a whole lot of talk about accessibility in games and stuff like that. So absolutely reach out and if they have products that maybe you haven't heard of they might be able to point you in there in those products directions or they might let you know that they've got something in the works or they might take the feedback on board you know uh i i absolutely think it's a fantastic idea to reach out uh and just kind of see where they're at on that kind of stuff Ah, uh, damn it i bugged the pretectus ads oh no jess oh no wife has a vertical one and it's great uh, but I believe there's a new one coming. There you go. There you go, nearly. There's a, still a lump there. Yeah. Just pick a province in EU4. The seventh one. Fine. Or Tyro. That works too. Make a cool graph with like how much your company will lose buying this every week versus buying this big one once. Yeah. Yeah. The company he works for, I, do, I, I get the feeling they do not care. <laughs> they get a good deal on these keyboards and so they don't care. They just, you know, churn through them if they have to kind of thing. Uh, Okie dokie. Here we go. Last paladin through Hygel. Let's do this shit. I hate you. Okay. Damn right you do. I use the vertical mouse, but it would be nice to have some extra buttons for gaming too. Ah, okay. Uh, I haven't loaded in, but I know where that is. Um... That is one of the shitter starts in the game. How? How the fuck do I get five spires of Tectus from killing Tectus? Why is that a thing? Did you get a oh, screenshot, Jazz? Because that's fantastic. That's hilarious. I'm so pissed right now. I just want the damn pants. Aww. Would they, do you have any other characters that they might drop on? Which is definitely less game oriented for sure. They could do a lot with the platform. Yeah, for sure. It's, it is quite interesting that a lot of manufacturers and a lot of companies, they're like, this is the fancy thing with all the bells and whistles. And this is the accessibility version. They don't tend to plug both of those into the same product. I imagine it might be because when they think of hand accessibility issues they think of people who are unable to use gaming buttons as an example like the multiple buttons because it requires quite a bit of thumb dexterity they don't tend to think about people who have wrist issues but not thumb issues it's like here is the blanket cover all for all hand problems kind of thing um but it, it is very interesting i wonder if they'd have like even if they don't it may be it, it may not be worth it for them as obviously they're a company they have to make profit um the amount of work they'd have to put in to, ve to develop a product like that might be too much for them yeah. however having some kind of pad that has those extra buttons on it might be more like might be more up there i know that means that it's not going to be usable by just your thumb but you know it's they've got to sell enough units it has to be enough like they have to make enough money from the product to justify the r d and the manufacturing and all that kind of stuff um but i wonder if they could come up with something it could be interesting my paladin we'll jump on the paladin then Doing every province independent mod and randomizing custom nation this is gonna be fun you're just in north america or something they're not too late too late. <laughs> I 
Am I going to get any more transmog from this run? This is my fourth run. Any more transmog from this at all? Yes, yes I am. Fantastic. Another one bites the dust. Uh, okay, because the vendor in Hydral covers SSC and BT and stuff as well. Oh, maybe not SSC, maybe just BT. Archimond, the helm is from Archimond. Shoulders are from BT. Chest is from BT. Yeah, so because this covers BT as well, it's going to take me a while to cross all these off because I have to go and do those other raids as well. Um, but that's alright. Um, uh, what add-ons do you use? I've never used any. Seems like cheating to me. How do you use them? How do you see them? Uh, if you type exclamation add-ons, you'll get a list of the add-ons that I use. Um, I don't think that they're che like, in, in what way are they cheating? Keep in mind that this is a 17-year-old game and the, the raid encounters, like raid bosses, over time have become more complicated in terms of their uh, abilities and stuff like that because of add-ons. Blizzard have tuned these encounters to need the add-ons because they're like, oh, well, they're going to use timers anyway, so we might as well make it difficult enough for them, even if they're using the timers and shit. So, like, there are some aspects of the game that have been adjusted to take into account the fact that we do use add-ons. There are other parts of the game where they've actually created new features and, imp and implemented quality of life improvements that have been based on add-ons that a lot of people were using. Like, if you've got an add-on that almost everyone has, like the, the, the ability to pop a pin on the map, that, was, that wasn't a thing until very recently. You had to have an add-on to be able to do that. And so Blizzard went, oh shit, lots of people are using this. Let's make it baseline. That's a really good idea. So I, like, the fact that we're allowed to use add-ons, I've, that's, it's not, it's not cheating. Um, like, we've been explicitly, there's even a menu for it. Like, we've explicitly give, been given permission to use add-ons. Um, I don't think it's cheating. Um, there you go. Uh, North America is too easy with a custom nation. Usually randomize someone that's a lot better than the nearby nations. There you go. So expand faster. It's fine. It's fine. I was thinking you should develop it over everything else. Might have been funny. And again, I think it's already terrible. This is in EU4, I presume. You are defenders of a doomed world. Flee here, and perhaps you will prolong your pathetic lives. <laughs> Okay, nothing from Antheron. Off to the next area. Multiple game designers for WoW have said they've designed encounters with add-ons in mind for raiding. Exactly, yeah. Which is the, the whole first point that I was making is that like uh, encounters have become more complicated over the years because we have add-ons and because they know we're going to use them. Um, then there are other add-ons that literally just make things look different. They don't actually affect any functions whatsoever. Um, it just gives you the ability to put things in different places or make it look different or whatever. Make it look bigger or smaller or or whatever. Like, yeah, add-ons add -ons are not cheating. Um, people can use external programs to cheat. Things like botting and stuff like that. Uh, but that's not an add-on. Those are two very, very different things. I would absolutely never condone botting uh, or any any of that kind of like do not break toss I do not encourage breaking toss I do not condone breaking toss in any way shape or form uh, and then you have the ATT add-on which takes over your life yeah a lot of add-ons yeah so ATT doesn't it doesn't add or, or change anything really it just pre presents you with data 
It presents you with a list of literally everything in the game, which is data, and then the data on whether or not you have those things or not. Yeah, it's it's a thing. <laughs> Yeah, add-ons can definitely make one's life a whole lot easier. It can provide information in-game that's it's there, but it's difficult to get to. Um, so it can, like, instead of having to open up your character pane to see what your strength is sitting at, for example, you can have an add-on that just di displays it permanently all the time, and it fluctuates. Like, every time you get a strength buff, it goes up, and when the strength buff fades, it goes down, and just, you know, it gives you that information in a more easily digestible format. Uh, Add-ons also really help people with accessibility issues. Like, if you need something to work differently or to look different because you have that need, you have an accessibility need, add-ons can provide you with that when the base game doesn't. And that's certainly not cheating. That's allowing a person to play the game when they otherwise couldn't. And that's definitely not a bad thing in my books. But again, personal, uh, personal feelings. Ah, uh, multiple game designers. Uh, hey Jack, don't suppose you have an SD key? Asks Krazzy. Hello Krazzy, I hear you're rather close to KSM. Twelve points? Oh my god, closer than you were last- was it last night? I think Josh was telling me. Did Echo make 17 mists? Pump up some with me last night. Yeah, I heard. I uh, I may have passed out. <laughs> I may have had a nap. And then overslept during the night as well. I think I'm, I must be sick. Like, I must be. Hey, a nurse. Hope you're doing well. Alright, oh, there's ones in the place now as well. Ah, oh, well, at least this is the last of the four paladins. And I can switch to my warrior. I think it's a Cataclysm dungeon. I've got up next. Okay, just the day. So I see two results. Been feeling shitty all day. That really sucks. Hope you're feeling better soon. So what are you doing and why do you have four paladins? So I'm transmog farming. Um, so uh, I'm not sure what the equivalent is in other games, but it's transmogification in WoW. It's making one piece of gear look like another piece of gear. Uh, and you can get appearances. You have like a whole wardrobe uh, available to you, but you've got to unlock the pieces. Like you actually have to collect them in order to be able to use them, obviously. Uh, and... I have four paladins because I have 50 characters um, and there are 12 classes so I have four of everything plus an extra mage and an extra druid to make 50. Uh, and that is because 50 is the character cap for the account and they're all at level 50 and up because you have to be level 50 to be eligible to have the heartbreaker mount drop which is a rare like a super rare it's the rarest drop in the game. Um, from 
Love is in the Air, which is an in-game event based on Valentine's Day. And that's starting Tuesday. So I'm going to be doing 50 dungeon runs every day for two weeks. Because it's only available for two weeks at it every year. And you get one attempt per character per day. So I get 50 attempts each for two weeks. She's really likes Paladin. I do not. Do not. The joke here is that I did a BuzzFeed quiz once. Um, and like, you know, which WoW, which WoW class are you? Uh, and it told me I was a paladin, when I'm very clearly not. I'm a fucking mage, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> so it's a, it's a joke. It's a bit of an in-joke. I don't know about that. Recently a trouble picking a class because trans- What good gear type specific they are? Plate, leather, mail, cloth. There are some- there are some items that are flagged as cosmetic, which cover all armor types, but they are not very common. They're, there's only a handful of them. Most things are armor type specific, yeah. <clears throat> I miss the Pandaria for their specific gear. Yeah, Mist was awesome. Mist had some really beautiful sets. Really beautiful sets. I can't get out of this damn area without colonizing in this mod. Oh no! Oh no. Um, you don't have to do it. You get a first try this time. Hello, Feral. Look, I hope so. That'd be really nice if it dropped on Tuesday. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm not, uh, I'm trying not to, ho like, get my hopes up too much. Because, uh, I know I'm in for a shit fight. If it doesn't drop, it's going to be a hell of a couple weeks. So I'm preparing myself to have to do the whole thing. Um, and then if I don't, it'll be a nice surprise. You know? We'll see how we go. The quiz is never wrong. Bullshit. This was very wrong. Also, a few class specific transports. There are. There are. Ah, uh, event starts tomorrow on EU, though. Ooh, good luck. Good luck. Have to look into those. Yes. It's gonna be really weird having to put makeup on on Tuesday and Thursday. I mean, I know I don't have to, but I like to. I'm not doing I'm not doing mount makeup on the extra days. Just to be clear, the the four days a week I will absolutely still have mount makeup going, but the Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, no mount makeup. I'm just gonna grab shit and put it on my face because <laughs> I'll have a lot less time to get ready on those days. Jazz, pay attention. <laughs> uh, so I had costume slots where you can put any piece of gear, big whiplash coming to wow. I'm being restricted. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. I mean, there are like there are thousands. This this five six two four four is just paladin. Just what's available to this character based on its race and its class and all that kind of stuff. So like there are so many pieces of transmog in the game. So fucking many. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, there are some restrictions, yeah. Cry for mercy. Oh, last time. Kazragal, give me your belt of seething fury, please. <laughs> hey! We like happy brain juice noises. Uh, any big score transmog items drop in Mount Hygel? Um, it depends on what you consider big score transmog items. Uh, most stuff that drops is, um, like... Uh, bit buy not pick up, even trash drops a bop. Um, so there's nothing that you can kind of stick on the auction house or anything like that. But there is tier set, like there's there's a set that drops from Hygel and BT, like it's a, a two raid set. Um, so I, I guess it just depends on what you consider 
Uh, big, big school. Yeah, doing blast furnace. Ah, it's fine. You don't need to concentrate on doing blast furnace. Like fuck. I'm a Western tech. Yes, Druidic crap. Venetian Republic. There is no trade here. In Sub-Saharan Africa with Japanese culture. Rip my unity. Oh my god. That's an interesting. That's a. That's an interesting thing. Uh, the only thing then that fucks me off about transmogs is specifically with slaves. They start so much higher up on your back than they should. It looks so dumb. It it can. Um, and yeah, especially on bigger races like Orc. I have to say, like, my main's a uh, Blood Elf, and it looks fine. Um, I think the reason they start so high up, especially on the larger races, is because they're trying to get it so that the head of the staff is visible over their shoulder. Like, that's the specific placement point they're going for. Um... Unfortunately, that means that if they're if they're, for example, a Tauren, it means it's gonna have to start up the top here where where that Arab, like where the chevron of, of fur is, and that's not super ideal for realistic placement, you know? Um because having it on your back and completely hidden, I mean that's what your cloak's for, you know. Um like I, I get what they're going for, having it visible over your shoulder having it like a, a part, like a, a noticeable part of your silhouette rather than having it all part like hidden behind you. But um, yeah, it, it can look a little bit silly sometimes. It can look a bit silly. Uh, that's just when it comes to transmogs, all the more human looking races don't have most of the transmog issues. Yeah, uh, fair enough. It just looks so funny. It does. I, I absolutely agree with you. Um, you're not wrong at all. It's just, yeah, unfortunately there is a reason for it, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it is a bit tricky. Uh, there's another thing, best cloak is hidden cloak with bigger aces because they also usually look a bit silly. Yeah, it's, um, have I got, the only character I transmog is my main. I collect them because fun numbers, but I actually the only character I actually use transmog on is Fear, uh, and she's a Blood Elf Mage, so I guess my opinions aren't exactly valid here. Um, I think the the big exceptions would obviously be the um, uh, the like the allied race transmog sets that have been designed for those specific like races. Uh, but even then, they still, a lot of them still do use, like, the, the standard base, like, mesh, the wireframe for it. Uh, so, you might still have a couple of the same issues. My transmog is my favourite transmog system. Nice and easy, lots of stuff to collect. There is a lot of stuff to collect. You are not wrong. You are not wrong at all. Ah, uh, fair enough. Most of my characters have old PvP sets. Ah, but with marks of honour, because they're super easy to get and they look awesome. You, you are not wrong. You are not wrong. The old PvP sets do look freaking awesome. A lot of the PvP sets look really, really awesome. Um, a lot of the the old school tier sets as well. Like prior to becoming event there, I on Fear's event there, she's a fire mage, she's a vampire, and um, she uses one of their sets. I think it's like the black and red one because I know they've got one that's like gold and red, and then there's another that's like grey and red. But she uses the one that's black and red. There's also got one that's purple. Um, she uses the black and red set and um, like a fire crown. Uh, but before that, she was using Tyrus Fall Regalia, which is, I believe, tier 3. Um, maybe even tier 2. I can't check from here. I'm on a pally. Uh, I think it might be tier 2 now that I think about it. Maybe tier 5. Tier 5 seems- look, my brain is shit. I have a colander for a brain, so all the information just flows through, like, like so many pasta waters. Yep. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, Tyrus Fuller Regalia is what I used on her for literally years until I got my hands on the, the full Venthyr set that I wanted. Because it wasn't the first one we got, it was like, later. So it took me a few months to get it. Put a blood off DK for a bit with the staff. I liked the Forsaken, the Undead aesthetic isn't for me, so next best Undead, absolutely. I feel ya. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of Undead either as, as a race. I just, the way that they run makes me a bit nauseous. Uh, pizza is cooking. What's for dinner in Casa del Fia? Steak. Steak is for dinner. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna so cool if you're playing into that background for sure. Absolutely. Like, don't get me wrong. I do not roleplay. At all. At all. I do not roleplay. Um, but I have always liked vampires. 
Um, so as soon as I, like, at the, the, the announcement of the expansion, when I saw them announce the Venthyr, I'm like, oh, that's me! Uh, and it's just, it's my, like, red and black is kind of, it's my thing. And, like, I have is the red hair and, and all that, and it just, yeah, it works. So, um... Yeah, I like the way it looks a lot. Ah, uh, the sets from the Orgrimmar Stormwind vendors, respectively. I forgot the vendors' names. Those sets can look pretty cool. Yeah, they can, absolutely. First stops to transmog for new characters. Love that. Love that. Cole and a brain. Whereabouts are they? What faction do you play on? Alliance. Are we in Stormwind to start? I'm not sure exactly where they are. I don't remember. I'm almost done. I'm almost at Asgalore, and then I've just got to do Archimond. And then we're done. And I can move the fuck on from Hyjal. For today, at least. Actually, so I think end time is Kata. It is. Whoa. And it's heroic only. Okay, so what I might do for that is run it through. Run through all my warriors through end time. And see if I can't get like through four runs, see if I can't get more shit. So we're switching to the warriors next. In Stormwind somewhere, yeah, let me see. I can search it for you. Ah, oh, thank you, ASAP. I really appreciate that. Thank you for helping out someone in the chat. It's what we're all about here. I love to see it. It's in Old Town near the Stable Master. There you go. Abandon all hope. The Legion has returned to finish what was begun so many years ago. So I got one of the zone drop patterns that I need, but I don't want to learn it on this tune. I want to learn it on my like main tailor. Oh Jesus. Prot Vank Vank. Fuck you! Fuck you. I'm a conk tune. Prot Vank Vank can go... Eat a bean boozled nasty bean. Um, thank you so much. Yay! Lights me. Just had to remember what the place was called, of course. Easy, I remember, is the Horde ones are on top of Gromash Hold. Yes. Three fucking gloves from Asgalore, and none of them are what I need. What I think about that. That's okay. Sorry, I know I'm wobbling the camera. Um, there was something on the screen I wanted to rub off, and it made the screen move. Ah, uh, this is me. The old tier sets with gold. Some of the pieces are sold with the curated pieces from Black Temple, Chess Guard, the Forgotten Vanquisher. Yeah, for example, can be used as currency to buy them, like the shit that I just had dropped. These ones. You can use them when they drop to turn into something, but you can also use them as currency to buy other shit. Sometimes. Some sets with just gold, usually recolors, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, Binary? Maybe we'll, we'll turn you into a collector like us. You'll install all the things and lose your life to World of Warcraft. I'm kidding, it's not that bad, but like, it, it does, like, <sighs> the happy brain juice noises. That's one of the sounds that ATT makes when you get something new. And good lord, it's addictive. <laughs> Especially if you're easily conditionable. Um, one of us. Yep, do you love me a dress-ups game that is disguised as an MMO? Fantastic. Good. Welcome to World of Warcraft. But I would definitely recommend leveling yourself to max first. Because once you're max level, you can go and do all the stuff, rather than just being limited to a couple of dungeons that you can run and having to have a group to run them with and stuff. Like, getting to max level is usually step one for, for a new player in World of Warcraft. How you get there is entirely up to you. There are so many different ways to level these days. Um, but just, yeah, take your time getting there. Once you get there, the whole game opens up. Um, an altaholic, max level monk, mage, druid, demon, hunter, shaman, all like 230 plus. I just got a 60 rogue too. Well done. Always looking for transmogs. I have 50 characters. Uh, four of them are level 60. Uh, a handful of them are above level, like a, like 51 
to 54 kind of thing. Um, but then the rest of them are all level 50. So I can definitely farm transmog on, like, on all of them. Um, I'm just, they're not, like, Fear's my only one that's, like, geared, and she's, I think, 244 now? 245. 245.9. She's my, she's my main. Uh, well, as endgame really is mounts, titles, and transmogs. Yep. Absolutely. Pets, toys. I did a bunch of ults the other day. I figure if I haven't played them in ages, might as well go through and build a tomb and actually use. Yeah, get the story a long way. Absolutely. Loza with the resub. Hello. Thank you. I didn't get any helm tokens. Fuck you, Archibond. Like, good god. Okay, that's it. Hydra done on four paladins. Moving on. Um. Sheesh. Yeah, look. I want the Heartbreaker. I'm gonna go and fucking get it. Ah, uh, should I get Wargoes as an elf? Only doing it on my Demon Hunter because I can skip to the top where Illidan is. There's another way with the mobs that spawn the tornadoes, but it's so hard. Hey, uh, how are you going, Loz? 14 months. Good God. My goodness. Oh, what? A shit. Shit. Fuck. What was it? 28, I think I got to. I need to log back in and check. God damn it. Oh, I was in a rush to change things that I forgot to bloody check. Dark Moon Fair is opening up tonight. Cool. Good, enjoying our sudden rain. Yeah, this, the heavens just kind of opened earlier today. It was like, what the hell? Oh, dear. All right, I need to go fill my water bottle. I need to clean my bottle. I don't know how I'm going to do that. That'd be fun. I just got an hour tempest plummeted. Yay! Oh, that's wonderful news. Yeah. Dungeons and Raids, Burning Crusade, Battle of Mount Hauser is 28 out of 46. So I went from 23.91 to 60.87. That's pretty good, and I don't think I'm going to have to do Hygel on the Paladins for a little while. It's going to be a while before we get to the 60s. We've got, I've got so many tunes that are in the 24s with their lowest, so we'll see how we go. Da 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 dum, da da dum, ba. Okay. Oopsie. Congratulations to Meaty, Dupe, Fade, Death, and Fairy on all your bonus shit. Onwards we go. It's another. No, I can't. So I'm in a place. I need to kill a glitched unit, so I think I'm gonna go with something that can actually get a kill for now. Then I can go and turn in that other quest I had. <laughs> Deus one. Here we go. So, follow the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Even turned my fan off, yay! Oh, I find that fans dry me out so much, like dry my eyes and, and my mouth feels dry and just my skin is gross, and, do you know what I mean? Oh, it's so terrible. Being able to turn all that shit off is lovely. Time. <laughs> 
Right, this way. Oh, the arena has been cleaned and the gates have been opened. Actually, you know what? Considering I missed the last prompt, I'm going to start this one. Hardest part of the tech despite not dying of boredom due to only being able to kill him at certain points. You, you're not wrong. It's like... You needed those moments back when it was current, but these days you absolutely do not. What's the bet, Jas, that I could walk in there and get a first kill? Whatever you're after. Or do you do you need my earrings? <laughs> do you need my do you need my lucky earrings? Yes, join the free for all! Exclamation FFA. It'll toss you in automatically as long as you have 50 koala coins. Uh, which is a different currency to the ones that are like underneath it. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. Just, just accept it and roll with it. You'll be fine. All right, here we go. End time. I've got four runs to do on four warriors, and I'm currently sitting at six out of twenty-five. Do not want to enable achievement tracking. Dungeons and raids, cataclysm, end time. Oh, there's an item from the quest as well. So from Murazond. Quest is called Murazond. There we go. Hello. Also take this quest because there's another item there. Or I have it already, but that's fine. We might as well just do it. Oh. What is this? Choose one of the destinations. Okay, so where are we going today? Ruby Dragonshire. Legacy loot is great. Duplicates can drop skin to eat a dick. Yeah, look, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. We have one zone drop in here, but it's also a BOE, so be like super angry because I can't just if it's the last item I need um I can just buy it from the auction house plus it means it can drop on other tunes other armor types and I can send it up or I can just get it to drop that also works <laughs> fuck yes zone drop off the list ah oh, I love that amazing Okay, nothing, nothing from Sylvanas. Um, but there's a whole lot of common boss drops in here as well. So, okay, so we're going to Emerald Dragonshine now. So this is Turunda, which means we're not going to get Bane. So I'll minimize him. Also means I don't have to kill Trash anymore. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> I won. Go me. I forget what I have to do here. There is nothing left for you here. Nothing but death and sorrow. The darkness surrounds you. The light of a loon is your only salvation. Ah, oh, 
if you summon yourself in your future and she wins the same logic for starting a major reading, <laughs> I did a win. The moonlight can bring rest to your weary souls in this Honestly, I do not often win them. But the fact that I won that and I got my, my zone drop at the same time, like I'm I'm pretty happy with that. How can I not be? Give yourselves to the night. A loon will guide you from this mortal prison. So I went from 6 to 13, apparently. I don't know how that happened. I only had one drop. I went from 6 to 13. Something feels not right. Maybe it wasn't 6. Did I check it? I don't think I did. That's fine. <clears throat> You have chosen a path of darkness. Mother Moon, guide my hand. Allow me to bring rest to these misbegotten souls. I definitely checked the Paladin before I started because I wanted to make sure I had to actually do Hydro. Um, but I don't think I ch I don't think I checked the Warrior. But that's okay. Um, I'll do it anyway because. Oh. I can see the light of the moon so clearly. It is beautiful. Uh, cool. So I got the Crescent Moon, which is her specific drop. Like, not a common boss drop, so that's nice. We're gonna go to the bronze dragon shrine, which is the final boss. At least this dungeon's not too long. I mean, I understand that Hygel's a raid and it's different, but like it could be so much worse. The end time. I once called this place. I had not seen by then. I did not know. You hope to what? Stop me here. Change the fate I worked so tirelessly to weave. You fall unwitting like a blind writhing worm towards endless madness and despair. I have witnessed the true end time. This, this is a blessing you simply cannot comprehend. So you know not what you have done. I'm a fool. What I and another one. I cannot follow you any further. Accept my blessing. And I use listening. the hourglass of time. Be careful. To defeat that Moon quest done. Go turn in this quest and get my bronze blaster that I don't have the appearance for. I have to turn back to go to the entryway. There we go. All that matters is this move. Do not confine yourself. Perfect. I'm now at 16 out of 25. Which is 64%. Huh. No, we're going to do the rest of the warriors. Uh, <laughs> I've just seen what's next on the list, and I'm deciding that I'm going to go through and do this dungeon on each of my other three warriors, because I do not want to jump onto my shamans and do Hydril. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. It's at exactly 24%. Same as this was. There's a warrior. Hmm. Look, at least if I have to go through and do Hygel all the times, then I won't have to do it again for a while, right? Surely? Maybe? I don't know. Look, maybe? Mm. Oh, fuck. Wow, I feel your pain. Hygel is super annoying. It's just, it's just so, like, running around finding the mobs to kill. It's not difficult. It's just, just annoying. Uh, I'm going to be back, though, because I actually do sh I should fill my water bottle, so I will... I will burb 
Um, I'll knock this chair stream over and I'll also, there's an ad starting in like three minutes, so I'll just start it now so that it should be done by the time I get back. I'll be back. Hello. Hope you all enjoyed your ad break and uh, and grabbed yourself a snack or something. And much less difficult, much more annoying. Yeah, exactly. I agree. I agree. So I have a posture check. So let me yeah straighten myself up. have <clears throat> over this way
In we go. Let's do it again. I know I'm not going to be able to 100% this because of... I don't think Bane's up this way. I think you get the same bosses no matter who you are. Kind of each, each week they kind of rotate. Um, and we can't get Bane. But we can definitely get the bow from Sylvanas. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay. I thought it was the same for everyone. Uh, clearly wrong. There you go. So this is Bane. I sense much anger here. A seething rage barely held in check. Being I wonder if it's always in pairs like Bane and Jaina and Sylvanas and Tyrande. Or if it's less like a randomly picks two out of all four. Murizond. Find out. You! Are you the ones responsible for the Is this place? Nothing from Bane anyway. <laughs> Bastard. Forgive me. My father. Uh, hey, Django. So you launch her again. Ah, keep up the amazing chill streams. Will do. Thank you so much, Django. I do apologize. Sometimes there will be some hype. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have some hype soon because it's heartbreaker season. Uh, <laughs> but the rest of them should be pretty chill. Out of this forsaken place, you. Reconstruct the I hope you're having a great day. The ground and defeat the trapped spirit to proceed. That mount sound is definitely not going to get old whatsoever. Not at all. Weekend off! Yay! Oh, that's so good to hear. I don't know who you are, but I'll defend this shrine with oh, my that's life. That's all of them. Cool. Leave. Ah, to be announced. What was makeup today? Crimson Water Strider. I hate resorting to violence. Crimson Water Strider. Farewell. Not even a common boss. I've got Jaina's staff, but I don't want Jaina's staff. I can't use that on a warrior. That's okay. Hopefully, moves on to get me something. So far, not so good. Uh, good evening, Dunno. How are you going? How's ATT going? Yeah, not too badly. I ran four sets of Hygel on the Paladins. I'm now running four sets of End Time uh, on the Warriors, because that's my lowest. But yeah, overall doing pretty okay, I think. Getting some, some new numbers. We've had some um, happy brain juice noises. I once Never as many as I'd like, of course. That's okay. Like I did not know. That one was useful for the BFA nerf. This is a blessing. Not Jaina's staff. Or... You know not what you have done. Green juice is always good? Exactly. Oh, the Crimson Water Strider. Right, of course. Of course. Yeah, no, I it was always there. Time altered leggings. So I did get something from this run. I got one piece from this run, which puts us at 17 out of 25. And 68%. So not too bad. We're getting there. Water strike. Yeah. 
Mm. Took me a second because I'm like, there's no use effect on this stuff. What are you talking about? Right, of course. Yes, the water strider. All right, switching over to horde side to do my two horde warriors. And then, unfortunately, we'll be tapping back onto the shamans to do more hygel. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, where am I going? Do, 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 warrior. I was just thinking maybe, maybe the number for the shaman will actually be higher than I think. So when I log on to it and I check the number, I can update it and it won't be the lowest anymore. But then I realized, no, I don't play my shamans and hunters very often. And I don't think I've done a hydral on either of them for a very long time. So, uh, but that's okay. It's fine. It could be worse. I sh I'm sure of it. I don't know how, but it could be. Hey, AQ, how are you going? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. <clears throat> mm. This is fizzy water, so I'm probably going to uh, maybe burp a little bit. I do apologize. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Raids, cataclysm, end time. There we go. And we get rid of time walking because we're not doing time walking. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me, if you would like to support Fair for free, it's the key, right? Uh, if you'd like to help support any, honestly, any of your favorite streamers, not just me, but me particularly, um, if you would like to help support me for free, um, uh, social media is the way to do it. Do the follow on the things and do the, the likes and the comments and the, all that kind of shit, the shares, um, because that is where brand deals live. Um, not many, especially Australian brands, not many Australian brands know what Twitch is, let alone think it's a worthy investment. However, uh, a high Instagram following uh, is everybody's language. So that is how fear goes full time. So if you wouldn't mind chucking me a follow, and hey, even maybe the occasional like or comment if I show up on your feed, uh, it would be wonderful of you and I would very deeply appreciate it. Uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch followings are great. Um, and stuff, but yeah, the, the numbers, the money comes in when you have the enormous Instagram following. Uh, and sometimes the, the engagement rate doesn't even matter too much. They just want the numbers. Uh, there are, there are a couple of apps that I'm a part of. Um, one of them, uh, like doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like no matter what your following is, you can get some, some, not many, but you can get some, uh, like, things that you can go through them um but they're not none of them are paid like you you go and buy the thing yourself and then they reimburse you kind of thing so you get free product um it's not super expensive product but it's it's free product uh whereas actual paid posts and stuff all they care about are your your numbers your followers um there's an app i'm part of that you can apply for campaigns as long as you have three thousand followers I sense much that's it, and that's and they're paid all of them are paid they might not be paid a whole lot but you've got to start somewhere you know uh, and then building that portfolio of what you've done so you can hey so you can show other brands the kinds of things you've done for for other brands um that's how you start building your uh building your shit <clears throat> cool, so Bane gave me a piece um, that was a specifically Bane piece, which is really good. Common boss drops can drop from any of them, obviously, uh, but crossing off the specifics is always useful. Yeah. Uh, content massively entertaining to be- Aw, thank you. I'm glad you like it. 
I'm glad you like it. I need to, um... I need to do some more scheduling, honestly. That's my job for tomorrow. <clears throat> Gosh, so sniffly tonight. resident lurker in this chat you are but we love that we love our lurkers like 80 to 90 percent of my my viewers are lurkers usually and uh we still love them all the same my lurkers is how i got to partnership level honestly people just hanging out and chilling and not necessarily having a chat but just being here is what matters We love that. And another one up here. Two more. And I can attack Jenna. Ah, uh, I have a miss. Oh no, there we go. It's up the top. Cool. All right. So we do this one. And then. This one. He is great. I highly recommend. I don't know who you are. Absolutely. Isn't listening? Hey, Licity. Leave now before we come to blows. You understand now. Farewell. <clears throat> and oh, a couple of male pieces in the staff again. That's fine. Let's see if Marizon gives me his last piece. Because that way, at least I don't have to finish the dungeon anymore. I can just do the two and then half out. I once called this place. You I had not unwitting like a blind I did not Um, occasionally asking, commenting, can also be good too. Of course, of course. Ah, uh, do we know what the mountain inspired makeup is tonight? Yes, the crimson water strider. Twiz guest. Chrono boots. No chrono boots. That's right, let's get out of here. Jump onto the next tune. Oh, convenient. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah, it did turn out quite uh, quite striking tonight. I'm quite happy with it. Use the hourglass of time to defeat Murazan. Okay, where's Jasmine? Here we go. Last warrior. Definitely very red in dude. Very red. Loza, Max, Seeker, Dwarfy, and Meaty. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. Well done. And it's a token chest. I know it says unknown, but it's actually a token chest. It was green on the map, so that's what we're saying it is. Um, if you are a little bit short on your tokens for the event, it is the event is wrapping up soonish. Um, now's your time. Place those, just all you need to do is place units. They don't have to be super powerful. You don't have to get kills. You just have to place and you'll get a handful of tokens at the end of the match as thanks. Uh, it might help you get that little bit extra that you need to uh, to get to that final tier or two. So be sure to place. <clears throat> Did you hear anything more on a Logitech affiliate code? I emailed them fairly recently uh, talking about my six year anniversary and the celebration stream and the potential for some giveaways. 
Uh, but I also asked them at that point um, how work was coming along on the affiliate program. Uh, and they said, we, we want to give you a code. We're still working on it. it they, are, they are TBC. Um, so not yet, but trust me, you will know about it. And they are still working on it. Absolutely. They're not, they haven't like scrapped the plans or anything. <clears throat> okay, okay. One more run, I've got one more warrior. Uh, and then... We will look at taking the shamans through Hygel. <laughs> Fuck my life. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It would be amazing to one day have Hygel completely finished across all 12 tunes. I have thought about scrapping the whole lowest percentage thing and just going with... Um, like working my way through all the vanilla stuff on all the tunes and then all etc. But I'm like, nah, it'd just, it'd be too same, same. I'd be running the same stuff every week and it'd just start feeling like crap. This is where she stood. All right. So this is Sylvanas. Hopefully we can get uh, the bow. That'd be real nice. Another band of deaths. Isn't no. how it's Nothing. supposed to. Uh. There is an unnatural darkness to this place. A perpetual midnight. Take caution, heroes, and do there not stray from the light. There is nothing left for you. Do. Nothing but death. Fair enough, hadn't consciously done it 100% of the mice I've bought in the last decade for Logitech, all two of them. Keyboard's starting to die, starting to consider options, of course, absolutely. Well, I will 100% let you guys know uh, when I have access to that. Uh, we don't have a timeline, unfortunately. There's no estimated time of arrival. Um, so, like, if you need something, then, like, you know, I'd love to be able to give you a discount. At this point, I'm not able to. Uh, but if you're able to wait, it might be worth waiting because it might be some like a half decent discount. Is there somewhere that we're able to see all the sound command codes? Actually, yes. If you hover over the stream and you click on, it's like a little purple speech bubble button. That's the uh, that's the extension that allows you to use them outside of the cooldown by using bits. But it also functions as a list of all of them. There are quite a few of them. Elune will guide you from this mortal prison. You have chosen a path of darkness. Mother Moon, guide my hand. Allow me to bring rest to these misbegotten souls. Uh, Lumia streaming session. So Lumia is the lights, um, but the the other one, I think it's called sound alerts or something like that. Um, so there's a pink light bulb and there's a purple speech bubble, and then there's the closed captions one as well. Those are the three overlays that I've got up. Um, see the light of the moon. So yeah, the purple speech bubble is the one that you want for the sound alerts. Beautiful. I've got something tickling the inside of my nose, and it feels like it could be my lash, but it shouldn't be reaching that far. Uh, it must just be a hair tickling me or something. That is strange. All right. Ugh. Mirazond, give me my chrono boots, please. Long time. I once called this place 
I had not Hello! She was looking at me funny. Hello, Kaz. She does that sometimes. She is not super duper up on, like, human social conventions, being a chair and all. This is a blessing you simply cannot. He is, however, the most supportive member of the stream. No, not what so, you have done. no chrono boots. That's right, we got to 18 out of 25. 72%. Uh, cool, so I'm going to go back to the garrison. I'm going to switch to the fucking shaman. And do Hygel. The Hygel parts I'm sad. Like, the, the shaman I'm not sad about, but the Hygel part I'm definitely sad about. Um, but I do have to check that the number's actually accurate first. Because if it's wrong and it's actually higher than that, it could it potentially not be my lowest, which would be very great. Oh no, that's classic. I need BC. There we go. So it's currently saying 24. Let's uh, see what we can find. How's it going? Yeah, it's going pretty well, thanks. I hope you can say the same. I wasn't aware of that one. Yeah, chair has your back. Chair does have my back. Definitely. All right, so it says 12 out of 50. Oh no, I've turned add-ons on, shit. Can't check ATT if ATT is not enabled. Fun fact, not bad, I'm in the UK, just had a nice breakfast. Oh, wonderful, I'm about to have dinner. I can smell it cooking, we're having steak. Time zones are weird. So weird, right? It's 7.29 p.m. in Brisbane. On Sunday, the 6th of February. Just out to Sydney two days ago. Ah, there you go. There you go. All right, Dungeons and Raids, Burning Crusade, Battle of Mount Hydra is 16 out of 50, not 12. Hey, oh, that is not better. Fuck. Um, so it's not the lowest, so I'm going to switch. It's DK, no Morgan. Mm, or yeah, look, Nomragon is is I think maybe worse. Uh, <laughs> Eleven hours ahead of us. There you go. Having something can finally manage soft foods as opposed to just liquid. Yay! Oh, that was the best. Like, ah, oh, stopping with the soup was great. It was fantastic. It's better if you have the pet portal. It is, but the whole the dungeon itself is still shit. Um, it's just so much running around. <clears throat> All right, so what does it want? Um, so eight of thirty-three. Let's see if that's accurate. It might not be. Six of sixteen. What? This is all entirely wrong. Fuck. Why is that? All right, let's, I'm gonna have to update this. Let me just have a look. So we've got Molten Core is not 17 out of 56. It's 25 out of 53. Um, Nixie's Lair, I'm gonna have to show completed groups so that the numbers are right. 32, good. 
Blackwing is 15 of 32. Ruins is 9 of 23, so that's wrong. Temples 20 of 48. The uh, thing that annoys me most about Nomi is he still can't clear it all without respawns. 60 is just too slow, yeah. Shit should not respawn in a dungeon. That's like... Guy, is there a guide or utility or similar you'd recommend? Zygor is what I use. Um, the add-on it's free is free and it comes with some basic simple guides. Um, but to get like all the you, you there are extra guides that you can pay for. Um, and I use them like all the fucking time. All the fucking time. Round two, Black Fathom Deeps is seven of sixteen. Fuck's sake. Seven of sixteen. Black Rock Depths. 24 of 57. That's 20 lower than what it was. Dead Mines is 28, 45. It's 29, 45. 6, 2, 5, 11, 19, 13, 23, 8, 13, 11, 20. So 371, 672. Okay, that's accurate now. And it's no longer the lowest by a long shot. Okay. Paladins! <laughs> Wait. Oh. I know why it's so low. I just realized I'm not on. It's because of all the engineering patterns in Noma, maybe. Noma, uh, in uh, like blacksmithing and engineering patterns. But that surely wouldn't have accounted for like, th oh, actually it could have been 30 or 40. Good, I fucked my data again. I'm very good at this. Go me. High five. That's fine. Let's go do Paladin. I can't. I need to. I need to go back and double check. Oh fuck! I hate this. This piece of class paladin. Clearly not, considering it's got such low completion, literally everywhere. Ah, uh, does anyone remember from B Vanilla or BC? What was that Razorback Quillen dung back in the day that Blizz got rid of? It was like walking through a thorny canyon. They didn't get rid. There's Ragefire Chasm, and then Razorfen Downs. I don't think they I, I don't think they've ever gotten rid of a dungeon. Have they? It was in Barrens, yeah. This can drink out of RFD still exists. Yeah. No, Razorfin Down still exists. Um, uh, wrong. yeah, there's two of them down the bottom. Um, yeah, some got changed when Cata dropped. They absolutely did. They got like revamped. Um, but neither of those Baron's dungeons did. No. These two, Razorfin Crawl and Razorfin Downs. They're still there. Yeah, there are a few revamped dungeons, but they're, um... Yeah, yeah it's 719. Yeah, so this, I, I was right. It's because of all the fucking patterns. Don't I feel like a numpty? So I changed all those numbers and I was wrong. Good. Fuck. Fifteen thirty-one. Nine, twenty-six, twenty, forty-nine, nine, eighteen, twenty-eight, seventy-six, twenty-eight, forty-five, thirty-one, forty-five, eight, thirty, twelve, twenty-seven, ten, fifteen, four, six, four, fifteen, twelve, twenty-one, seven, ten, twelve, seventeen, twenty, thirty, twenty-four. Whoa. Hang on. Twenty, thirty. Twenty, thirty. Twenty, thirty. Um, oh, 
But no Rigon still, it's 8 of 30, it's still higher than I thought it was. So we are still going to some more plateau, okay. That's fine. So from now on, I just need to take the gu they take it at what it fucking says. Work that was why I'm working my way backwards up the lists, so that the last one I finish on is the one that I'm using for my my tracker. Um, there is a reason for it. I just I'm an idiot. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm just gonna ignore whatever the guide says, uh, whatever the in-game stuff says, and just run the fucking dungeon. So we're doing some more plateau for Paladin. Ah, uh, you and me both. Ah, uh, rip. Well, headed to find those dungeons now. Awesome, enjoy. We're at stream. yes. Hello, what are you doing today? Hello, C. Uh, I hope that you're well. Welcome to chat. Uh, today we're farming transmog. Uh, I am a user of all the things, the add-on. Uh, and I also have a, uh, a spreadsheet that I've done external uh, to this, uh, which you can access by typing exclamation AT dart as in A-T-D-A-R-T, uh, all the dungeon and raid things. A-T dart is fun to say. Uh, <laughs> and that's tracking everything across 12 characters, all, all dungeons and raids, up to and including Legion across all 12 characters. Um, and I'm, so I'm currently, uh, I've, there's a little formula that tells me what my lowest percentage is across all those characters and all those dungeons and all those raids. And that's what I tackle, and I try to make it not the lowest. Uh, so currently, uh, at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see it says Sunwell Plateau, Desiderata, 24.49%. So that's my completion percentage. Desi is a paladin. You can see that if you scroll on the top, it's in pink. Ah! Hello! I your attention. I haven't scared you. It didn't. Thank you. The R was at the food and being a yay, not a not a frighten. And a drink. Yay for bubble no, no, tea. No, 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 no. Pearls? No pearls. No pearls. Okay. Everything all right? Yeah. Okay. We're just running low in them, so I'm spacing them. Out. That's okay, I've placed an order. It'll be here in like two weeks. Yeah, we don't have enough pearls for two weeks. Don't we though? Yeah, yeah okay, the amount that we have probably not. <laughs> I have barbecue sauce for my vegetables. Mmm, cow steaks. Mmm, the steak looks really good. No more endless numbers ASMR stream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm joking, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> so I need to take a port to sh There's no port to shat, is there? It's only hellfire. What does Zygor give me informations? Sunwick, good. Um, This one. What is my fastest way to get there? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So much sauce. Yep. Well, it was coming out s slowly, and it is a big pile of veggies. Oh, there is a portal to chat. I think. Fuck for that. Okay. Because I can take the portal to chat, and then I can take the portal to Isle of Keldenas. Does that unlock automatically on everyone now? Or do you still have to unlock it? No, look, 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 look. That is, that is what I did, right? Large pile of veggies. A bit of barbecue sauce on top. Like, it's not, it's not as ridiculous as it seemed. It just, it was coming out really, like, I don't know, maybe the nozzles clogged or something. Uh, it was not coming out very quickly. Um, always, there is a port to shut. Good, I'm so pleased about that. It's like a great reissue. Ah, yes, you can just magically unlock it. Fan fucking tastic. Mm. I'm pretty happy with that ratio. Little bit of little bit of sauce with each of the uh, each mouthful. Now, luckily, Sunwell is um like one difficulty, but good god, those fucking zone drops are gonna be the death of me. Like absolutely. <clears throat> oh my god, all this currency for bullshit. Oh, that's right. There's so many of them that you trade in for a, um, like, with a sun moat. That's right. I remember. 
is gonna be entertaining and fun. Let's do it. Summer was one of my favorite raids. It still is. It's just so beautiful. And that music. Mm. Um, that's bop. That one's 43k. That's bop. That's 9k. And that's an item. That's a pole arm. Not a pattern. But it's, um, also bop. The one in 50k. I know how, like, ugh. I used to come in here on fear to get the dual crafting ones and I do the whole um like clear everything up to the first boss run out and reset and just farm the trash but good god good god at least there's still stuff I need from the other time like if it gets to the point where I've got everything from all the bosses on all the characters and I still need patterns then I absolutely will farm trash like that That's not what I need. Thank you, but no. <laughs> Remember the sun wells. I run around dipping into moon wells. Yas. Tis the opposites. Excuse me, you little shit. Get your ass back here. I'm gonna have plenty of sun motes after this though, which is good if I need any of those uh, transmogs that are like currency things. That'll be good. Two so far. Three. After this I might just uh... There's no quick way out of here though is there? Oh, do they? Mm, I don't remember. Because going back and actually purchasing them, just so I know that they're crossed off the list, um, would be useful. Uh, how's a ballet life going? Look. Look, it's fine. It's fine. Four clears of Hydral. Then I switched to the Warrior, did four clears of End Time. Now we're in Sunwell. I don't think we're going to get four clears done, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Remember the sunny moon wells? Their moon wells were sunnies. Oh, Lord. You're very special, Jazz. Reflected sun wells. really missing my whirlwind right about now. What's that frontal cone thing that I've got? Exactly what I was looking for. Oh my god, that cooldown though. Good job. Fucking ugh. Gross. Um. Did they take out Divine Storm. I don't know. Did they? No, they have it. Oh, it takes three holy power. Okay, so let's see. Like, I have to actually build stuff up before I can use it, which is a pain in the ass if I just want to use it constantly. So I now have to go and actually do proper combat to build more holy power before I can use it again. <laughs> At least it doesn't have a cooldown. <clears throat> How are you? I'm doing well, thank you, Nab. I hope you can say the same. Want some of my... <laughs> I 
around popping and pooping consecrates, but it's not one-shotting them. That's the problem. Consecrate isn't one-shotting them. <laughs> I know which way I'm going. This is because I want the trash drops. Wiki <clears throat> mm, Rash just gives holy power. Yeah, but it's on like a 50 second cooldown. 45, which is poop tastic kite poop more of them. Yeah, but then I have to run back to loot. It's a drop all over the random places. Imagine not one shining something. I know! It's like, what the fuck? Oh. There's the portal. Challenge me and Come on. Pop me downstairs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing. Once we have triumphed over Kill Jaden, this entire world will be in your debt as well. So that's cloth. Kill Jaden must be destroyed. Leather. Sword that I have. And Vank, which I'm not. Oh well. Calicos down. <laughs> Brutalis! I did, um, a few weeks back, Jas and I were talking about Sunwell. And I explained to him how we did the Brutalis fight. It was just so much fun. Like, back when patchwork fights were actually patchwork fights. Stand still and just pound out the DPS. Um. Hold friends. There's information. Prot and Blessed have a movie. Oh, I think you told me this last time. Didn't you? There's enough fucking blab blab that I can figure it out. Today I learned the renowned catch-up purchasable object can be loose to ease level 48. Yep. Yep. Uh what was it? I said hammer. You will tell me where they are. Uh that's not a thing. Is it a talent? Is it is! I am in combat. Stop being in combat! Speak. I grow weary of asking. I'm gonna eat. Each individual item, I know. I, I mean, you could turn on auto loot from like no way back when. My Lord. Maybe they introduced that with BC though. My best. That was fun, but I still await a Throw it away. challenge. Come, try your luck. <laughs> Pre-order loot. CCSD, click each thing you want in the list. Lift up careful away, we purpose is running old stuff, it's great. A moment's made of okay, preparing food. I'm a talent. It is a talent. Um no soul bands, the big oof. Talent first row. Talent, thank you very much. The itchy face of new statue to go away already. This is suffering. Talent places hammer. Grab consecrated ground as well. Well done. Now this gets. Give me a minute. There it is. <laughs> Ooh. Makes it bigger. Nothing new. Uh, however, okay, so we have Vank, which is not me. We've got Prot, which is not me. I need Conk. Collar of the Pit Lord, which is nothing. And Vank, which is not me. Plus a Sun Moat, which is useful. And uh, a pet. I got the pet. Luckily, I just saw how my bags are looking because I can I can sell shit. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grumbles. He's like you. So 
Uh, well, friend of the Grummel. Cool. Hey, All right. Find good trails. So nothing I can even use as um as currency to buy an upgraded piece or anything. <laughs> All right, Felmist. I always forget about her. Uh. Double pony. Cavalier? Cavalier. <clears throat> Thank you, Jack. I got the bow form here on my hunter. Ah, congrats, Chug! Congratulations! Well fucking done. I have gotten Thoradal on my mage twice. Yep. I fuck, like, fucking. Excuse me? Two Thoradals on my fucking mage. Hmm, <laughs> Thoradol Mage's Fury, you're not wrong. Certainly causes the Mage's Fury. Hey, Max. Hmm. Rip indeed, but it's okay. I have um that many characters now. Mm! Six months, Jay. Amazing! Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Often faster than perceived. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, look, I've got that much transmog to get on, on my hunters in here in general that I will no doubt be in here for a while. Hmm. 1160s now. Missing a monk. Only using Mount Farm, really. <laughs> Tony, thank you so much for the prime sub. Six months as well. Holy shit. And apparently we have four minutes to trigger a hype train. There you go. I hit my goal for 50s. That's okay. Look. Do you have more than you started with? Because that in and of itself is a win. Um, Chag, I have four 60s. But I have 50, 50 characters that are level 50 plus. Uh, Matterhorn! With the resub and again for six months. Look at that. Holy shit, the three of you at six months. Thank you so much for the resub and for triggering the hype train. Much appreciated. A lot more? There you go, then you win. That's, that's attempts, that's chances that you wouldn't have had if you didn't try to level them, you know? That's awesome work. Um, but yeah, I've got 50, 50 50s. Um, was my challenge that I set for myself. Ah! Loza, you did hear Hype Train. Thank you so much for the cheers. 1960s now, I have problems. Oh no, Jack. That's fine. It's fine. I I hadn't even made the characters now. 42 of them. Holy shit. Holy shit. Channel, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. And congratulations on your bonus shit. Channel, Faden, Fairy, Veer, Max, Dwarfy, and Dunno, all of you on your bonus shit. Congratulations. Um, and Bod with the Prime sub 10 months. Holy Jesus fucking. Look, thank you so much for your ongoing support. Much appreciated. If you get Thoradar on a Volpera, does it count as the star's furry? Look, maybe. Probably. I'd say yes. <laughs> I would say yes. Hi, the sun well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Django with the resub, seven months, holy cow. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a lot of attempts to love rocket, correct. Uh, that was the whole reason why I did it, because I want the heartbreaker. I want it, and I want it this year, not next year. Um, I've got 850 attempts on the board already from previous years. Uh, and this year with 50 tunes times 15 days, um, because there is a day reset for us happens at 1am for, for Australia and the event doesn't end till 4am. So there's a three hour window in there that you can squeeze in your last round of attempts. Um, so 15 days of attempts, uh, 50, 50 tunes is 750. Um, so 850 plus 750 is 1600 total, which isn't even half of the 3333. But hey, I've got to give it a shot, right? Gotta give it a shot. Mm, mm-hmm. 33, 33. You're absolutely right. Oh my god! Holy 
shit! Channel! By the sun well. I really hope that wasn't a mistype. Kill or misclick. Five tier two subs. Jesus Christ. By Thank you sun. so much for those gifted subs. Can't wait to clip it when you get it first try. Look, I fucking hope so. Wouldn't that be lovely? Uh, I did. I got uh, I got one from Felmist. I got one from Felmist. Um, uh, Vank, Mail, and Prot. Why does that say zero of one? Vindicator's Plate Greaves, but I can't use By the Sunwell. Them. I'm so confused. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Insane indeed. Oh my god. I have tier two serves. Think of all the groceries you can buy. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, far out. And tier two gifted subs as well. My god, much love. When I lose, I'm really looking forward to love of it being over. Everything else haven't been neglected for so long. Yeah, it's um like it's all built up to this moment and we're gonna we're gonna kick its ass. Like, yeah, I, I feel ya. I feel ya. I feel ya. Hmm. It does make me wonder if it'd make more sense to just donate lol. <laughs> Entirely up to you. Like you've gotta you've gotta spend your money how you feel comfortable spending it, you know? Um yeah, it's uh, it's just nice to get people sub too. Absolutely, and the thing, like the thing with with gifted subs is sometimes, like, obviously, there are some people who aren't subbed because they don't want to be, and that's fine. There are some people who aren't subbed because they they can't afford to be, just like they they cannot afford to be, um, which is again fine. Uh, but there are some people out there who are sitting on the fence about it. They're like, mm, I don't know whether I should or not. Like, I, I don't know if I want to or not. And then being gifted a sub, they kind of go, oh, you know what? I might as well continue it because, you know, he, the decision's been made for me kind of thing. So th there's always a chance that something like that might happen, uh, which adds another regular sub to to our community, which, you know, would be awesome. But yeah, it's um, more also more of a chance, you know, if they really love the emotes, they can use them in other channels and then people go, oh, that's a cute emote. And then they click it and they find us through that, all that kind of, do you know what I mean? Like it's... There, there are so many benefits to having subscribers in the community who are like actively using Twitch and stuff. But in the end, if somebody is is shelling out their hard earned cash, it is entirely up to them on, you know, on what they spend it on and how they choose to spend it. And I would never presume to tell somebody like how to do that. So <laughs> yeah. Mm, gifting subs other gets other people hooked they they donate it's like a pyramid pyramid scheme is you recruit people yeah you're recruiting them uh sub count might also impact Misery exposure so gifted subs bad. certainly serves a purpose um gifted subs do nothing for that i can confirm um there are there are a few things on the back end that do benefit from sub counts and they do not take into account gifted subs at all um, mainly because uh, Twitch sees it as like um, you've got people who are actively engaged and they are con like constantly contributing and stuff like that versus someone who is able to drop a whole lot of money at once and gets a whole bunch of people subbed. Um, Twitch themselves, uh, like I, I value them the same personally. I think it's awesome. But in terms of like opportunity wise, Twitch values them very differently. And I understand why. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how that works. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, directly if he gets more of the money than Bezos. <laughs> I do get more of the money than Bezos. Just saying, especially at tier two. Um, but Bezos still does get cash. I mean, Twitch is a money losing machine. Twitch does not like Twitch as a platform does not make money they lose money because all the money that they get from like the subs and the cheers and all that kind of stuff goes towards, you know, keeping the servers alive and all that kind of shit. And they lose money. Um, they don't make enough money from all that to, to keep everything going. So Amazon kind of props them up a little there. So if they were to potentially get less money, um, I mean, who knows? Amazon may pull the plug one day. 
Um, <laughs> you know, it's a kind of a an unfortunate sort of situation, but it's the reality. Um, hey, level four hype emote, amazing. There we go. You know, should split between. Totally up to you. Uh, sub count might also impact exposure. Gives us uh, there's layers in there. Gives me the dopamines. Either way, oh, I'm glad. As long as you're happy, that's that's the big thing that's important here is is your happiness and that you feel like you're getting your money's worth. You know, that's the big thing. Are you getting your money's worth? Um, yeah. Um, but if you do want to show us some hard on cash, may I suggest merch? Yeah, um, that's on the to-do list for, for this month. It might not get done during, uh, Heartbreaker. Um, because I know, at this point, I know that I'm not, even if I made stuff now, like made new merch now and ordered my samples, they're not going to get here in time for the, um, for the, what's it stream? The anniversary stream. Um, but I can still get them up on the, on the site. I just won't have them available to, like, show you on camera. Uh, and so for some people that's not enough and that's okay. They can they can full on they can absolutely wait until I have samples to show. Um, but for those who like want their hands on it, early bird, they can they can certainly do that. Um, but yeah, I uh, have to find some time to set aside to to upload some more merch because there's ideas there. They're definitely happening. I just need to actually make them. <laughs> Hello, Les. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Eyes looking fiery tonight. Thank you. It's the Crimson Water Strider. The human really deserve more viewers compared to. Aw. Thank you, Sichu. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Look, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's just, it's a matter of people finding us. That's the thing. Like, exposure is everything. Um, so the more the more people who find us, you know, hopefully we can hold on to some of them and they'll become more regulars and then the numbers will go up. Like, you know, that's that's how it works. We just gotta retain some viewers. So tell your friends <laughs> um, for social media. Social media is a big thing. Like um, if you can, like if you follow me on the socials and you like my stuff and you comment on my stuff and you share my stuff, it will spread the word. Other people will find it, follow it through to the stream maybe. Uh, and then maybe they'll come to a stream and maybe they'll enjoy it and maybe they'll stick around. Um, but the big thing for, uh, for social media is that brands like it. Brand deals. Uh, brand deals means cashola, means Fia can pay her bills without having a day job. Uh, I currently have a day job. I enjoy my day job, but I would like to content create full time. It would be very nice. Uh, but the way to do that is to make monies uh, from brands. It's, it's the way to do it. So uh, yeah, if you're feeling generous, that is a free way to, uh, to support the channel. Um... Hero death that I made last week is now 50. Yay, Matt, that's awesome news. Well done. Need more goals in WoW. I don't really do current content. I wanted to get 500 mounts last year. I've done that now. I might go for ATT also. ATT will absolutely, like if you're looking for a goal, ATT will give you 700 of them. <laughs> uh, have you got a date for Teefs yet? No, I have a CT scan on Monday and my appointment, so tomorrow, my CT scan is tomorrow. And then my surgeon appointment is on Thursday and that's when I find out. So Thursday evening, when we're doing the Heartbreaker runs, that is when to ask me, and then I will be able to hopefully give you an actual answer. Uh, even if that actual answer is, I have to wait until another surgery appointment, because it is a possibility. I might have to, I, the, the bone might not be healed enough yet. And that's okay, I'd rather it be healed enough before we go ahead with the surgery. Uh, when is anniversary stream? 26th of February, it is a Saturday. May I suggest a cartoon heartbreaker with a Fiamma logo sticker on the side as a design? I would need to commission that art. And if it looked too much like the heartbreaker, it might be IP infringement. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, also, Spring do have stickers, but they're not... Um, they can do like a sticker sheet, but they don't cut each sticker out and sticker out individually. It's like one sheet with a bunch of things on it, and you've got to cut them out yourself, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, they do have die cut stickers, which is like one image, and it's got a die cut around it. But when I tried to upload my logo, like the bird, as a die cut sticker, the cut that it made around the outside of it was 
horrendous. And I'm like, that is that is trash. I'm not selling that as merch. That is ridiculous. So I'd have to I'd have to commission the art and then upload it and see how it looks and all that kind of like it. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like do that. You know, I feel a bit bad about that. Okay. I serve only the master now. So, I do have... Let me see if there's anything here that I need to I will channel my hold on to. Into the orbs. <clears throat> Be ready. He's dead. What are you doing? Oh, into the orbs. But they're... I'm, the Caligos, the fight is done. <laughs> the, the fight is over, mate. Uh, okay. Few will remember your name. Yet this day you changed the course of destiny. What was once corrupt is uh, now pure. Bank. Heroes. Two Do wraps. I don't have a tailoring for that. Be in vain. Mail. Soulbound. Prop, but I can't use it. So I have Conk from Filmist. So I can use that and I should get the, the Vindicator stuff. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, and then... Nail, leather. Shield. Soulbound for jewel crafting, which I don't have. I think it's so silly that soulbound recipes can drop on characters that don't have that profession. I think it's just so silly. Uh, cloth, finger, cloth, staff, cloth, cloak that I already had, cloth, prot, prot, bank, bank, prot. Bank. All right, cool. Um, so there's nothing here that I can actually. Is that a usable portal? Can I get out? <laughs> I don't think there's anything that I can get from the sun motes. Just as this day marks an ending, so yeah. Does it herald That's okay. a new beginning? Cool! Out we get. Um. Well, hope you're well too. I am, thank you, Les. I am. I'm glad that you are. Howdy night, no worries, Ben. See you next time. Afternoon, Draz. We talked about the new announcements we had recently. Uh, that is both the ban on organized boosting and the cross faction expansion content. Yes, extensively. Uh, expansion, I mean, instance. Cross-faction instance content. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, look, it's all right. Typos, they happen. It's all good. All good. Not a problem. Uh, but yeah, no, we have. We have a lot. Um, Cross-faction is great. I love that it's opt-in, not opt-out, so it doesn't break immersion for people who are not looking to do cross-faction and want to maintain it for RP or otherwise. So you have to opt into it. I think that's fantastic. I also love the fact that I'm going to be able to play with more of my viewers. Still not EU, but... Alliance and Horde NA OCE is far more than just Horde NA OCE, so that's good. Uh, and the organized boosting thing, it's fine. Uh, I honestly, like, these, these are people running literal companies inside of somebody else's IP. It makes sense that they've done it, to be fair. Um, and it, it does definitely help them protect themselves against RMT, which is against us. Uh, Another hydrate. Plus, it'll clean up chat channels and stuff where they've been spamming and shit like the reasons they gave for it were good um i trust that they feel that this is the best course of action to prevent something they don't want happening yeah you'll still be able to buy boosts and shit just not from middlemen not from organizations like that and that's okay uh, i'll be thinking of you on monday hoping all for all the best mm. Yeah, just the CT scan tomorrow. I just have to go into the place, give them my piece of paper, sit on a thing and bite on a bit of plastic and hold very, very still and then leave. Like, it'll be fine. No biggie. Um, but yeah, the, the Thursday appointment, I am... Um, I'm looking I'm looking forward to it because I'd love to have, like, a concrete answer, like, where are we at? Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, and I'd also like to get surgery number two over and done with. Um, but we'll see. We'll just see if my body is doing 
what it needs to at a rate that is average as opposed to less than average. <laughs> we'll see how we go. <clears throat> My life finally chilled the fuck out. We finished your emote sometime tomorrow. Amazing! Super awesome, Shiva. Super awesome. We might have to stick a couple of them on uh, on something. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. It sucks my red bubble stuff seems to be okay. Oh, good. That's really good. Uh, morning, evening. I'm still waking up. Ran out of coffee yesterday. Feeling the withdrawal already. Oh, no. I hope you're able to get some soon. Uh, how lacks a blizzard with IP infringement? Some studios love community stuff. Others, like IP owners, like Gear Workshop, will sick their lawyers on anyone. Um, I don't know. And I don't really want to test it out. Um, because I have a phenomenal relationship with Blizzard ANZ as it stands. Uh, I don't want to turn around and abuse that relationship and have them come to me and say, Oi, what the fuck? You're advertising this, you know, you're, you're infringing our IP while we're promoting you to the masses. Like, what the fuck? So I, understandably, I hope, don't want to damage that relationship. So I'm not willing to do anything that could even potentially, um, yeah. Having, ha like, commissioning a piece of art that's me on the side of a rocket that has the bird on it, that's fine. The moment you start making money off it is when it becomes a problem. Um, given that I have the, the relationship, there is a chance that I could possibly email them the image and say, hey, do you guys consider this IP infringement or can I make it a sticker? <laughs> and can I put it in my merch store? They may possibly be okay with like asking the lawyers to see if it'd be okay. But also that's a really big question for, for a small fry, you know, like... I, I don't think it's, um, I don't think they'd waste their time. Like the lawyers, I don't think the lawyers would waste their time on someone small like me. So, um, lawyers are fucking expensive, y'all. So, uh, <laughs> you know, but look, we'll, uh, it is, it is a thing. It is definitely a thing. All right, this is something I can equip and learn. I'm just trying to clear out my bags before I go in there. Cool. Clean that up. I know it'll make it a mess and I hate that, but that's fine. I'll deal with it later. <clears throat> uh, Wife's Legendary Coffee Mug tells me they enjoy people using their concepts at least. Not sure about specifically borrowing visuals. Um, depending on where the Legendary Coffee Mug came from, like Legendary quality as a thing isn't Blizzard specific. Um, if, it's, if it's one of those ones that has the full on tooltip, like 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 this whole uh, this whole thing, you know, legendary plus one to whatever it is, that kind of thing. Uh, you might find that's actually from Blizzard that it's been licensed by someone like Jinx, for example. Because <clears throat> I know there was like there was a, a hoodie that had the tooltip on it that was like um, like something of frost resist, and it was like plus twelve to frost resist and stuff like that. That was around back in vanilla. Um, but that, it was all licensed. It was all like they had purchased the rights to use that imagery from Blizzard. And I don't have the money to do that. So <laughs> that is not a thing that is happening. Right, okay, I need to, I need to be prot. Uh, oh, I am prot. Shit. All right, um, ah, feck. I am the wrong kind of prot. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Is not directly sold. They're pretty lax. Yeah, exactly. Like I can, you can commission fan art and all that kind of stuff of your characters. You can do, you can do fan art of your like yourself of your characters. The moment you start selling it, is when it gets tricky. Um, like there's a series of cross stitch patterns that I really, really love and want um, from on Etsy from a creator that I have admired for a very long time. Uh, she's done the official Stardew Valley stitch book and stuff like that. She drops by every so often. Um, zero three, but, uh, like, this is not a rested area. Where the fuck is the... I think it's up here, isn't it? Um, and they've got a crest for each of the covenants. But there's nothing in the covenants that's directly from the game, I believe. Like, it, do you know what I mean? It's, it's inspired by... Let me just double check, actually. Um... <clears throat> and consecrate ground. Okay, cool. Let's go. No, 
images, please. Like, a lot of people will just stick stuff up on Etsy and hope for the best and stuff, and that's totally fine. Um, you know, you do you. But... Yeah. Yeah. So like the Venthyr one, for example, it has a, a tombstone with chains on it and it has bat wings with a head and there's some fire and red melted candles. But the Venthyr logo is nowhere to be found. Like the, the actual symbol, nowhere to be found. It's all very, it's obviously Venthyr. And it's like we were talking a little while ago, there was a blog that I was reading about um, how to skirt Disney specifically. But I mean, you know, this it's the same kind of deal. Um is uh you can you can do stuff that you can't like you can't put rapunzel on a fucking poster um if you're if you're doing like kids birthday or something you can't write tangled on everything and you can't do all that kind of stuff but what you can do is do a color scheme that is very reminiscent to the movie like the greens and the pinks and the yellows and you can put the flowers and stuff like that and you can put long curls of, of golden hair and stuff like that because nothing none of that is actually covered by the shit it's all very much inspired by none of it is actually pulled that the word tangled is nowhere to be found um the image of her like of of rapunzel is no nowhere uh, not even her silhouette is present but it is all so heavily inspired by that you can tell just by looking at it um let me show you this one for example the the pattern that i'm looking at uh, I just found Chibi Sylvanas in a Murloc costume. Oh my god! Yeah, absolutely not worth fucking with. I agree. Okay, oi, yep. Problem being having it made first with the possibility of it being unusable. Well, that's the other thing. Like, if I if I really wanted that piece of art, I would still commission it anyway, because it'd be super fucking cute to have. But yeah, not, not being able to monetize it is different. So, like, it, it really depends, like, am I only getting this commissioned so I can monetize it? Or am I getting it commissioned because I think it's a cute fucking idea and I want it, and there is a potential that I may monetize it in future? Like, it really, your your original intentions are super important. Uh, so here is the Venthyr pattern I'm talking about. I'm going to pop it in chat. There you go. Um, and you can take, you look, you take one fucking look at it. Oh, it's Venthyr. But the symbol's not anywhere. It's beautifully done. Really beautifully done. Um, <clears throat> if you prefer, don't forget to change spec and talents protection. Yeah, I was already in prot, which surprised me, but that's, I'm, I'm cool with that. This, this is fine. Obviously, I was farming shit on this one earlier. <laughs> too soaked with creamy sugar with some random Chinese seller on Amazon. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, in that case, it might be too different. They, especially with Chinese sellers on Amazon or even on eBay and stuff like that, it can be exceptionally difficult for them to target where, like, what company is actually making them. Um, and trying to trying to shut down the individual sellers with like you know takedown requests is it's a play it's a game of whack a gnome. You knock one down and three more pop up. Um, obviously, you know you got to protect your IP and stuff, but the layout of a tooltip may not be considered. Um, it may it, it also may not be considered unique enough it, to be copyrighted or trademarked by Blizz. So yeah, it's interesting. All this shit is so fascinating. And a Disney design that got pulled from Redbubble, yeah, makes sense. Disney and Nintendo are extremely diligent on knocking down that kind of stuff. They are. Yep, absolutely. <clears throat> you gotta you gotta be real careful. You gotta find stuff, you gotta design things that are inspired by that don't actually make any direct references to. Which can be difficult for creators, especially like, you know, if you're doing stuff for kids, and you know Disney and fucking Pokemon are super hella popular. But it also can push you to be more creative. Because you find ways to to sell stuff that is very obviously inspired by. <clears throat> I mean, well, there's like 80 pages of My Hero Academia stuff that's literally stills from the show. Yeah. Yeah. It also depends on, like, the lawyers for the company, like, what platforms they're super aware of and stuff as well. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, becomes more trademark than a copyright issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the the two terms are very different. I'm I'm pr I'm I know a fair bit about how they're different. Sometimes, but like sometimes I get a little like, wait, hang on, is this copyright or trademark? But um, yeah, they're 
they operate similarly, but they are absolutely not the same. You're right, Nab. That's awesome. Yeah, right? Stop influencing me. Not only that, right, guys, this comes in a four set with the rest of them. Where's the four set? I fucking love Siri. She's in, like, this is not her art. Um, there's an artist called Freynone who does a lot of amazing, incredible fan art and stuff like that. But the artwork is from Freynone. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I will feel terrible if I'm not. But then Siri has converted it to a, a cross-stitch pattern with Freenone's permission and Freenone gets a cut of every sale kind of thing. So um, they have like a working relationship, right? Siri does such, it, like she's got one of the things, uh, she's got a pin cushion that's a blueberry pie on her. Uh, so you, you stitch the, the top of the pie and then you can socket it into a pin cushion. Yeah, it's just, it's so fucking cute. Uh, Freenone patterns. Oh, there was a bundle on here. Do they, does she still have the bundles? Maybe not. Um, but here's the, here's the section. That's, um, so that's Venthia, then there's a couple of unrelated ones, and then there's Kyrian. Uh, Necrolord and Night Fae. And they're, yeah, they're awesome. And I want to get a lot of them. I really want to buy the, like, all four and just have them kind of stitched and beautiful and, but no, no, I'm not allowed to. Absolutely not. And I have learned, um, that, uh, Throne can't do digital products from Etsy. Throne can't do digital products from Etsy because you can't gift something if you're purchasing a digital product on, on Thingy, if you put in, like, your details, you cannot send it to somebody else as a gift if it's digital. Um, I assume the idea is that you just download it yourself and then you package it up for them and give it to them or whatever. But, um, yeah, so they because they can't gift it, Throne won't do it. Um... And didn't someone joke that if you want something removed in case it leaks on the internet, put in Disney songs as background to make sure to scrub the internet of it? I have not heard that joke, but I, that's hilarious. And you're probably right. Uh, Amazon aren't really bothered about counterfeit or copyrighted items. I contacted them about something several times. They did nothing to the point where the chat mysteriously kept disconnecting. Oh, God, that's shit. That's really shit. Because, I mean, like, it, this, it, cause this isn't just about protecting, like, Disney and Nintendo and shit like that. It's also like smaller artists get their shit stolen and stuck on t-shirts all the time. All the time. I remember when the original Pokemon mob was shut down by Nintendo, Creature made like donations available. I caught Nintendo's attention enough to cut it off at the knees. Yeah. The original Pokemon Minecraft mod that is. Yeah, Pixelmon. Yeah, so like, if you're not making money from it, if it's a fan production, it's fine. The moment you try to profit from their IP, absolutely not. Once we have triumphed over Kill Jaden, this entire world I think that's still going just without the public donation link, yeah. That'd be it! There is no time to waste. The OG's not going anymore, there are a ton of remakes, yeah. Generations and Reforged. Ah, oh, what came out of it? Original creator is not modding anymore. Yeah, they got, probably got bitten so hard that they just kind of, like, you know, I, I know how I'd feel. I mean, I wouldn't do it in the first place, I wouldn't try to get money out of it. But if they realised how much work they were putting into it and that they couldn't ever get paid for it... I mean, I'd stop too, probably. Once that kind of shit grows, it's, it, it just takes too much time to maintain it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Allowed to exist is not linked to donate. Exactly. They're not making money off IP. And you bet. You can bet that Nintendo is aware of all of them and is subscribed to all of their mailing lists and has a copy of each of them downloaded and checks them every so often just to make sure there's no donation link. I'm glad it still exists. You're so my friends. Oh, awesome. That's super cute. Puny lizard. Death is the only answer you will find here. <clears throat> you will tell me where they are. Ah, your magic is real. 
I grow weary of asking. <clears throat> uh, didn't Blizzard, Blizzard absolutely nail some dude that made a WoW bot to the wall in court based on him making money making a product to their IP? Um, not sure. I, I know that they sued the creator of a WoW bot, yes. Um, and that they took them down. I don't remember what the name was. Um, but I don't think it was around making money on the product to their IP. I, I know that was Honor Buddy. Was it ex an extension of that one? Pro, Bod, Koala, Fairy, Seeker, V, Dunno, and Max. Congratulations on your bonus shit. Yeah, it was on a buddy. Um, six years long legal dispute uh, that turned into a battlefield for hackers on Blizzard's side. What? Um, so they discontinued on a buddy, Lazy Mon, Buddy Wing, and Hearth Buddy. Um, they shut down 31st of December 2017. They still had bots for other things, but, um... <clears throat> what? What exactly was the... On a buddy lawsuit. I don't know what exactly they got them for. <clears throat> Let me have a look here. Uh, merged victorious in a long-running lawsuit against Bossland, a German company that creates cheats for online games. As reported by Torrent Freak, US court ruled that Bossland owed Blizzard $8,563,600 for 42,818 violations. Bossland would additionally have to pay 174872 in Blizzard's legal fees. Ruling also prevents Bossland from selling its wares in the US. This includes hacks like Honor Buddy, Demon Buddy, Storm Buddy, Hearth Buddy, and Watch Over Tyrant. Um, court ruled that these products infringed upon Blizzard's product by damaging the player experience for honest non-cheating folk. Players of the Blizzard games uh, lodge complaints against cheating players, which has caused users to grow dissatisfied with the Blizzard games and cease playing, the court ruled. Accordingly, the in-game cheating also harms Blizzard's goodwill and reputation. Um, so... <clears throat> it wasn't an IP infringement. Um, charges. What were the actual charges? Um, what am I placing? I can't place another Bloom Buster yet, can I? No. Uh, so just something that can kill shit. This one. Are any of these glitched units? I don't know if they are. Um... <clears throat> Whatever there is, I'm just happy they got wrecked. That makes me happy when devs step up to project the game. Had to look up glider, yeah. Uh, nothing weirder than having to take off your clothes and gear in WoW so you can hit an NPC and not kill them. I know, right? How fucking hilarious is it? It also depends on where you're based, whether you can be sued or not. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there will be like... Uh, the toss though, I'm pretty sure the toss says a bunch of stuff about like... Uh, any disagreements will be, you know, something, something, California, blah, 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 blah. Like. I know that a lot of contracts I've signed um, have said, you know, if there are any disputes in regards to this contract, they will be mediated in the, you know, in the state of blah, 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 blah. Be that in the US or here in Australia, um, stuff like that. No, I was going to with hacking you totally much better, I think. I mean, hacking accounts are still subs, so I doubt they were hugely proactive. Well, I mean, they shut down. the. They were the largest provider of bot shit, uh, and they had, you know, nearly $200,000 in legal fees. 
to fight this and it was a six year long battle you know like it's what else would you want to what like what else do you want them to do basically ah uh, don't make me just an undead in underwear killing planes and striders tons of language in there about mediation hmm <clears throat> To kill Jaden, death to all who oppose. Mm. <clears throat> Trying to find what the actual charges were. I'm getting stuff. I'm getting stuff. All right. Um. Madragosa deserved a far better fate. You did what had to be done, but this battle is far from over. Yeah, it's, it's like, you know, destroying Blizzard's, like, the goodwill of their name and, you know, people not enjoying their products because someone else is destroying their experience of the product and stuff like that. I just don't know what that's actually called in terms of, like, a legal charge. It's really interesting, though. I was thinking more of being in some legally uncooperative countries. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, for sure. But that's the thing. It doesn't matter where they are in terms of being legally, legally uncooperative because they pull them into a California court. That's kind of the way that the toss works, the, the license agreement. Um, being a lot harder on botting and hacking lately. Yeah, for sure. Oh, this was back in 2017, though, as well. Almost ten million dollars in damage usually makes a lot of firms go under. Oh yeah, they like um there are there are ways to get out of that amount of money. Like people I like I disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer, but I would imagine that a lot of these kind of settlements, they don't end up paying anywhere near that. It's like a starting figure and then they kinda of haggle it down or, or something. I'm not too sure, but it's uh it's really interesting. It's really interesting. Ah, uh, she's good to see. However, they aren't able to auto detect multi boxing is still baffling to me though. I mean, this is the the issue with uh, detecting multi boxing, right? Is that you're coming from the same IP address, yeah? But Jas and I are playing on the same IP like we're we're playing from the same IP address because we're we're on the same network. We're on the exact same network because we share a home. So if you've got multiple kids who have an account each and they're all, do you know what I mean? Like. That's, you know, and it's not it's not the multi-boxing part that they were upset about. It was the hooking in with the programs to um, uh, to mirror uh, mirror keystrokes. So if you did a keystroke in one account, it did that keystroke in all the other accounts as well. That's a form of automation, which is against TOS. So that's how they, you know, you, you can't automate the game. That's cheating. Um, so. Yeah, that's where they that's how they went about with that. So you can absolutely still multi-box. You just can't mirror. You can't have the the same keystroke operate the same thing in all in all your different accounts Misery. at once. You can you can still put them on follow and have them follow you around. You just have to tab into each account and click the herb. Trust you know? Chaos. These are the hallmarks. These are the hallmarks. Um Problem is, if they ever fully shut down multi-boxing, they'll ruin the game for me and my seven accounts. Uh, potentially defamation, breach of contract. Yeah, the defamation one could be a thing. That's really interesting. Um. <clears throat> uh. 
My original court ruled the sale of prohibited utility or cheat software competitive for esports games like Overwatch is anti-competitive given the reaction of players who observe the rules use cheat software could significantly impact Overwatch sales. So it's it sounds kind of like defamation. It like it impacts sales. You're doing something that is making us not look good and therefore that's really interesting. There is however um this is not the same case but it's against the same people and it's case 15 u 2619 Let's see if i can find the case listing but it'll probably be in fucking german but that's fine um <laughs> Sure, this is the same website that I just looked at, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, multiboxing with replicated commands is now against TOS, and they've been banning people to do it, correct? Yes. But. That's just replicated commands. You can multi-box without that section of it, and it's still fine, as far as I'm aware. You can have only ever log two logged in on the second one around, understand them cracking down the wording. One click equals one click, yeah. One button press equals one action. Ah, uh, then we get a bit big video game companies. They're all once a small creator, idea from artists. They get big, and we use them, but companies can't provide the product if they aren't making them all like, yep, pretty much. Makes sense to protect their IP. Oh yeah, no, it absolutely does. And the other side of it is that if they don't protect the IP, and then they decide to one day, and that they can actually use as a defense, well, you didn't protect it here. So why are you targeting me instead of them? Like that's that's actually, as far as I'm aware, a fucking legal, a valid legal defense, um, which will cause them many issues. Obviously, Pro you know, protect it or lose it is kind of the, which is why um, Disney are so fucking aggressive about it. Oh, I'm over a decade to care though. Oh, I don't think it took them over a decade to care. I think it took them over a decade to figure out how they could actually fucking do it. Like without impacting players who weren't breaking rules and stuff. I think that's honestly, like you gotta remember these are just humans. They're, there's no, like they don't know how to do shit perfectly. And trying to figure out how to fix this without accidentally fucking over everyone else doing something similar for good reasons, like it's yeah, it's it's really tricky. Um, even when they when they announced the multiboxing thing with um, uh, with mirrored commands, people were talking about how there are people who use those mirrored command programs for accessibility reasons, and so they've just fucked over people who aren't able to play the game otherwise. And they need these programs to be able to play. I'm not sure how. I didn't I didn't dig any further than that, but like. Yeah, so do you know what I mean? Like, even then, they still manage to fuck people over. So they're trying to avoid fucking other people over. Uh, key mouse hooks are the problem. Yep, correct. Uh, because you can use those mouse and key hooks for bad things as well. Uh, if you have multiple characters gathering at the same time, same spot for same IP or a period of time, that should be pretty clear in logs, surely. Yeah, but Jas and I run dungeons together all the time. Like, do you know what I mean? It, it's... That would absolutely flag me as having two accounts that I'm doing at the same time, 100%. Because Jas, like, <laughs> if I'm having trouble with a particular rare mob, Jas will log in and beeline to my location and then we will kill it together. If that doesn't look like a multi-boxer helping themselves out with something that they couldn't solo, I don't know what does. And we are most certainly not fucking multi-boxing. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you've got to figure out a way to do it without fucking everybody else over. And again, multi-boxing is fine. Mirroring actions is not. Mirroring key presses is the part that's not, that is against the rules. Which they have success, like, they are successfully de banning people for. Uh, someone in Russia for existence, they cannot enforce any court decision on them. As many people in cybersecurity, though. Uh, yeah, but they might just ban, like, IP ban them or whatever. Um, there are, there are ways that they can figure it out, I'm sure. Um, these Blood Elves or Space Goats you were killing, please. Uh, probably Blood Elves. Because we're in the sun well. Uh, I just think you're getting to the shop and once again it's raining. Hating not having a car right now. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. Uh, I think their attitude towards multiboxing is that it was fine until people went overboard, had 40 bots running around, insta-hacking 
everything ruining the player experience for others, why we can't have nice things. I totally think at the moment multi boxes don't ruin or impact other players now. They just herb and mine now. Yeah, but even herbing and mining, like the timer on those herbs, like when you know how you can loot it, like you can herb it, and then anyone can herb it for X amount of seconds afterwards. So you can share the spawn essentially. There is a cap on how many people can share from that spawn. I'm pretty sure it was specifically to try to curb the multi boxes a bit. But what that means is if you're a single player running around herbing and you have a multi-boxer who swoops down all these druids, 10 of them herb all at once and then they fly off again and there's no herb for you, even if you were two yards away because they've taken all 10 spawns from that. They have literally stolen it from you. Um, and that's what they were trying to avoid. So now you can absolutely put them all on follow and all 10 of your tunes can swoop down, but you have to tab between them and individually click on the herb and that allows somebody else to get in there and get one of the spawns. And I think that that's appropriate. Uh, it impacts the economy and could potentially be misused in the same way as boosting, so it'll get screwy. It absolutely can mess with the economy, but if they're not doing it, like if they if the mul if not if it's not multi boxing, you'll have tons of people going around and doing it. Or the price for those herbs will fucking skyrocket, which will fuck up the economy you in other ways. Because Maridi, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. It fucks up the uh, the economy in different ways, right? So now, you know, maybe it's flooded and the price is really low. Which means that a lot of, maybe some people can't make as much gold as they would like to off the herbs. But then if you've only got three people herbing, and so you've only got 20 herbs on the auction house at any one time, the price will be so fucking high that only the top tier guilds on your server will be able to afford them. And so no one else will have any herbs. Do you know, you know what I mean? Like, economies can be fucked in multiple ways. Um, yeah, look, it's never going to be perfect. Never going to be perfect, unfortunately. Um, but it is interesting. It is really interesting. Uh, Cliff to watch though. If the clicks are all together or spaced out, it's differential. I'm no programmer, so I could be totally wrong. The inputs would surely be very different. That's the whole point, Chag. So prior, I mean, we are, I'm, I'm five minutes behind on chat, so maybe I, you're not, maybe you're not, cap. maybe I'm not, you've not caught up to what I'm saying yet. Mirroring commands is against TOS. So they don't need to catch everyone going down and pressing the same things at the same time. That's not what they need to catch. They scan the back of your PC, and if they see that a fucking bot is running, you're out of there. They ban you based on what other programs you have running on your PC at the time. This has been happening for a decade now. This is how they found Honorbody. This is how they proved that all these people were using it. That's how they banned the accounts for botting, because they could see the bot program running on the PC. Um... So that's already against TOS. People are already being banned for that. You are worried about nothing because they're literally already doing that. That is something that they are actively doing right now. Multiboxing, but having the characters have to follow each other and then go down and then click the herb, alt tab, 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 click the herb. That they don't give a flying fuck about. That you're allowed to do. That is within terms of service because you have to interact with each, on each account individually. And that, you're not gonna catch them all pressing the button at the exact same time, because they're not. There's the alt tab in there, and then a button press, and then an alt tab, and then a button press. And then you've gotta go back through and alt tab them all and put them back on follow. And then zoom over to the next one. Because there is no, you can't move forward on all the accounts at once, they all have to be following the one that you're interacting with. And that is entirely too much effort, and so a lot of people don't do that, but some people still do, and that is within terms of service. I hope that explains things far clearer. Multiboxing still okay. Single press to multiple accounts, not okay. Correct. Imagine only marginally. Definitely not marginally. Definitely not marginally. Especially when you have a ton of people doing it. Uh, I'm a programmer. It's very easy to simulate delayed key presses. I mean, I can do it with my G keyboard. Like, my G915 can simulate delayed key presses. And I'm not a programmer either. It, use the G keys. Use macros. It's easy. Um, it was hilarious to see the stream at 10 to 20 shaman walking along in BC. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I guess if you can make it, you can break it. Yes, ask New World how the product and players are suffering. When it's implementing changes without thinking it through. Oof. Oof. Uh, 
I think it depends if 40,000 Nightshade right now and the price range is from 4 to 24 from one hour to another. Really down to people consistently spamming the AH to undercut. Yeah. Yeah, my bare selfish a-hole. All multi-boxing hopers do is make my flask cheaper, so I'm fine with it. That's fair. 10 is the max on a node. Thank you so much for confirming it. I thought it was 10, which is why I kept saying 10, but I wasn't 100% sure. Thanks heaps for that gold. I appreciate it. Uh, I remember there was a quest in Bastion was super hard to complete because mirroring boomies murdered every serpent in the area constantly. Uh, and welcome on in, Marie. Thank you so much for the cast of Comanche, but I'm trying to catch up quickly. Um, hello! Is manipulation in both directions potentially? Yes. I also have the carrier grade NATs that more and more ISPs use due to rare action of IPv4 addresses in entire name who can be behind the same IP address. Holy fuck! I didn't know that! Good god! Oh, shit! <laughs> that would totally- yeah, oops. Uh, and I hot hotfixes out of the Guardian software that's scanning for it. Yes. Yeah. Who's tossing? Everybody. <laughs> Hello, Taz. Um, <laughs> thank you, Zika. Uh, no, we're talking about terms of service, Taz, which we refer to abbreviatedly as TOS, because terms of service. Yeah. Uh, three druids in a triangle formation all moving at the same time in a circle with four or more accounts following them is clear from logs that something isn't right. I multi box with my two accounts. I really only quest, and that's yeah, and that's you know, as long as you're not mirroring things, then you're fine. Okay. So much grace. There are no words. Hmm. Conk. Possible to describe. Salvation. Perfect. More conk, but that I have to go to in a Keldenas to grab. Um, because it's currency, so... That's mail. That's plate. Um... So these share an appearance with what they have a current- what their currency is for. So that's... good. But it's also... Uh, shared appearances, I think. Maybe? Or it's part of Onslaught Battle Gear. Oh, I see. It's part of the set. Okay, that's fine. Um, I didn't realize they shared an appearance when it was a current- when it was currency for the thing. That's interesting. Shit, shit. Okay. So I do need to go outside. Oh, that's not what I... Okay, sure. How... I have to run out, don't I? <laughs> Actually, no. I could Dalaran Hearth, and then it'll be a long way around, but um, I might as well do it, get it done, cross it off. Um... Feels abused, injured. Oh no, has. <laughs> Welcome to chat. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, you know, like I don't think I've ever seen multi boxes like uh, the the following the chain of people following around uh, that wasn't a pack of druids. To be perfectly honest, but that's really funny. That doesn't mean that all druid players uh, are breaking toss. Like it's fine. I hope you're having a great day. After the band, you just stood watching for nearly an hour. Report them. They don't know that, like, the, the scanner isn't 100% accurate. So if you go through and report all the... Ah, uh, not Horde. Shit. <laughs> Force a habit. Like, sometimes you need to drop a report so that they can see what's going on. I require your aid with a matter of the utmost importance. And the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. Mmm. Mmm. Taking a tune that can't fly and flying them around. Yep, absolutely. Twitch, quick straw poll. Do we call it a jingle or chime? Depends on what are we, what are we call, what, what is it that we are calling a jingle or chime? Ah, congratulations to Krazy for his KSM. That's awesome news. Did you report them? Exactly. 
Let's see, Adon used to tweet about new achievements. It didn't just come up, but I forgot to ask last time I was here. No, Adon. It's uh, baseline Blizzard. Uh, you got to go into your uh, system, I think it is. No. No. Interface. Yeah, interface. It's under social. And there's literally enable Twitter functionality. No add-on required. Um, you connect your Twitter account. Uh, and then you, you use it. <laughs> uh, Okie dokie. So we're going... This one. Uh, and it's from Kairi, so can I... Nope. 50.2, 39.7. Perfect. I'm guessing they're in this building. N no? Ah, uh, maybe upstairs. Upstairs. Master Kazi, indeed! Did you report them? Exactly. Gotta report them. How? Around this way. Around this way. <clears throat> Miss a pack two. Ah, plus two. To nice! That's okay. Next time. Uh, since the changes to Tosh regarding multiboxing, most I've seen is a threesome of druids and follow clicking a node one after the other. Yep, and that's the that is the intended way to, to do the thing. Um, so yeah, people are still absolutely doing it. It just takes quite a bit more uh, effort, is all. Good on them if they've got the uh, uh, Vindicator's Lamella Braces. It's veterans lamella braces. Is that no? I need vindicators. Oh, but I can buy it anyway because it's uh, gold. Might as well while I'm here. Here we go. Vindicators lamella braces. So I can actually buy this one, and that should have. Ticked off the others. Favor the road traveled by few. Wonderful. Ah, uh, good. So we're gonna path back and we're gonna skedaddle and jump onto the next next one. I've done two pallies, right? So I've got two more to go. I don't think I'll get both of them done, but we can definitely try. Not all druids, exactly. Which is not scary at all! I, I imagine it is a little unsettling watching it happen. There were times I did wasn't 100% on how many I was following. I mean, 15 or even 30 it was so compact in a set movement. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is the thing though. If you report one of them, usually they'll be on a, like I, the same battle net account. One battle net account can have eight uh, eight accounts, so that's eight tunes. So it it sounds like it's across a couple of battle net accounts, but if they share an email address or they share an address or something like that, they can figure it out. Especially those idiots who name them all the same shit. Like Druid 1, Druid 2, Druid 3, Druid 4, Druid 5, Druid 6, Druid 7, Druid 8. Don't carry that naming convention over to your other fucking Battle.net account if you're planning on breaking the rules with them. Just saying. <laughs> come on, you know. Come on. All Druids break Toss. Shapeshift OP Convoke is absolutely against Toss. <laughs> Look, you may not be wrong there. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, when you get a new thing in ATT. Um, I call it happy brain juice noises. I don't really call it a chime or a jingle. I just call it like an, a noise. So I'm probably a bad person to ask there. Sorry about that. But yeah, I, I don't know. It depends like what, what everyone else in chat, when like the ATT sounds, what do you call them? What kind of sound are they? I haven't actually thought about that. Uh, one of the most satisfying things in game is when you receive news, your report has led to action. It's like, uh-huh, yeah, did, I helped. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> I love that. It's so rare. Really? You guys think it, is it rare? I get it almost every time I report somebody. It, granted, I don't tend to report people unless they've actually fucked up. Like I don't just, re you know, I, I know that there's a trend of people like reporting people just because they've pissed them off when they haven't actually broken toss. Um, but like I report people a lot and I usually get that. In fact, at one point, I reported them, I did a reload, and I had the thing saying we've taken action literally immediately after the reload. 
I was like, okay, golden. <laughs> it was like a whole thing. Lothar. Excuse me, granted that was a language thing. And it may have just been that there were enough people who reported that it was an auto whatever. Um, they had used slurs in newcomer chat. Good. Wait. I have conk gloves. How the fuck did I miss that? For the horde. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, what we're gonna do... Oh, hang on. Isle of Keldenas. Oh, it's Isle anyway. But it was a hydro... What?! Oh, I'm so fucking confused. It's fine, we're going to Isle of Keldenas. Uh, thanks, you're very welcome. We'll see someone using Convert Reported thinking it was someone cheating. That's probably the first time I used it, I was like, no, that's not right. What the fuck? Like, what the hell just happened? We couldn't wait to do it again. So the reply, my inbox from Blizzard, beautiful. Boogie down! Uh, happy brain juice noise. Likely because we say that here too much. Yeah, pretty much, right? Fanfare would be closest, but that's the programmer in me talking. Right, gotcha, gotcha. Brain juices. I will say, I will report if I'm in doubt, if there's nothing to fear, uh, nothing happens, exactly. I don't just report out of spite. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's, yeah, nah. Um, is the shot portal? It is. Looks like you open coconuts by headbutting them. Where did you learn that, Live? That sounds like a super useful skill to have. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, hi there, new to the channel. What's up, get over? Oh, that's okay. I'm sick with COVID. Oh no, as is my boyfriend and my kiddo. I have no energy to play. I'll live vicariously through. Oh, Raven, I hope you feel so much better, like super soon. I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. Oh no. Well, I hope I hope at least you're having like a half decent day, as much as you can possibly be, feeling like poop. But uh <laughs> Ooh, battle. Uh, so if you're still interested, Blizzard v Boss Lane case was decided on copyright infringement. It was! No way! Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, so this is... Hi, the sun well. Um. Ah! Oh my god, was that a gifted? It was. Channel! Thank you so much for the gifted sub. That is so kind of you. Much appreciated. Ah, I was supposed to take action. I was reporting the 50 account spamming who on boosting group. Or whatever. A website and money for it, yeah, and they just ignored. Oof. Youch. Yeah, no, I, um, <laughs> so I've been DM'd on Instagram from an account that was for a website that sold mounts and boosts and stuff like that for money, and they were advertising on Instagram, and they DM'd me to see if I was interested in partnering with them. This was, like, maybe eight or nine months ago. And I just, I sat and I'm looking at this, I'm like... <laughs> so what did I do? I took screenshots of everything and sent them to my Blizzard rep. And they were like, oh, well isn't this interesting? <laughs> oh fuck, it was hilarious. We had such a brilliant conversation about that. Fucking hilarious. I don't like a lot of not in WoW, I don't report much at all in WoW, although there are other than spam and chat, which never gives me any kind of report back. Totally fair. Totally fair. Hmm. 
Um, long weekend Sunday. Yet again, my rostering manager has no clue about rosters. Gonna have to talk to my restaurant manager about it. Um, brilliant. Is there any healing vibes your way? So with six queen partners, the worst times of having gastro in my tube was small, so awful. Can't imagine COVID with sick kids too. Oof, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't have kids at all, and I just, oof, not. Mm -mm. Uh, Max, Bod, Zombie, Draz, Dunno, V, Thurling, and Thor. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Actually watching a stream or drinking cups of tea and dozing in and out. Triple jab hopefully means I won't get it as bad as if I wasn't. Agreed. I hope so as well. I hope so as well. How do you beat it to it? Ah! <laughs> Fantastic. You are lovely humans. Both of you. Absolutely incredible. Ah, uh, a day after the boost and still came to play got a response. Same airport. Let's action. There you go. I guess it doesn't hurt to ask until it does. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, regarding multiboxing, sometimes you don't need to explicitly ban something in order to render it practically useless. Reminds me of the laws of my country regarding fur farming, where you need to give each animal the same amount of space and living conditions as you would in a zoo. Nobody farms furs in my country because they can't afford to. They don't have the space, right? That makes sense. Yeah, that's... um. Shiba, I just saw you d deleting permitted terms. I'm like, um... What? <laughs> when the fuck did we use that? <laughs> when did we allow that through? That's hilarious. Oh my god. I imagine you had a similar confused reaction. Uh, <laughs> right? It's like, what? Sure. For those of you wondering what the word is that I'm confused about, it was anus. I'm like, when the fuck did we allow that through the goddamn filters? That's hilarious. It's not allowed through now, though. It has been reversed. Good. All right, what am I buying? Merciless Gladiators Lamella Gauntlets. These ones. Good. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Mm, dear me the term. Not economically viable, even if they do have land. Exactly. Like, it, it'd cost them entirely too much for the land to have, like, two amandals. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. No, I like that, though. I like that. Because you, like, you can argue on infringing on people's rights, but you can't argue with not animal cruelty. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, there's fluff on the camera and it has been driving me bonkers for, like, what is it, five hours now? <laughs> Okay, am I? No, let's do this. Um, I've reported a couple of offensive names, people being incredibly vulgar to me in Whisper. Also reported a few multi boxes before. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not in very many, um, like, general style chats at all. Uh, but when I occasionally, espe like, especially newcomers, um, there are people who are coming back to the game after many, many years off or whatever, and they're kind of, I feel like they must just be assuming that they're allowed to be as toxic as they want, because, you know, back in the day, toxicity wasn't really, like, dealt with that much. Um, and so, yeah, they, they drop, they come in with their little, uh, with their little Murloc badge, tell it, saying that they're a newbie, and, uh, I drop a whole lot of vulgar slurs and, and shit like that. Also people advertising, like the, the boosting groups and stuff, advertising a newcomer's chat, it's like, piss the fuck off. Go away. Nobody wants you here. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely report that kind of shit because as I said, uh, the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. Um, if you just let people do that kind of shit without reporting them, then that's you giving your approval, essentially. Um, passive approval, but approval nonetheless. So, I, yeah, I report the shit out of that stuff. Because that's not what I want in my game. And I play this shit enough <laughs> that I want a, you know, decent community and shit. Ah, uh, no, it's just some bloody awful stuff if I exit before you, never mind. Oh no, can't say A word. Opportunity come and gone. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, look, contextual, contextual comments like that. Sure, absolutely. We're gonna, we'll, and that's why they were in the permitted terms list because we let things through. When there's appropriate context, we absolutely let that kind of shit through. But usually we go through and immediately delete it. <laughs> usually, because there are inappropriate contexts as well. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, 
Look, moderating moderating is not as easy as some people might think it is. It's um it actually does require a bit of work. It's not just like hanging out in chat and bonking assholes and banning them and stuff. Like it's it's more than that. There's so much more behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't even see. Um, and I, I greatly appreciate my mods for that. Greatly appreciate. And alright, so much for that combo. Ads and newcomers show is the most stupid place to advertise, like nobody in chatting about shitlings. <laughs> uh, nobody in there needs key boosting. No, but they were talking about leveling boosting. That's the thing. And it's like, if they had the money to pay for leveling boosting, don't you think they would have used a character boost <laughs> from Blizzard? Like, guys. Guys. Ah, uh, maybe someone was talking about shitlings. I can. Alliance. Oh, no. Which reminded me of the Ogre. Oh my god, see what the fuck moment when Jess came back into a room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the whole moderating part is why I don't want to lead a community. Yeah, look, it's um I deal with a lot of shit. I deal with a lot of shit, and uh the amazing moderators help me deal with a lot of that stuff. Um a lot of it still kind of does come in like DMs rather than uh what's it? Rather than like via a, a channel where more people can do the thing, but yeah, nah, it's, um, yeah. Um, there are a few things I still leave to fear or just to let through handle. I can never be too sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I greatly appreciate that. But the, the other thing is that like when there's an, when there's an oops, it's like, oh, oh no, that's, you know, we're, we're okay with that. It's, it can be really fucking tricky. Like, you know, you can set rules, like this this stuff is not to be talked about or whatever. That's fine. But when you're talking about like somebody making a comment directed at somebody else, there are some comments that you guys make towards each other that I would, I'm absolutely totally fine with. But if a new person came in and someone made that kind of a comment to them, because they don't get the joke and stuff, they're not part of the in-joke yet, it can come across a lot worse than it actually is. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, so that kind of, like, there's, everything is situational, everything is contextual. Um, so it, you can't set hard and fast rules. Not when we have a community like this. There are absolutely some community, like, if you've got a really big community, like an enormous community where it's not super personable, um, and it's like, for, you know, think of like a fucking subreddit about Pokemon. You know, you don't know if anybody there has little relationships with each like little friendships and stuff with each other. You just, you can't tell. You, go, you don't know. So the exact same rules apply to fucking everyone. You see that word, you ban that person. Done. But when it's a smaller community like this, where we have all sorts of different little friendships and groups and stuff like that around, it's a lot more difficult to manage. Um... I did also, that was the, the Shivering spell, fell Spine that dropped before. That's the zone drop I was looking for that wasn't a pattern. The last zone drop that isn't a pattern. Uh, so that's nice. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a time. And that's why I totally understand that she believes stuff to Jasserai. Um, and usually one of us is on top of it. Most of the time I'm behind on chat, so it gets left to Jas. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is a thing. Uh, makes sense. Is there a way to block DMs? Uh, yeah, you block the person. Um, I know, I think there, I think you can turn off DMs from people you're not friends with. Um, the problem is that if you have though, if you have that turned off, I can't send DMs to people I'm not friends with. And how do I distribute Steam keys? Yeah, it causes issues. Um, so I don't have that happening. However, I have absolutely blocked individuals for, for what they've said or done or whatever. Um, uh, and if you block somebody, um, it affects how they can interact with the stream as well, which is really good. Even if I haven't actually banned them from stream, if I block them, it affects how they can interact with stream, which is fun. Prop with 40% haste is fucking nutty. Good. Ooh. Wonderful. Um, so that's a piece that crossed off its uh, other one. This entire world uh, that's prot, which I can't world. use, cloth, and mail. So I got one thing at least. There is no time to waste. Uh, where's this usually going to be hidden from the larger group? Oh yeah, absolutely, because they don't feel they don't they know it's wrong. They know it's a stupid thing to say, and so they're not going to take the risk to say it in front of everybody. Buttons, yes. Amazing moderators cut to stupid dog balancing on its hindlands on a giant ball. 
context of the channel isn't there yet. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, what well, worldwide social communication can't be reduced oh, down to if yeah. then rules? There's Apparently not. Apparently not. Devil meets his fate. Again, some channels absolutely you can do that. There are there are some like really big Twitch channels where you can absolutely do that, or Twitch channels that are run by a business. They will absolutely have if then rules. Um, like talk shows and game shows and stuff like that. Totally, but not somewhere like this. We are we are a different type of stream. Uh, I've heard that you guys coming into my friend group using the same banter as in-group members that have known each other for years. It's like, read the room, bro. At the same time, it can be really fucking- which is why I specifically use the example of a member of us using those words with someone from outside coming in. Um, there is a- it's very, very different if you have a new person coming in because all they see is, oh, this is how banter goes here. That is what I need to do to fit in. They don't know the context that there's been decades, of, which is why um, we. there are a lot of things that I don't let through. Even if the con context is right, I won't let it through. And I'll explain to someone like, hey, and I'll read it aloud for, for chat. And I'll say, cool. So uh, Jay, I have seen your message. It says blah, 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 blah. But um, it is funny. I get it. But I'm going to not let it through because I, you know, we don't want that happening. Like, you know, we don't want to let people think that it's okay, like random new people to think that it's okay to say, you know, it's, it is really fucking difficult to, to kind of like, especially as a new person coming into an, a, a many years, like you said, like they've known each other for years. How do they know? Firstly, that you've known each other for years, and how do they know which parts of your banter is okay for them to say, and which parts of your banter is not okay for them to say? Um, honestly, I usually go with the rule of if it's not okay for a new person to say something to me like that, I'm not going to say it to anybody else while I'm in the presence of them. Um, until they have acclimatized enough to be able to say it to me, then they can hear me saying it to other people and stuff as well, because that's, yeah, like, you got to let them learn... Like, yeah, you have to let them acclimatize before you drop that kind of shit on them. It's it's not, yeah. But that's just me. Um, okay, so leg plates, sun moat, pet, uh, lion's eye, heart of the pit, belt of the running, vanquisher, and claw pillar. Okay, nothing. That's okay. Um, definitely goes both ways. Yep, absolutely. Uh, how many mods do you usually have active at one time? If you're comfortable sharing, no mind if not. Um, it honestly can change minute to minute. Honestly, it can change minute to minute. Um, there are people who don't type a whole lot. Um, there are people who are here some days and not here other days. If I have a big event coming up and I'm like, hey, by the way, guys, this is this this could get busy. I I, I need help. Um, then I'll let them know a couple of weeks in advance so that they can sort of plan and say, okay, well, I can be there for this time to this time. I can be there from that time to that time, blah, blah. So we can figure out where we're going to be lacking coverage. And at, during that time, Jas can like, not play a game that requires his utmost concentration so that he can focus more on chat um, for that period of time and stuff. So it's, there is, there is, yeah, stuff and things. <clears throat> uh, how's ATT going? Very well so far. Getting, getting the, the happy brain juice noises every so often. Uh, behind mechanic stuff is interesting. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Once I was living skinny in a good spot for that in the wetlands, so a brewmaster monk that was standing still using a preset sequence of actions to AoE taunt with ox statue, AoE melts down, then loot them. Lovely farming with the vet that drops in that. If it was only one character, if it was only one player, that's a pretty simple thing that they might just be able to do themselves. Um, so it might not actually be botting. But if you think it's botting, report it. If it's not, they'll just move on to the next report, you know? Ah, no, two humor is currently yes, which is pretty obvious. It is. It is. Um, there are mods. There are more than that. Yeah, but um, there. That's who's active at the moment. Uh, it's fun as hell. Basically, become an off healer because you have so much HP. Unless you're in the area, I wanted to take advantage of the situation. I didn't want to do that. I reported and moved away from that guy. Yep, there you go. There you go. But yeah, there are a lot of people who do that kind of stuff. Um. Like the having the the ox statue with AOE stuff that is a massively common like farming strategy. Um, so it may not have actually been botting. It might have just been someone who was like mashing their buttons while they watch Netflix kind of thing, you know? Because it's not exactly the most entertaining activity in the world. <clears throat> uh, I was just thinking about the mod notes you guys have previously discussed. We found a game to play. Who are the mods talking about? De-identifying the note, then trying to guess who it belongs to. Ooh, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, but, yep. 
Remember the first time I got something blocked in here, I used URL, etc. Yeah. Look, it, it happens, and it's fine. Um, as long as there are no hard feelings, that's the big thing, right? Like, I, I have a channel to run. I have, I have chat to moderate and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you are personally offended by a moderating decision that I've made, tough shit. Literally tough shit. Like, this is my channel, this is my corner of the internet, and I moderate it how I see fit. Um, and I have installed moderators who I feel understand things the way I understand them and will moderate in the same way. So again, if you're unhappy with that, there are hundreds of thousands of other streams you can enjoy. Um, because it's my place. If I tell you not to put your fucking feet on the couch with your dirty shoes on, and you keep doing it, then I'm gonna fucking kick you out. Like, <laughs> it's as simple as that. Uh, not responding to chat, so it's kind of sus. I mean, I don't respond to chat. Every time I have responded to chat, people have gotten fucking angry with me. Like, there, there was a point the other day where I just zone into Uldum, and someone asked me, like, where where is the th where is the thing? It was just this random, and I'm like, I, I don't know. And so I responded, I replied with a question mark. And they came back to me and said, don't fucking mess with me, bro, all caps. Just tell me where the fucking thing is. And I said, okay. First thing, absolutely not. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have randomly whispered me out of absolutely nowhere and have continued to abuse me when I have actually whispered you back to ask you for more information to attempt to help you. This is not how to do things. And they were like, oh, I'm super sorry, man. And I, and I blocked them. I ignored them. Like, misery. I don't respond to whispers. If I'm sitting there and I'm farming something, like if I'm sitting there camping Ishak, and someone repeatedly whispers me saying, hey, do you want to group up? Hey, hello, are you there? And then it tries to invite me and I just let it expire. And I'm fucking, I'm working and, I'm, and I've got fucking AFK camp shit in the background. It, no. People not responding to whispers is not an indication that they're voting. It's an indication that they don't want human involvement right now. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I feel that. I feel that like on a spiritual level. Uh, okay. I got conk. Am I in co what the fuck am I in combat with? Oh, something. It's gone. Uh, okay, so I've got Boots of the Forgotten Conqueror. Wait, I already had Boots of the Forgotten Conqueror. Ah, oh, they dropped from two- okay, I don't need those ones as well. No dagger mail. Okay, I don't need the rest of that. Cool. I've already got my boots separate, and I'm good with that. Um... Uh, it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I've had whole parties not respond in dungeons. That's not uncommon. Yeah, exactly. Like it just. However, like we said before, if if it's suspicious, like if if you're like, hmm, that looks a bit wonky, you can report them. And if they're not botting, then they're not going to be punished for it. It's not a misuse of the reporting system if there is genuine cause to believe. However, the not responding is not genuine cause, in my opinion. Um. But yeah, that's, uh... There you go. Fun story times with fear. Also terrible at reading guild chat. Yeah, I... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And party chat, especially when I'm streaming. Good god. Good god. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure it was botting. Sus enough, I thought reporting was a good idea. And that's fine. That's totally... Because, yeah, if they're not, then that's it. Done, you know? Um, but if they are... But gone. Fantastic. Uh, I know personally I hardly ever respond in chat. The person who the person just goes away. Yep, exactly. It's like, I don't need to be in a group with you to get this kill. Like, if we both kill it and one of us gets them out, then that's fine. There is no reason for us to be in a group. Like, go away. <laughs> uh, play WoW is a solo game. For the part I do too. There are obviously times that I don't, but um, for the most part. You got me started. People putting their feet up on seats in public transport. Lucky I'm so conflict diverse. I'd be in arguments almost daily. Oh, it's so gross. It's like, God, just have some fucking respect. For, you know, I'm more comfortable when I'm curled up in a ball as well. But not, not, no, not like that. Piss off. I usually by speaking in the open, not a whisper. Yeah. Yeah, so politely introduce first. 
Yeah, it's, um... Yeah. Uh, where would you grow, group up for Ishak? Yeah, I don't know, like... I don't know, I guess they were just in a chatty mood or in a sociable mood or something, like, I don't know, I just... I, yeah, if I, if I don't want to talk to you in whispers, why do you think I'm gonna group up with you? I don't, I don't understand. Like, I had the away tag on, just, no, go away. <laughs> Uh, switch shards, be excited. No, no, they were next to me. I could see them. They were on my shard. And they kept whispering me and inviting me to a group. And I'm like, no thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. Uh, I kicked once in a group for having taunt on my hunter pet. Didn't notice. They tried telling me 15 minutes. I didn't read chat, so I didn't notice. Yeah, that's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Really nice to be spoken to prior for being kicked from a dungeon group. Did you well? Because Jay was spoken to prior. That's what that's what Jay was saying. They tried. They were telling them for fifteen minutes, and then after all that, they're like, "Nah, fuck this," and so they just kicked them. So I, you know what? I kind of get that. Unless you're talking about that you've just been kicked, Jess. I mean, I get to anyone, and it's up. Oh, but grouping for all content feels weird. If you can solo it, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, some of my tunes can't solo it. Even my sixties, they're just not yet enough to solo Ishak just yet. Um. But it doesn't matter now because I've got the fucking mount. Yes. Um. But yeah, it's a whole like they were they were on my shard next to me, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no thanks. I've been informed by others that question mark is rude slash hateful due to opinion of said people they were not important enough to at least get a single word. I'm a I like question mark since you're at least responding us. Yeah, my it was gonna be either that or like I was I was trying to fly and dodge fucking no. No. I was heading towards Ishak spawn point. And I like No, my other option would have been to just not respond at all. Uh, I wasn't just not responding, I was not responding, plus standing still, plus doing a fix at actions. Yeah, but, I mean, that's like, I still wouldn't respond to people even if I was in that situation. And hey, they could report me for botting, which I'm, I'm not saying that you were wrong for doing it. Let's be clear here, I was not saying that you were in the wrong for reporting them. However, that is something that I do on a regular basis. I will farm shit, and I will absolutely not talk to anybody. I don't care if they wish me first, I'm just gonna ignore them. Because I'm there to do my thing, and... I'm not in a sociable mood right now. I have been all socialed out by stream, and I'm I'm done. So yeah, that's. Ah, uh, got kicked from a normal yesterday. Oh good. Uh, monks can stand still farm everything in 40 yards. It's really not that uncommon. No, but I'm still not saying that Nab was in the wrong for reporting them for botting. I serve only the because master now. Because they can very easily just go, nope, not botting. Move on to the next one. That's fine. Um, all I'm pointing out is that these are things that are things that are commonplace. That's all. I will channel my powers into uh, okay, so I need to... I don't have a Dalaran Hearthstone on this one. Good. Where is Axefall? I feel like that's not... that's in, um... Goodbye, place for leveling, isn't it? If you will remember your name, Shit. Yet this day you I don't want to run out again. Destiny. What was once corrupt is now pure. Heroes, do not let her sacrifice. Actually, fuck it. I'm just gonna do the hearthstone and then I won't be able to garrison hearth back, but that's fine, I don't care. Um they kept pulling random crack, got ki kicked on the second boss of Plague Fall. Brilliant. Uh if this was like a Voldoon, I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't a monk there. Oh, uh, and I've been hunting rares on my hunter. If I see a player leveling and waiting to do it, I'll group up with them. That's that's different. If it's like a quest item, a quest mob that there's only one and it's a long spawn or something like that, that's... Yeah, Ishak is not that. Um, but yeah. Shmark is enough. Why use many words when few words do trick? Exactly! <laughs> I'm not in a sociable mood ever in WoW. Yeah, I do this- I do so, do the- the sociable thing with the Twitch and that's it. <laughs> fucking tired. I'm fucking tired. Um... I've seen all sorts of weird pulls in Plague Fall. Left skip after the first boss you did is really unusual, but yeah, randoms be stubborn about paths. Yeah, look. Ah, oh dear. A normal leveling dungeon. 
Uh, hey Shasti, welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. I presume you're asking, is WoW complicated? And we've just missed the S there. Um, it can be, but it can also be very simple. It's kind of as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. Um, there's, there's a lot of stuff that you can do that's very, very simple. And there's a lot of stuff that you can do that's hella complicated. Uh, and you can make things more complicated, like I do. Uh, but it really is kind of a, on a personal level thing. Actually, I'm occasionally in a social mood. I'm always managed to make it uncomfortable, so I just don't. Fair. Ah, did they pull the nests? Let's skip up to first boss and play full as normal and normal heroic. Pretty rare in Mythic Plus. Uh, what I was trying to say was that I could have taken advantage of the situation by skinning all the dead dragonkins at the feet of that guy. I feel like if that person was botting, I would have been infringing. No, you weren't. You wouldn't have been. Like, how are you supposed to know whether they're botting or not? You're just you're just skinning shit. It's not like you're botting, and if someone reported you for botting for skinning stuff that was left over, they would look at your account and be like, no, they're not. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... You would definitely not have been infringing. Um, for next time... What am I? ATT. Bam. Carrie. Ah, oh, she's at the top. Okay, cool. I'll go talk to Carrie. It's the same person as before. Similar person as before, anyway. This one. This is Boots of the Vulcan Congre. I'm looking for Vindicator's Lamella Greaves. Why does that say no when it's checked off? That's not confusing at all. Good. Well. Alright, we log out. Uh, nest pools, you need to go back and kill, or pools later. They pulled the first step pack for first boss. I turned around and cast a pool midway through the second boss. They all died, they decided to focus the caster. Hey Daz, sitting there walking on the exploder ad prior to all of them dying. Killed the full room second boss, it was 100% someone just ran into a nest, yeah. Yeah, WoW is easy to learn and hard to master. I think that that's, um, that's appropriate. Uh, what's the fastest way to level 10 to, 10 to 50? Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, there are a lot of different answers that could be appropriate depending on your particular situation. If you have a full group of five, dungeons are probably the fastest way. Um, I'm not sure which expansions dungeons are the best to do it with, uh, with dungeons. I level by questing, always. I've got 50 characters that are level 50 and above, and um, I leveled all of them through questing. The fastest expansion for questing leveling is Warlords of Journal, which is this one here. Um, but it depends, like, you know, if you fucking hate questing, then you're not going to want to do that, right? Um, there's, yeah, there's, like, you can dungeon, you can uh, PvP. I think you can do island expeditions as long as you've unlocked them on, on one character. Um, like, there's a whole range of different activities. You Pet battles, archaeology. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what the fastest, fastest one is. Uh, it's not really knowledge that I tend to retain just because I don't do any of them except for questing. Um, but yeah, I hope that gives a half decent answer, at least. Uh, two weapons within a bunch of gear, 60s, didn't see the point. Questing through WOD. Is questing through WOD faster than even dungeons if you've got a full group? It might just be numpties, technically level boost. Technically, yeah, paying for a level boost, but um, <laughs> those are expensive. Um... I was gonna get me to 57 too. Oh no. Side note, I was totally okay with being kicked on the hunter when I realized why I was kicked. Yeah. That's look, I I think I would be too. It's like, oh yeah, no, I done fucked up. <laughs> they did the right thing to save their asses. Spare me normal as I was. Should probably finish the last bits of cleaning now. Probably. Considering it's 9.30. Um Dungeons and BFA will be the fastest. Full party, random cube pray for freehold. And you're flying for all expansions. Uh, if you're Alliance, you can only do 1 to 50 starting in Elwyn, ending in Southern Stranglethorn. So, classic leveling. Interesting. Vanilla shit. I didn't think you could choose... Interesting. Hmm. Is that classic? 
Are we talking classic for the, the Elwyn to Southern Stranglethorn, or are you talking about retail? Because I don't play classic, so I've assumed the question was about retail. Um, just as a heads up, I'm not sure, like, yeah. Because usually people ask about 1 to 50 so that they can head on to um, Shadowlands. Maybe something like Ward up to opening the garrison, then dwarf starting zones, human starting zones. It's level 50 around the end of Red Ridge. Learn more mode, hence to the single faction zones. Interesting. And they all those, they all scale with you if you're not in, like, all the classic zones scale with you. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Stream Raiders. Retail is kind of boring if you do L1 Westfall Red Ridge and stuff. Thank you for the time you do every quest. Interesting. There you go. Let me quickly speed run strats to the X Pack or old classic. Had a revamp. Zones until 30, then what? Interesting. There you go. Okay, I didn't know that. It all scales and god, it's weird. I can imagine. I can imagine. Huh. Oh, there you go. Bunch of answers for you, hum. Hopefully something sticks. <clears throat> you scales up 1 to 50 in chromie time. You just, it's, it determines the dungeons that you can do, right? Whichever expansion you pick. The dungeons you can queue for, I should say. It's pretty quick. There you go. Awesome. My talents are wrong again. I'm going to go outside and do that. Ah. <sighs> <clears throat> um, there's also uh, Azeroth Autopilot. I think Des writes the routes for that. Um, so if you're looking for like the optimum whatever, that's probably going to be your best bet. <clears throat> uh, not in grimy time, two to three levels above everything in the zone they were questing, and it was sort of nice. AAP is definitely useful, yeah. Um, Zygor is fantastic for, for questing and stuff, but it doesn't have like an optimized 1 to 50 route. It just, you pick a zone and it guides you through the zone kind of thing. There's no like, um, yeah. Then then for Shadowlands ones, you've got like story only and then story plus side quests, but it's still not an optimized leveling thing. It just kind of steps you through the zone. Uh, if that makes sense. Dano, Faden, Bjorn, Thor, Kim, Thurling, Apro, Totti, and Bod. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, here we go. Batal. Onward. Without flying, i.e. at low level, I feel that what is not the best zone to level in. Um, look, I did it, what was it, 26 times over in the last six months? Uh, and it was fine. Honestly. Um, everything I needed to access was accessible at the level and I, uh, at the level I was at, uh, and I didn't feel like I was m taking massive long ways round or anything. Like, everything felt pretty smooth. Um, but, you know, to each their own, it might have felt different for, for, the other, for others, but yeah, I did 13 Horde and 13 Alliance tunes in the space of, you know, six or seven months, and, uh... It worked pretty well for me. Um, that's what I mean. It feels like a lot of walking initially. Uh, do you stream on a schedule? Just wondering to try to catch the streams more. Yeah, absolutely I do. Uh, my schedule is something that is very important to me. Uh, and you've actually caught us at the beginning of an 18 day streak. So I don't usually stream every day. I usually stream four days a week. Uh, but because we're about to kick off with Lovers in the Air, which brings with it the Heartbreaker uh, farm, I'll be streaming for 18 days consecutively. Um, so I usually stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, uh, but it's a bit for cucks for the next couple weeks. So what I would do is if you scroll down to under, I'm not sure if you're on PC or on phone or something. Um, I'm not sure how you'd access it on mobile, but I know on phone you can scroll down and tap my, like 
click my name and then there's like a schedule tab and everything's uploaded in there and it converts it to your time zone, which is super handy. Uh, but I'm not sure how to do that on mobile if you're, cause I'm, I know you're sick. So I know you're probably curled up with not a computer with you, but if you're a laptop, hey, um, yeah. Uh, but otherwise, um, you can always pull up twitch.tv forward slash fiamma forward slash schedule. Uh, and that'll take you to the page where my schedule is as well. That does basically give you a flight to each new spot as well. It does, yeah. There's a lot of flight points in WOD. Uh, schedule, yes. Yeah, about to kick off February. Yeah. Um, Fun-filled February is the family-friendly version. Uh, Fucked up February is the appropriate one. <laughs> Uh, 24 out of 28 days for the entire fucking month, and I'm gonna die. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm on PC. Brilliant, there you go. So yeah, that's that's how you'd access it. Um, but yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. Some of the, so my normal streams, normally I stream, it's 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Don't know what time zone is that, don't know what time that is for you. Um, for six hours from like four till 10 on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Uh, but these these two weeks, I'm doing extra streams on the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. They're just going to be short ones, not full six hours. Just I'm going to get on, I'm going to get my runs done, and then I'm going to get the fuck off. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's going to be pretty full on. And I'm hoping I don't die. But it'll be fun, because then after all that, I have one day off. And then um, no. I launch back into another four-day streak, because I've got Friday... I've got the Friday stream, and then Saturday will be my stream, my six-year stream anniversary celebration, as well as my birthday, because um, they're both in February, so I'm like, eh, fuck it, stick them together. Uh, my birthday's on, fi on Friday. Uh, and um, and then I do my Sunday, and then Monday, so it'll be four days straight, straight after. Like, I have one day off, tw 18 days, one day off, four days, and then back to normal schedule. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna need some sleep. <clears throat> on mobile click name then click tap oh awesome Kaz thank you so much for that I will try to remember that for future uh, did you take vac vacation from your day job during this 18 day streak nope nope can't do that too busy work is too busy <laughs> laptop ah brilliant you are very welcome Raven not a problem at all like fuck absolutely I'm gonna help somebody tune in next time like good lord come on like <laughs> I benefit directly from answering this question to the, to the fullest of my capabilities. <laughs> um, outside this month, you do so much happening for the UK. Lot stream starts at 6 a.m. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Nutty. Thank you. Um, if it's 6 a.m., would it? Uh, so if it's 6 a.m., then it means that my random additional streams will usually start at around 8 a.m., which is really convenient time for uh, for the UK folk. Uh, nice. Okay, cool. I am really interested to see what happens to my view account, um, because usually, like, when I'm watching my, my graphs and stuff, right, I, like, if it's, you know, wow in a row, and then I play something different, and then wow, 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 random, wow, 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 random, wow, wow. So, so every time I play something random, my, my average drops, like, quite a bit, like, sometimes, usually, more than half, um, and then it has to take time to grow back up again, right? So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen after. Not only all wow, the rest of this month is entirely wow. Nothing but wow. So there is no random stream to drop it down in the middle. Um, there's also no days off. So there is a chance that it might grow fast. I am I'm fascinated to see what the graph looks like for this month. I, I, oh, it's going to be so interesting. It's going to be so interesting. However, I've also been getting some pretty fucking chunky raids during random streams. Um, like last month and stuff, because so many amazing people, holy shit. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. I uh, really hope you get that thing early in the season so you don't need to grind all that anymore. Oh, look, I hope so too, Nab. I really do hope so. Thank you for the well wishes. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, we're we're going to see. We're going to find out. Dedication sounds like sleep routine will be the key. Yeah. So, fun fact, I have insomnia. <laughs> no, I um I have an autoimmune condition and um I also have been an insomniac since I was like very young, like very young. Uh so it's probs not. 
Rob's not. But that's that's okay. What I'm going to do is turn off this completed groups bullshit. Because it's making my tooltips too funny. There we go. Ah, no longer will I be a slave to Malagos. Challenge me and you will be um, destroyed. Someone cool down. Haha. <laughs> Fear does not have an off button. No. I, I wish I fucking did. Wouldn't it be great? Just lie in bed, push the off button. It'd be fantastic. I'd love that. Never on the love that. Side. See all the wow, all the time, all the things. We're gonna do some transmog in there, but like not all transmog. In your debt. Once we have triumphed over Kill Jim, this entire world will be in your debt as well. Um. Ooh, hydrate. Okay, give me a second. Ah, uh, you never ever use oh, spreadsheets. How will you see? Enjoy the graph. It's a. Yeah, I know about it. Yeah, no, but like I also do have a spreadsheet of my my data because the thing is like I can sort by viewer numbers and have a look at what pulls the most people. Like I can, I can see what pulls the most people, what days work best, uh, and it's really funny because I plugged everything in. Mount Farm Monday is by far my highest performing, um, and then, and and because it's because, and you know why that it's the highest performing, is because all of my random, like my wild card streams, are the lowest on the list, and the wild card streams are on Wednesday. So when I was saying it's like wild card, and then wow. 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 Wild card. That, wh that's Monday. <laughs> that's Monday. That's Mount Farm Monday. So of course it's the best performing. It's not because people love watching me do mounts. It's, it's because that's just the way that the fucking gra graph grows. Yeah, it's, um, data is fun and also fucked. Somewhat like February. Uh, so <laughs> but yeah, I, I fucking love data. It's great. Um... <clears throat> a friend of mine asked me if I were going to open love boxes right away or save them for the end of the event. Why would I save them? If I get I don't want to do the rest of the event. Exactly. Exactly. Um, a friend of mine asked me if I was going to... Uh, wait, sorry. I've got to go now. No, totally fine, Nab. Not a problem at all. Have a lovely day. We'll see you next time. Uh, I have fibromyalgia. Doctors also think I have CFS. Ah! I can either not stay awake or not get to sleep. Yeah, I... Mm, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I have psoriatic arthritis, so fuck me, I guess. Um, when I was working, like when I was trying to get a diagnosis, I couldn't walk. I was on crutches for about three months because my my knee wouldn't bend. Uh, it specifically affects one of my knees most, like most of the time. And um, yeah, we we thought it was this thing, and we put me on meds for that, and it got better. But then it plateaued, and they're like, "Hum, maybe it's not that thing." So I tried different meds for a different thing, and then it got even better. But then it was not, and it's like, um, right at the beginning, before like when they realized how bad it was, they. Uh, okay, so like this is gross stuff, but it's not like hella gory or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to mention needles and stuff, so like, just heads up. Um, so they had to drain my knee because this, the swelling was just too bad, right? They had to drain my knee. So, um, first injection was, uh, numbing agent. Second injection was not really an injection. It was more a needle that they put into my knee joint underneath the kneecap, uh, to let fluid come out. Uh, and they filled an entire, you know, when you go and pee in a cup? That much fluid. They filled a specimen jar. Oh, fuck the fucking dragon again. Uh, they filled a specimen jar with liquid out of my knee. Uh, and then they did a third needle, which was for steroids, directly into the joint again. Pfft. Trying to focus on not bending my knee so I didn't snap off the needle inside my knee joint was the worst, like, several minutes that I was like, oh no. Nope. Um, but the, the steroids that they put in my knee was supposed to last a week. It wore off in just over 24 hours, I think it was, or 36 or something like that. But it was, uh, yeah, it did not last long. My body was determined to fuck my knee up. Uh, <laughs> it was a fun time. Uh, brother and dad can, can't get the fuck out when they go to bed. I've always been jealous of that. Yeah, I wish I could just close my eyes and fall asleep. I agree. Fucking brain needs to shut up. Uh, wife did this absolutely do not understand the capability. Yeah. Here my launcher. Hello, Scarlet. That's awesome to hear. I hope you're doing well. Gonna run hitting the wall hard. Thanks again for the last nine months. You're so welcome, Seeker. Not a problem at all. Thank you for being here. I will see you tomorrow, probably. Maybe. Yes. Potentially. No pressure. Ouch. Yeah, it sucked. I had better days, honestly. I know that feeling. 
They will look up. It will. It will happen. It will happen. Yeah, you will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Just I didn't want to assume. You know, sometimes shit happens, and you need to like, not. All right, there we go. So I've gotten nothing from this run through yet. Madragosa deserved a far better fate. You did what had to be done. I'm seeing it 26 this of 49. Is far from over. I was on 12 of 49, so we've definitely we're definitely getting there. Um <laughs> just need to uh finish this run and then see where we stand. See what's next on the list. Obviously, we're not going to be doing whatever's next on the list, but uh, we can we can look at what's going to happen next week. So, um, after Monday, it's it's heartbreaker time. So we have Monday with Mount Farm Monday. So tomorrow will be a regular, standard, usual content type of stream. Uh, Tuesday, there's actually going to be a stream. That's the first heartbreaker run. It will last as long as I take to get through my 50 tunes. Um, so I don't know what time it's going to finish. I know that it's going to be a minimum of two hours. Because I have to wait for the second hour to finish to be able to start my third lot of 10 tunes on Horde side. It'll be a minimum of two hours. Um, and then it will just depend on however long it takes me to get through 50 runs. How long the queue timers are. Um, how long the the actual fight takes you know if it's super super geared 60s everything might just fall over straight away um, but there might be some other runs where we've got some lower level things in there and so it might take a little bit longer so i don't know how long it's going to go for uh, which is why there is no finish time on the schedule on twitch um, but that's going to be the same for all of the tuesday thursday and saturday streams all of them are just going to be as long as it takes uh, which shouldn't be too long, <laughs> but they'll they'll be there. That's that's the happening thing. Um, for Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and Monday streams, so my usual streams, the stream will start off being Heartbreaker Run. Same thing, go through the, the 50 tunes. As soon as the 50 tunes are done, we will switch tactics to whatever else I've got planned for that day. Uh, so as an example, this Wednesday... Um, we're going to do the Heartbreaker Farm. And then once that's finished, there are some other, there are a couple of cosmetics and toys and things from, from Lovers in the Air that I haven't got. That's the 9th of February. Um, and so I'm going to spend the rest of the stream working on those. Uh, and then, for example, like next Sunday, the 13th, we're going to start off with the Heartbreaker Farm. And then once that's finished, I'm going to jump straight back into the spreadsheet and keep going as though it were a normal Sunday stream. I hope that makes sense. Um, there are a couple of streams in there that are a little bit wonky, um, mainly because my mom is actually going to be able to come visit me this month, which I haven't seen her in two years. The last time I saw her was my 30th, and I'm about to turn 32, so it's been a while. Yay! Awesome! Okay, so that's crossed off. Uh, and then... Protector, so fuck that. Okay, cool. Um... So there's there's a particular stream. I think it's Friday, Friday the 18th. Um, Friday the 18th um, is not going to be a normal stream day. I'm going to jump on, and I'm going to jump on really fucking early for me, uh, and do the Heartbreaker Farm, and then fuck off. Uh, and also on the Saturday the 12th, this coming Saturday, uh, I'm going to jump on really early and do the Heartbreaker Farm rather than 6pm like the rest of them. Uh, and that's because it's the 12th, my birthday is the 11th, uh, and I'm probably going to do some kind of celebratory wacky on the 12th. Um, yes. Yeah. But yeah, so it's going to be it's gonna be a bit of a mess, but um, I hope that we'll figure it out. All the times that are on the schedule are correct. So if you're ever confused about what time I'm going live, you can absolutely check that schedule tab and whatever is there is correct. If I have to change my plans for whatever reason, I will update that schedule. That's why I didn't put them on the image because it was just going to be a goddamn mess. Um, and if the heartbreaker drops, I will be spending 20 or so minutes going through that schedule and deleting all the extra streams. So, <laughs> so you can always rely on that to be as accurate as possible. If I make changes, I tend to make changes in there as well. Um, 
Ah, uh, so at school. Non work day. Hey, nice. I had three ops on my left knee. Hip is body awful. I don't think I have the same as you. Empathize with the pain discomfort. Exactly. And I, I'm, I probably don't have the same as you, but I can also absolutely empathize. Uh, and that's, you know, part of what makes us human, I guess, right? You know, I don't, I don't know exactly what you've been through, but I can imagine it's probably somewhere about as shit as what I've been through. <laughs> but no, I'm, uh, I'm in a pretty good place at the moment. I'm still like, I'm not well. But I don't remember the last time I was well, so I, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Um, but I hope that you recover from from the, what are they calling it? The spicy cough. <laughs> Sooner rather than later. Um, and I'm really glad you found us, Raven. Grabby can provide some entertainment and some chats while you're uh, dozing in and out of consciousness. That's always a good thing. Ah, oh, dearie me. I'm kind of surprised I managed to get through the the run on the last paladin. This is really awesome. Some well takes a lot quicker to do than I thought it did. That's good. I like that. All of the hype. Yas. And all of the love. Absolutely. I guess you're pretty good at a pally. No. I'm just pretty good at Sunwell because it's like my favorite dungeon raid. Backup plan for you getting HP early on. Uh, the backup plan is, so I have this, right? So the backup plan is cancel all the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday streams except for the six year marathon. Cancel all of those. Uh, and cancel the 18th as well, because that's just the, uh, the Heartbreaker Farm. And if it's got, for example, a Heartbreaker Farm plus Kata Time Walking on the 11th, that stream will just become all Kata Time Walking. That's why I have an extra thing there, and because I want to fill up the six hours of time, obviously. Ooh, tasty. Um, so that's the backup plan. Whatever the extra, whatever the additional thing to do is that will become the whole stream and all the extra streams will f get fucked they will go away they will leave permanently i uh, brought a four month sub well, i'm beginning to really enjoy wow again fantastic oh that's good to hear speaking of dozing in and out of consciousness my meds have kicked in and they're kicking my butt totally fine shiba rest well we'll see you next time makes sense to me good i'm glad it makes sense to someone who isn't me Sometimes it's like, sometimes like I go through things and I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And then Jas looks at it and is like, what? So, you yeah, know, it's it's good to have external. Yep. This is just can't tell my that That's okay. Lighting off first day of school for Mr. Five. Ah, oh, good luck, dupe. Good luck. That's adorable. I hope he has a lovely day. Wenlo is so pretty. Wenlo is very pretty. Very, very pretty. Expendable have perished. So be it. The enemy is among Now I shall succeed where Sargeras could not. Oh, I hydrate. I have a bunch of redemptions. I'll work through them in just a minute. I place as the true master of the Burning Legion. Another hydrate. Hmm. Let the unraveling of this world commence. Just like my teeth. Uh, okay. I serve only Nothing the master here. now. All right. Good. So I don't think I got anything I need to trade in either. Nah. I, I think I checked all that as I was going yours. along. Be ready. Awesome. Okay. So I can just hearth back. Somewhere is 28 out of 49. So that's a gain of 16. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, aha! My lowest is now Blood Furnace on a Druid. Interesting. 25%. We've jumped a whole fucking percent today, guys. 25 is the lowest. That's awesome. Okay. 
Where are my fucking redemptions? Uh, okay, I have hydrate. I have a stretch. Oh, that just popped my shoulder. That felt really good. And posture check. Thank you, Chaos. Much appreciated. Uh, I think I'm actually going to jump on over to the druid and just see if that's accurate. <clears throat> Aww. Thank you so much, Raven. I appreciate that so much. Aw, have a good day, Bits. That's so cute. It is 10 p.m., um, so I'll take them for tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm having a CT scan of my jaw um, to see if my jaw is ready, if the bone graft is healed enough to go in for surgery number two uh, for an implant. And I also have a, uh, a rental inspection. So I'll take the good, the good day tomorrow because I feel like I'm going to need it. <laughs> feel like I'm gonna need it. Okay, where is Blood Furnace? 6 out of 24. I feel like that's not right. I feel like that's gonna be lower than it actually is. Good luck if about the time difference, that's okay. Totally fine. It's because I've got these two suns in the room, illuminating the room. It's great. Love my key lights. These are on 40% brightness too. They're great. They're awesome source. Enjoy them muchly. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Blood Furnace, 8 of 24, not 6 of 24. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, then it's Gruel's Lair on a rogue for 25%. Let's check that. Even if I can't actually do a bunch of runs, I can certainly figure out where we're going to be starting next week. Love the amount of self-healing I have with full heirlooms. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Ah, <clears throat> uh, flight inspection due next week. Ah, oh, empathize with that too. Oh, good lord. Yeah, it's especially like, have they not have they not postponed it because you're literally sick with COVID? Like. That's so shit. See, with ours, like if I if I had emailed my landlord and been like, hey, so I tested positive and I'm fucking wrecked, they probably would have just rescheduled it for a few weeks away. Cause um yeah. But no, I just try not to leave the house too much. Oh, hydrate X. This is the last hydrate for the day. No no no, can't do that. I've run out. Mm. One. I have bubble tea if you want me to drink that, but that's it. <laughs> I finished my bottle and I finished my whole glass. That's, yeah. That's a thing. Uh, where am I going? What am I looking at? Gruels. No, nope, Burning Crusade. Three out of eight. It, was, it says two out of eight, so I can pop that up to three. Good. And now it's the Blood Furnace on this tune. 14 out of 32. But it's actually, so it says eight in here. So that's 14 out of 32. I'm guessing I've run out on other characters and it just, you know, haven't updated that. And now it's DK for end time. Okay, let's check there. Yes, do it. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, wrong window. There we go. Num -num -num. <clears throat> Fucking love bubble tea. So good. 
Did you know you can make it at home? And that I'm affiliated with the company that lets you do it. <laughs> uh, is this using that on all the things? It is. I have that. I actually need to start on that, but currently I'm leveling my allied race is the heritage armor first. I think that's a good thing. I uh, like absolutely stick with that. Um, having those achievements done is really useful and having extra characters you can farm transmog on is also really useful. Uh, I do have ATT. I also have a separate spreadsheet. You can type in exclamation AT dart, AT D A R T, all the dungeon and raid things. It's a Google sheet that I did myself, um, with some help from Jack who got me some, some formulas to make things really tasty. Uh, but it's a massive spreadsheet for 12 classes um to check like what percentage they're all at on all the different raids and dungeons up to and including legion and there's a formula that tells me the lowest across everything and that's what i keep jumping onto and uh yeah it's really it's really awesome <laughs> i like it a lot but uh before this i was working on my 50 50s challenge which was getting 50 characters leveled up to level 50. 14 out of 20 for end time uh, and i did that it's finished uh, so that was tasty. I enjoyed that a bit. It's end time. End time is 14 out of 20. In here it says 5 out of 20. It's because I got all the paladin ones. No, the warrior ones. Brilliant. Halls of stone on Lillian. This one might not actually change. This one might actually be at 25%. Let's find out. <clears throat> oh, my dad brought this really nice spicy cheese. It happens. The chilies and all that. Oh, that's awesome. Tasty. I'm uh, not a fan of spice too much myself, but hey, that sounds good. I maxed out my character spaces, just need to pull my finger out to level them all. I want to get all the class mounts too, and the ones I have are Monk and Hunter. Yeah, I only had Mage, so I worked through and got all of those as well. That was fun. Um, I think we did that across two streams. And then, yeah, I've got all 50 characters, like all the slots filled now. I've got, and I was really fucking organized about it. You can type in, if you type in exclamation 50 50s, F-I-F-T-Y-5-0-S. You'll see the spreadsheet I used to do it. Uh, I've got four of everything, plus an extra mage and an extra druid to make 50. Like, I, I actually, I like, I planned out that shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, it's a pretty good feeling. Setting that challenge and then smashing it was, it, oh, it felt so good. It felt so fucking good. All right, while I'm here, Lillian has a blank space as well, which I don't like. So under Cataclysm, well, bosses is six of seven. Okay, good, six of seven. And I can pop that in. Good, all right, uh, I'm looking at Halls of Stone, which is Wrath of the Lich King. And it says 22 out of 88. How are there 88 things? In Halls of Stone. There aren't. That's what I fucking thought. I'm like 400 over. No. No, I'm not. 200 over. I've broken this somehow. I need to... I think I need to re-enter this data. Because, um... This is... This is broken. Uh, so while I do that, enjoy some, some stream readers. All right, 41.53, This is the right character. <laughs> 15, 20, 149, 206. Uh, 87, 120, 2.21, 3.06. Eight for sixteen. Twenty-two, twenty-nine. Twenty-six, twenty-eight. Twenty-two, thirty-four. Twenty-four, forty-two. Twenty-five, thirty-six. Twenty-six, forty-three. 1925. I went from 24, 25% to 76% complete on that particular dungeon. That was not right. Like, I, that's the wrong number. Uh, 13, 24, 16, 34, 35, 36, 
11, 24, 29, 37, 30, 37, 9, 35, 52, 91, 23, 27, and 28, 40. So that should be 1108, 15, 99. Perfect. All right. So it's actually correct now. Good. Z, Thurling, uh, Bjorn, Honored, Faden, and Bod. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, you got to put them together, Phoenix. It's one word. The command won't work if it's just one thing. Um, gone through and done Legion mounts on five now. Well done. Well done. Mine's totally unplanned. I have Warden Alliance. I want to have at least one max tune of each class and race and faction. For sure. For sure. Most hunters, just because I love the potential solo RP, I can do hunting, making campers. I want. Absolutely. There you go, Phoenix. Perfect. Um, all right. We're not doing another, not doing another battle. It is 10 o'clock uh, and it is time for me to rest. Uh, my rest is going to be supremely important for over the next couple of weeks uh, because of this, this, this utter shit fight. Um, so, uh, Paladin seat. Fuck off. Sick of doing seat of the triumvirate. Um, all right. So today is the sixth. So begins. So ends day one of 18. Uh, and of course, there's an ad in progress because why the fuck wouldn't there be? Um... She gets sleep. Thank you. You're so welcome. You're not a problem at all, Raven. I love, I do love streaming. It's been nearly six years that I've been live and I'm just, I'm enjoying myself so much. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Monday, Mount Farm Monday. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to be wearing my, my, uh, my lucky earrings and, uh, hoping for some drops. Uh, Tuesday, the earrings, I'm, th I'm going to be wearing the lucky earrings for the entire two weeks. Just, Trust me on this. Uh, Tuesday, we're gonna be doing the Heartbreaker Farm. Minimum stream length of minimum stream length of two hours. I don't know how long it's gonna go for, but look, you want to be there. You don't want to miss it drop. You do not want to miss that fucking thing drop, and it could drop at any time. Uh, Wednesday, it'll be we're starting with the Heartbreaker Farm, and then moving into Love is in the Air. The remaining like transmog and toys and stuff like that that I don't have yet. I'm gonna try to get as many of those as possible. Um, Thursday, more Heartbreaker farming. Friday. Heartbreaker Farm, and then we're going to jump in and do some Kata Time Walking Dungeons. Get some more of those Time Warp badges, work our way towards some of those more expensive rewards that I have my eye on. Uh, Saturday, more Heartbreaker Farming. Sunday, more Heartbreaker Farming! And the Transmog Hunt that we've been doing today, and that brings us to a full week from today, so that is what we've got to look forward to. If you're curious about what times all this shit is going to be starting, twitch.tv forward slash fiyama forward slash schedule. It will transform it to transform what it will convert it to your time zone for you automatically i don't know if it's set to like your pc's time or some kind of inbuilt ip to i don't know but it's there uh so hopefully that will be good um hopefully that'll be useful to at least some of you uh let's where are we gonna go Well, what are we going to do today? Uh, I think... I think we're going to go here. Maybe? Hang on. Let's go here. It's still WoW, but just a little bit slightly different type of, uh... Slightly type, different type of WoW content, but great fun regardless. Oh, we're gonna go say hi to Hydrax. Ah, uh, Fabri's so small yet so busy. I know, 24 out of 28 days I'll be streaming, does. What the fuck? Is it anticlimactic as it would be? I'm truly hoping you get the heartbreak of the foot. How would it be anticlimactic? It's like seven months of farming and it leads to this! It'd be great. I will scream and cry and fall off my chair and there will be a million and one different clips made of it and it'll be great. So, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna pop in this one. Grab your copy paste command from Koalatron. If you don't have the Fiyama hype emote, uh, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it with your embers, your channel points underneath chat, 
totally fine if you don't have it, that's okay. When we get over to Hydrax's channel, you can still paste the entire message and then where it says Fiamma Hype, delete that. You can like double click to highlight the whole thing and then type in or, or select your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote and drop it into Hydrax's channel uh, and into the chat when we get there. Um, um, Wednesday, Wednesday, February is going to be fun. I'm going to see you tomorrow for Mount Farm Monday. And this shit's going to get real. It's going to kick the fuck off. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be saying that a lot this month. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.